Hello, my name is Yvonne Froelich and I'm one of the finalists of Britain's Next Gem, which is a competition that Jewellery Maker have been running over the last few months. I'm popping in today to tell you that I'll be on your screens on the 21st of December for a takeover. I'll be bringing some beautiful pieces with me. I'll be bringing sterling silver wire, copper wire, a wooden bangle mandrel, not the easiest to say, and uh, I'll also have some pearls which are encased in sparkly gems. So I hope you can join me then. We'll be doing plenty of hammering and hopefully I can bring you something new that you've not seen before. So please join me then. Message in, I'd love to hear from you. So see you on the 21st of December. Hi, I'm Natalie and I am very excited to tell you that I'm going to be taking over the Jewellery Maker Studio on Thursday the 22nd of December. I'm going to be demonstrating how to use some amazing mandrels. They are perfect for beginners or experienced jewellery makers. They are a must-have tool as they are so versatile. They're going to help you create a range of shapes for all sorts of jewellery making projects. So whether you want to make a pair of earrings, a ring, a pendant, a bracelet, a brooch, hair clips or even create your own chain, these mandrels will help form your wire into a range of beautiful, professional looking wearable pieces. So please come and join me on Thursday the 22nd of December only on Jewellery Maker. Someone's on the naughty list. Yes. Naughty. Yes, I am. Very. I want to know why. Um, <laughs> probably some very boring reasons. <laughs> Nothing very exciting. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. You're on the good list for sure. Did someone just say burglary? It's definitely not burglary. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm not criminal. <laughs> It's Claire McDonald. Oh, morning, everybody. Oh, Merry morning. Christmas. You look beautiful with oh, your mermaid you. hair. Thanks. Your mermaid hair. Very, very nice. Thank you. As always. <laughs> um, I'm excited. I'm so excited yeah, about today's show. I can't wait show. for today. It's going to be ace. We've, again, it's absolutely shoehorned into five hours. Brilliant. We've got... An amazing early bird. You've got the most beautiful nephrite as an early bird. In fact, in fact, oh, I've left my sheets, haven't I? Never mind. Um, I've left my sheets, Dan. Ah, oh, bless him. <laughs> bless him. Bless him. Left. <laughs> Dan's just lingering in the corner, by the way. Look, look just loitering there. Aww. There he is. There's our gorgeous Dan. Oh, lovely. I was like, I said to Dan this morning, I was like, you're going to do a full week's work. In more um, sense. Uh, I hadn't had a day off for quite some time. No, to be fair. But, and it was football, wasn't and it? Was it was football, but equally, I haven't done a full week in about two months. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame you. We're now. back on it. Oh, we've missed you, Dan. Yeah. We've missed you. Um, yeah, we've got an absolutely amazing five-hour show because... Where do we start? You've got amazing nephrite as your early bird. We've got lots and lots and lots of closeout deals in a lounge style hour, of course, in your eight o'clock. We've got the most amazing emerald faceted drops as your early bird. Your your kits. Kits are. Oh, they look such, amazing. Such beautiful, on Facebook. beautiful, beautiful gemstones today. And That's enameling stunning. as well. Yeah, so gorgeous enamel, really, and and you can um, chop and change them as well. And then. 
if, if sort of changing things is your thing. I, I've never seen these. They are so clever. At 12 o'clock, there are interchangeable settings. So you've got a choice of gemstones. So you can, it's, it's the way they've been created. There's a special um, thread on the setting, um, which means you can uh, alter the gemstone. Um, what, regularly? Yes, yes. So, so it'll come with um, different gemstones and you can add in whichever one you want. But I mean, so it looks like an incredible, you know, almost like tube, you know. Rubbed gorgeous. over yes, setting, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, but it's actually, um, it's got a thread in there and so you can change the gemstone. So <gasps> yeah. Brilliant new thing. Do you remember? Well. Do you remember like Swatch Watch? Yes, which have, 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 have yes. had something of a revival, yes. haven't they? There was oh, queues outside yeah. Swatch Watch. I walked past when I went up to um, Glasgow to get the passport. Oh, yes. in September. <laughs> I know, eventful. Um, the queues outside Swatch. But do you remember they had interchangeable dials? Yes. So we've got interchangeable gemstones. Yeah, now. perfect. How so amazing. so good. So we've got that in um, as a pendant and a connector as and well. And that's at twelve o'clock. Yes, today. that's twelve. Yes. Amazing. Yeah. Um, your deal of the day today, I've gone blank. What, what, what's my deal of the day today? I've gone completely blank, Ross. Of course, of course, of course. We've got lovely Dave Troth. I was going to say Dave Troth, but I, I knew he's coming in. Um, yes, we've got Nef Diopside. Nef writes your early bird. Diopside, <laughs> like you've never seen. Yeah, we've never had sight. Yeah, we've never had a showcase like uh, uh, like this before. Um, diopside, beautiful gemstone, can, can be sourced uh, uh, and formed in different locations around the world. Um, it is stunningly beautiful. If you're a fan of your jadeites, if you're a fan of emeralds um, or your nephrites, then you're going to absolutely love this showcase. It's a really beautiful, deep, wow, intense, natural that. green. So that's coming up as your uh, as your deal of the day. <clears throat> we've also got the last in stock opportunities of the. Uh, Queen Conch. Oh, lovely. Those amazing pieces wow. of jewellery, yes, um, which are so exciting. Um, mm -hmm. Now is the time to get them because <clears throat> um, we all bought them when they came on air the first yes, time lovely, round. I've worn mine yeah. a couple of times. They're absolutely beautiful. We've got keshis, we've got bangles, we've got carvings, we've got just so much. Honestly, it's going to be amazing. Um, but remember, this hour is lounge hour, so you can have a little peruse, a little schmooze. <laughs> what, a Chris Christmas a schmooze? A Christmas schmooze. <laughs> It's exciting. That's, is that what, you, what has put you on the naughty list, you reckon? Have you been schmoozing? Oh, maybe a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> <laughs> um, have a look on the website all the w's at jewelrymaker.com um, and you can shop ahead knowing that some items will be going even lower um, if you make your confirmations and obviously you will still secure that final low price tag you can shop ahead on your early birds you can shop ahead on all the goodies that are there on the website uh, but to start our Tuesday morning show sorry this time of the year I don't know what day of the I week know, is I know it's funny isn't I, it you, you yeah. automatically switch to dates don't yes, you this yes, time of year so yeah. this Tuesday morning um, is the Wall of Fame. What does schmooze mean? What's it? Oh, I like, like you, you schmooze up to somebody. Like a... I don't know, I don't know is what that it? is. Like, well, like wine and dine, says Ross. Oh, OK. So are you... I haven't been doing any of that. No, not me. <laughs> are you a regular schmoozer then, Ross? Are you... A... He knows when I need to be, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I don't... He's done a fair I don't know if I can imagine Ross schmoozing. schmoozing. No. <laughs> yeah. In his leather trousers. In his, uh, yes. It is Ross Geller leather trousers. Oh, right. <laughs> That's something to think about. Oh, dear me. Starting us off this morning, number 225 with some lovely sterling silver is oh, Deb Briggs. That's very beautiful. Very pretty. Uh, hi, all at Jewelrymaker. Please find and touch my entry to this week's Wall of Fame. Uh, white onyx and white zircon pendant that I made for my mum for Christmas. Um, I hope you and my mum like it. Have a lovely Christmas, everybody. And that's from Deb. Oh, that's sure lovely, lovely. Yeah. It. Lucky Absolutely. Mum. Yeah, lucky, lucky. 226 is from Trisha. Good morning to you, Trisha. Oh, I like that. Very pretty. I love the colour combination. Uh, dear jewellery maker, please find and attach my entry to this week's Wall of Fame. A chainmail bracelet with angelite satellite wow. beads. I hope you like it. We well, certainly do, Trisha. Trisha. It's lovely. Number 227 is from Melanie Kears. Good morning to you, Melanie. Ooh. Wow. 
Is that amber? I think that's amber. Um, hello, everybody at Jewelry Maker. I made this Baltic Sapphire Ombre Cabochon. Wow. Wow. Um, and wire from Jewelry Maker. Needless to say, my customer was very pleased with it. Well, I'm, I'm no doubt. Work. Yeah, very neat. Very, very neat. Well done, Melanie. Um, number 228 is from Catherine. Hello to you, Catherine. Wow, look that at that. Beautiful. I'm also liking your, is it table? counter look how lovely that is a very nice plant as well oh it's beautiful um hello and happy christmas to all it's been a while since i've entered this is a tourmaline and seed bead bracelet inspired by susie all items okay. were purchased from jewelry maker picture does not do the tourmaline justice thank you for all the great gems and the inspiration and good luck to all amazing gorgeous loving that yeah. uh number 229 is from julia <coughs> good morning, wow ah uh, i think i recognize that that's beautiful. That's very isn't similar it? to your spinel. Yes, like a statement necklace. Yeah, That's beautiful. Yeah, like almost yeah. Um, Downton Abbey. Yes. Uh, hello all at Jewelry Maker. Here's my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. I've created this two-tone necklace for a friend to wear to a Christmas party. Wishing everybody at Jewelry Maker and a supportive Jewelry Maker community a wonderful Christmas. Much love to you all. Oh, that's beautiful. Happy Christmas. And to, to you, you, Julia. Julia. Uh, here we go. I've got uh, 230 and this is Norma Cowie. Oh, beautiful. Lovely. That's really lovely, isn't it? Hi, all at JM. Here is my entry to the Wall of Fame this week. Uh, it's made with a natural agate druzy and brown jasper 8mm rounds with a large brown agate from a bead scoop. Everything is from JM. Merry Christmas, all, and as always, good luck to all in the draw. Amazing. Beautiful, Norma. Uh, and here we go. I've got 231, and this is Donna Morgan. There. Ooh, there, there we are. are. Lovely. Oh, that's beautiful. Uh, here is my entry to the Wall of Fame. It's a floral brooch made with beautiful pink, lucite flower and tiara twisted pearls and AB crystals to brighten up a winter jumper. Merry Christmas to everyone. Merry Christmas to you too, Donna. That's Stunning, beautiful. Donna. Good luck. Uh, then I've got 232 and this is Helen Roberts. Very nice. Oh, that's lovely. Really, really nice. Um, hi, this is my entry for the Wall of Fame. Everything on this necklace is from Jewelry Maker. I wasn't sure if it was too dark, but I like it. Happy Christmas to all. I think it's lovely. I think it's yeah, really nice. Yeah, and I think, I think uh, Helen, you're going to love Dave's Deal of the Day yes, showcase. Yes, yeah, it would go well. very well with that, wouldn't it? Uh, then I've got uh, 233, three, and this is Anna Howarth. Are you all right, <laughs> Ross? Oh, that is gorgeous, isn't it? Beautiful. Very pretty. Um, dear everyone at Jewelry Maker, please find my entry to the Wall of Fame for this week. Um, it's the first uh, attempt at a Lariat star necklace made with precious jadeite um, gourds and a beautiful jade jadeite drop. And the very long sterling silver infinity chain and the silver slider mechanism, all purchased from JM. I hope you'll like it enough to be shown on the wall. Thanks for the fun and great entertainment. You do so well. Good luck, everyone. Merry Christmas. Oh, that's lovely, Anna. Best of luck. And then I've got uh, two, three, four, and this is Margaret Allen. Wow, look at that. Look. Uh, hi, all at JM. Here is my entry for the Wall of Fame. It's a wirework stag's head necklace made with a pear-shaped labradorite cabochon, antique bronze wire and bronzite rounds, all from JM. I might wrap the antlers a little more. I tried putting a red nose on him, but it didn't turn out well. Not Rudolph, but maybe Cupid, Com Comet or Blitzen. Good luck and a Merry Christmas to, to all this week. And that's from Margaret. Amazing, oh, Margaret. Yeah, wonderful luck to everybody. They're fabulous, aren't they? So beautiful. And good so, luck so in the good. draw. It happens tomorrow morning. So we'll keep everything crossed for you with lovely Carol. Nice mix, wasn't it? Wire work and yes. Lariat that's Scarf. That's what we like. Beading. Lots of lovely. entries into the yeah. Wall of Fame. Okay. Now, again, do check out the website, all the dubs at jurymaker.com. Remember, your eight o'clock hour is a lounge hour. So what that basically means is you'll have a curfew. All items shall disappear come nine o'clock. Um, now I've got the last remaining quantities of um, the Type A Jadeite Bayou, which has got the wolf head and the wolf tooth. Um, incredibly, incredibly lucky. Lots of meanings behind the bayou, not just in Chinese culture as well. I mean, the wolf is quite symbolic, I think, even uh, um, here in the West as well. It's hand carved. We always say the same. We always say the same how gemmy this example is. Mm. It's got amazing translucency. Now, if you look on the website, it is set at... 
the price that it always, always has closed at. Um, so make sure, make sure that you check out nice and early. £69.99 for a type A jadeite master carving with this level of translucency. I mean, it is what I, I would personally say, ice jade. Wouldn't you agree? Um, if I was to put a torch behind this, you'll see that amazing translucency. But today we are not, look at that. See how, see, see, see the translucency? See how it's almost completely transparent? That that's the level of quality that you're looking for. Um, these are, I, I think, especially because it's actually the wolf, or mm. it's called the, referred to as a bayou, of course, in in China. Um, but um, but I think the wolf is quite symbolic across lots of different cultures. Now, it's coming up not just yet, but you can shop ahead and pre-order yours today going lower than the um, always closed at price of £69.99. Um, OK, shall we start with... Grandidurite, a three... I've got this one. I've got this one. I haven't done anything with it as of yet, Claire, but I'm just thinking a simple rubbed over tube setting. Oh, yes. Look at the quality of the Grandidurite. There are only five. That's ridiculous. It's, it's actually ridiculous. We are talking oh, about beautiful. one of the world's rarest gemstones here. It, literally in the top five. And a huge size. A huge well. size. Again, beautifully translucent. Mm. It's not completely opaque and matte. Um, I mean, look at the recording here. I mean, look at that amazing translucency. You get a really beautiful natural teal colour, one of the rarest colours in Mother Nature and certainly in your gemstones. If you were to research one of the top top ten rarest gemstones, you will quite uh, um, quite easily see Grandidurite situa situated right at the top of that list. We've got five, though, and five is not a viable quantity for us to have in any loca uh, location within um, our vault. Today and today only... We're going to take it even lower, which is, again, ridiculous. It, the certificate, the authenticity itself would cost more than £29.99. pence. And, you know, you think, you know, that's, um, you could set that wonderfully precious stone. You know, there's lots of different ways, aren't there? You know, we've seen some lovely wire work, yeah. you know, maybe work with your sterling silver wire. If you've got bezel, if you're happy to... Um, you know, bezel set, you could see bead as well, couldn't you? There's loads of it's huge. Do. I mean, yeah. measurements there. You've got four Beautiful. carats. We guarantee 3.2 on your certificate, but you will, as you can see on the graphics, slightly get more. Um, 11 by 9 millimetres. Well done. I'll leave that with you. Um, shall we bring you the perfect pair of earrings to go alongside your Grand Digirite Solitaire? Um, these are perfect rounds. So, again, lovely studs. They'd also be really nice if you wanted to make kind of, um, I don't know, two rings or two pendants nice. whichever it might yeah, be yeah. seven millimeter rounds which is a sizable mm. sizable stone times two so you know that these are over a carat each again completely natural they are those most sought after word not enhanced um, this location of madagascar it was was the only location um to unearth this gemstone it is now closed so that's it you know what grand digerite is available in the world currently is that's it that's all that's available unless by chance Mother Nature throws up um, another location, which is highly unlikely because gemologically this is, um, as we said, an uber rare gemstone. It's 1999. Again, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Grandidurai is one of those gemstones that um, collectors aspire to own, but that's the thing, aspire. And don't normally get that opportunity. How many have I got, Ross, of those? Five of those, so good luck. Make sure you do check out. Um, shall we do that strand of malachite? This is literally absolute last available oh, quantities. Look at that. There's seven available. When I launched this parcel, Claire, we were raving about the quality, just saying it's probably the best that we've seen in a very, very long time. Um, you can see how beautifully lustrous it is. You've got an amazing uh, distinction between those green colours. And I'm going to say it's Congo without even seeing it on the graphics yet. Is it? Yeah, thought so. Thought so. You can just see the quality. Um, and we've seen Malachite for, for many years here at Jewelry Maker, haven't we? Yes, yeah, we have. Not, not. I would say not very often at not all. Not often. Now, and 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 that size, you know, where it's a, uh, those are. I mean, they look amazing all together, don't they? But you could use one of those in in pieces of jewellery, couldn't you? And you would have a real impact. Well, the lariat that we had, yes. for example, on the wall Beautiful. of fame would be lovely. Yeah. I'm obsessed yeah. with malachite. I think it's one yeah. of my favourite gemstones. Totally and utterly natural. All the big jewellers are working with, well, not all, but most of them. You know, you've got your Piaget, your Chopard, your Van Cleef and Arpels, of course. You've got uh, um, Lola Rose, to name just a few. Twenty nine ninety nine. Now these are twelve millimeters. Um, easily some of the largest malachite that we have within our vault. And just so you know, 
we couldn't do an hour-long showcase of malachite mm -hmm. we just do not have the quantity of this gemstone yeah. um the biggest launch that we actually did or showcase that we actually did of malachite had three strands um how many did you say i had ross seven 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 available make sure you check out i can see you there on the web well done uh, to those of you that have already secured yours i can see you on the phone lines as well it's beautiful you've got 40 minutes gosh where's that time gone i don't know have i been waffling have i been schmoozing <laughs> I've been schmoozing, Christmas I've been schmoozing, 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 bit of Christmas schmoozing. Uh, Brenda and sorry, well done. Stay we are new customer, well done. Fife, well done. Uh, 29.99, I had just seven opportunities. Um, and remember, there are multi-buyers in this opportunity as well. Well done. I'll leave it with you. Um, let's do... Ooh! A beautiful bangle of purple agate. Now, this, to my knowledge anyway... Oh, has only ever been this. in a kit, hasn't it? I think, Look at that. oh, that's beautiful. There are only five. Look at the markings on it. It's wonderful, isn't it? Oh. oh. Look at how beautiful that is. It's a solid piece of beautiful, genuine gemstones. And as Claire said, look at those markings. I mean, it's like a, it's like a, a, a sculptural piece isn't it yeah. it's something that it just really really holds your attention beautiful to wear but just you know it's a stunning object oh i would wear that all day long look how lovely that is only ever been well i i think anyway only ever been in a kit uh genuine agate an amazing genuine gemstone that again you get these really beautiful patterns and markings um within even on the inside amazing and it does come boxed if you are thinking about gifts um so you could literally just uh just wrap that up and away you go. Um, oh, this is almost sold out already. Again, I had the privilege and pleasure of launching this one. It's a massive Keshi, massive. One of the biggest, actually, I think we've had um, here at Jewelry Maker in a very, very long time. Um, 9 99 goodness amazing. me. That's amazing. It's huge, isn't it? Huge. It's on the verge of selling out already because a lot of you have uh, shopped out on that one, so well done. Should we do some Blue John? So one of the few gemstones that forms literally on our shores is Blue John Fluorite. That is very low for Blue John Fluorite. And I know I haven't got the time to do it now, but certainly in the, in the past when I've presented this gemstone, I've actually shown you, you know, pieces of jewellery from elsewhere. It can be quite an opaque gemstone, almost quite dark and That brown. is it. I was just Not thinking how, how absolutely the opposite that is. Isn't it, can it? Be quite, it can be quite brown yes blue john floor yeah and that's yeah. totally accepted but the quality of this is amazing the price is amazing as well because it is considered it's probably the mo one of the most expensive varieties of uh, uh fluorite from um around the world in actual fact uh 24.99 how many have i got of these just five catherine in manchester's on it up and on it this morning well done good morning happy christmas everybody i hope you're all well are you getting excited i tell you what i've got two little girls who are literally like coiled springs at Aww. home oh um have i got one i have got aquamarine camps lovely an entire parcel claire when was the last time you had a parcel like this in a kit oh a while now these are lovely aren't they look at the color of them they're just they you know something that looks so tactile totally natural beautiful i love aquamarine when it's got that kind of milkiness mm. to it i, I yeah. don't know i just think it holds on to the color so much better mm. Adds a bit of interest. I mean, if we celebrate it with malachite, why can't we celebrate it with aquamarine? Um, you're getting a selection. So I've got here a large drop. I've got some um, ovals. I've got a nice little cushion. I've even got a kite shape. So we guarantee the, ca uh, the carrot weight. So you've got 170 carats. Um, it can anywhere, be anywhere between three and seven carats. If you get three, obviously, they're all going to be larger. Um, how many have we got? 40. Who wants these under £10 this morning? Oh, yes, please. Under £10, if it looks like we will shift that quantity, we will do that for you. Under £10 for genuine aquamarine, oh. 170 carats, and we are going to go even lower. Even lower. I mean, seriously, you go into a bead shop, and try and buy one of these mm. at, uh, uh, I don't know, at 9.99. It's yeah. highly yeah. unlikely, isn't it? There is a catch, though. They are only available for 36 minutes. 
Um, so you do need to make your confirmations. 40 were oh, available. Yeah. There Morning, everybody. There. I can see Gabrielle as well. That, and I know Gabrielle likes her pearls. So they, they would go beautifully, <gasps> wouldn't they, with pearls? So you've got beautiful. like, you know, can you imagine those with cream pearls? Lovely. That'd be very elegant. So pretty. Yeah. And Kayla, you do some lovely wire work, I know. Hello, Jerry and Wiltshire, mm. Janet, Brenda. Good morning to you, Kerry and Aww, Staffordshire. Morning, everyone. Morning. Ah, Janet in nice. Devon. Maker on the phone lines. Hello to you. Heather in Lancashire. Good morning. Make sure you check out, though, because they're only available, only available for 35 minutes. What's he going to do? At this price. We're not even stopping. At nine pounds and ninety nine pence. Wow, that's crazy. Again, you know, uh, cast your mind back. Never mind outside these four walls. Cast your mind back some. I don't know, seven, eight years even. A parcel of uh, of Aquamarine would have been about twenty five pounds here mm. at Jewelry Maker. Mm. It would have been, wouldn't it? Yeah, and and they are they are a lovely size, aren't they? Yeah, let's just pick up the smallest one here. I use small, very loosely. I can imagine that in Beautiful. one of your in Beautiful. one of your bezel strip. Yeah, pieces. I would. I'd, I think I would do bezel, or you could do. You know, um, there are. You know, the wire work techniques. You could um, net it as well, couldn't you? If you've got a finer wire. Gallery wire. Gallery wire would be beautiful. Look at that! Yeah, and that's just beautiful. one of them. How beautiful! Six pounds and ninety nine pence only for beautiful natural aquamarine. I love a a milky aquamarine. Again, mm. I actually prefer aquamarine with opacity to when it's completely it's about that lovely colour, isn't it? It's yeah, there. it's a cushion. Gorgeous colour. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. We had 40 and they are absolutely flying out the door. Good morning, everybody. Hello, Richard. Hello to you, Wendy. Uh, hello to you, Victoria. Hello to you, Hillary. Um, hello to you, London. Make sure you check out. We've got multi buyers on this as well. 40 doesn't hang around, actually. Not when you're at 6 99 no. Not when you've got aquamarine, no. furthermore. Um, it's natural and it's got these wonderful shapes that it really... I don't know, transcends across lots of different mediums in jewellery making. You know, you're silversmithing, obviously, yeah. Claire. Yeah. Um, but you mentioned sea beading. You could sea bead yeah. bezel. Yeah, absolutely. Fabulous. Well done, everybody. Samantha Carolyn, hello to you. Arlene, hello to you. Should we do another one, says our Roscoe? Yeah. I do apologise if I'm more snuffly. I've got the obligatory Christmas Aww. cold. Every year. Every single year. Have you been schmoozing, then? Um, no. Oh dear, that was awkward. Wasn't oh, it? yeah, a little bit. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> oh, oh these are cool, lovely. <gasps> we forgot to do the advent calendar yesterday as well, so we'll do yesterday's in this hour, and oh, then we'll do trend. the twelve o'clock. Uh, uh, sorry, th th sorry. Today's at twelve o'clock. So just so you know, if you're not, if you're saving your advent calendar. Um, uh, <laughs> a little bit later on in this hour, I will open the box, so I'll tell you to go and make a cup of tea or something like that. Aren't they beautiful, Claire? I love these. Love it. You've got these wonderful uh, threads of rutilation that occur completely naturally within this gemstone. Also got a really lovely pure white body colour. We've matched that price point. Again, I've got to say it, parcels of cabochons like this. And I used to build kits when I first came here to Jewelry Maker. Um, and I can remember, you know, you try and add a parcel like this, say, to a wirework kit, you'd be adding £24 yes, to yes. that kit price tag straight yeah. away. Especially, we you know, a stone like that, the size you get, you're getting multi-shaped and that... You know, they're so interesting, aren't they? Yeah. I think they're all like, you know, like moody black and white photos. And moody? Like a bit moody. They yeah. are a bit moody. Bit I moody. like that. Yeah. Yeah, they've got, they, they, they show, they've got an edge, haven't they? They have, yeah. Um, we're going to take them under five pounds today, just because Ross says he can. He can this morning. That's how he's rolling. He's fully, fully in the festive spirit, aren't you, Ross? You showed that yesterday. He's, he's very looking for, very much looking forward to Christmas this year. Aww. I know, it's nice, isn't it? That's so nice. Yeah. Little does he know that he's going to be woken up at like <laughs> half past three in the morning. <laughs> Um, <laughs> you say you're looking forward to it, Ross. Half past three in the morning when you're like, he's been... <laughs> No, he said that would be me then. Yeah, to, to be fair, I always wake up before the kids as well. Um, under five pounds for you today. They're beautiful. Yeah, these wonderful threads of rutilations mm. that occur completely naturally within this amazing gemstone. Um, can cause challenges to the lapidaris that is actually cutting them. Um, but obviously, once they are cut, you get these wonderful works of art in Mother Nature's treasures. Under five pounds for you this morning. Remember, you've only got 31 minutes to make your confirmations. 
Four ninety nine. It's That's wonderful, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, even if you know, if you're thinking of maybe a New Year thing of having, um, I don't know, doing craft fairs and things, and you don't do anything with them, you just have a little have, basket. Yeah, yeah. Have a little basket of gemstones. Yeah, nice. My, I mean, kids love it, don't they? Yes. Kids love it. Adults love it. Yeah. Teenagers love it. Yeah. Absolutely. My my niece, who got, she doesn't call them gemstones; she calls them crystals. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, she's got her her windowsill is literally full of yeah. uh, of little little gemstones like this. Nothing, oh, you know, it, not yeah. made into jewellery. They're just yeah. literally displayed just like objects. so. Yeah. Absolutely. Four ninety nine. Melanie, Brenda, Kayla, Victoria, Gabrielle, Isabel, Sarah, uh, Samantha, hello to you, Linda, uh, Kerry. You, I can see you there with it on your in your basket. Make sure you check out. Did I have quantity of these then, Losco? I had forty again. Forty of these again. We've got somebody else loitering now. What sort of squeaky shoes? Oh, you got squeaky shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Are you right, Adam? <laughs> Come on, take a few steps. Oh, they're proper squeak. Squelch. They're squelchy, not squeaky. <laughs> Why have you got squelchy shoes? <laughs> so you'll know if Adam's in the background because you'll just hear this squelch, squelch, squelch. Four ninety nine. <laughs> everybody <laughs> amazing um again you're guaranteed 170 carats on these we had over 40 of them but they have flown at an under five pound price tag and then being monochrome um they're going to complement all sorts aren't they oh they will yeah go with everything well i like the idea of these three <laughs> scroll 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 i like the idea of these three uh um parcels used to get <gasps> oh my gosh how have we got any of these how? I've never seen these. How? No, 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 but Ross, have you, do you know what the Labradorite is? Yeah. Look. <gasps> Did, were these on with you, Claire? Yes. Oh, yeah. my yeah. goodness. Yeah, they are absolutely, I mean, they are incredible Labradorite. And, and they are the perfect heart shape. Oh, my goodness. They, they truly are yes. some of the best Labradorites. Yes. Look at, the, look at that colour. The most amazing Labradorescence across the entirety <clears throat> of... Oh, my word. We've got 27, did you say? 22. Oh, Claire, they're and not going to hang around. The ones that I'd had before, um, you've almost got, a, you know, like a, there's a clarity to them as well. Yeah. It doesn't mean you lose out on any of the labradorescent. They are they are fantastic. Oh, I love, I want these. Yes, me too. They're amazing. And I would yeah. definitely be using things like your bezel strip or your wire work. Yes, your bezel strip would work. Because it would, you, I mean, can you see how I'm saying it's a perfect heart shape, isn't it? Oh, so, it you is. know, there is no, look at the work that's gone into creating that. 12 .99. I know, I know. Absolute madness. Just crazy. And I'm picking each and every single one of these up Lovely. to show you. There is literally a deluge of you on the phone lines. You do need to check out because there is only, um, what, 22. Uh, Brenda, Samantha, Heather, Francesca, Alison, Morag, Dorothy, Karen. Um, and people want Francesca if you want that four I would definitely check out sooner rather than later Gabrielle Essex I can see you there as well there was only 22 of these available Linda in Hampshire wanting three Renata you're there as well they will be an on-screen sellout um, and probably you know whilst we're actually uh, we're actually talking about them they're just amazing when you gauge by um, I've never seen these before so it's like oh <gasps> I know. Uh, you know, that heart in any gemstone is amazing, but... To the fact there's Labradorite. Yeah, exactly. And that you're getting, you're getting, you know, that collection of them. So beautiful. On the verge of selling out. Um, I'll leave it with you because we are literally single-figure quantities. Um, I do have a white left right bangle. Now, coming up with the, the bayou is coming up a little bit later on. The bayou is your wolf head that goes into, uh, into a tooth, so very symbolic in Chinese culture. Um, probably one of the most gemmy uh, um, jadeites that we've actually brought to air. This is coming up. Um, it does have the drill hole very cleverly positioned between his jaws. Uh, very, very symbolic. But also, I have coming up an amazing white nephrite bangle um white nef well white nephrite is sort of your emperor's jade isn't it do you remember us launching it with sally hewer um 
what seems like only five minutes ago, um, we are talking astonishing rarity. Um, the auction history for the most expensive piece of jade sold is not held by um, an imperial green jade. It is held by a white nephrite. Um, ultimately, you've got the most pure, I always refer to it as like a linen white colour. Mm. Um, so notice how there's no murkiness, there's no sort of off-white colour. It is literally completely, completely pure um, and, of course, natural. Are we doing this now? Ross. Oh my goodness me. Um, I like the fact this is a rounded bangle as well because it's much easier to actually get on. Yes. Yeah, it it's lovely. Slides. It's really, really lovely to wear. Really, really lovely to so wear. So beautiful, Claire. Yeah. They, again, this is a, it's like, it's a piece of, of, of art, isn't it? It's like, it, it feels like you're wearing sculpture. Just, yeah, exactly. Well, they are, aren't they? Yes. It's like the, the yeah. pinnacle. To own a jade bangle is like the pinnacle yeah. um, in Chinese history because they're so astonishingly expensive ordinarily. I mean, £1,999 is a great deal when we are talking of something of this calibre, this quality, um, this colour, um, and this is so beautifully carved. What are you holding there? So on mine, I made um, like a little uh, cuff charm to go on it with some tube setting out of sterling silver. Um, because it's, it's the noise that I like as well on this. So it's, it's sort of, it's free moving. Um, but, you know, so I wanted to like add a little, um, but it just gives you a lovely, so you've got the added noise to it. Got some of the gemstones on there, so, but they are, you know, it's a, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous. Well, they talk piece. about the sound, don't yes, they, and, of, and that, of jade. So you, you, you know, I get it that. And it's, yes, yeah. It so does. It's nice, it's, it's sort of all of the senses, isn't it, that it's... Um, yeah, do you remember? Do you remember that sort of? I can't remember if it was a poem or if it was just literally a paragraph that spoke about jade and it said about, um, yeah, the sound, the music that it actually mm. creates as well. Um, obviously, you need it to be completely uh, uh, natural to make that movement, which this is, of course, uh, this of course is. It comes beautifully boxed again to be bringing you a white nephrite jade bangle. What you want to remember is this is carved out of one solid piece. You know, we ordinarily the reason why they're so astonishingly expensive is a you've got to pay for the the likelihood of them breaking um so many of these will be lost during sort of the cutting process um but also you have to pay for the the, the center part if you like mm. that can't be yeah i don't yeah. know uh, reconstituted into anything else um that's literally lost because a jade bangle or an nephrite bangle is literally carved by hand and literally polished by hand with wet bamboo still using those ancient uh, techniques to be at 999 pounds is, is absolutely astonishing i mean i would challenge anybody to find genuine type a certified nephrite jade anywhere near the price that we're about to show you you have got 23 minutes this is ultimate heirloom you know uh, uh, when we started bringing jade whether that be jade or whether it be nephrite bangles to our amazing audience i could not get over the fact that we were at a triple figure price tag because a jadeite bangle should be five thousand six thousand seven thousand upward pounds that's what i've experienced certainly in my career um you know they're, they're never triple figures and then furthermore to actually have that pure white color remember what uh, richard wise once said and this is written within, um, you know, some of his amazing literature and work that um, a jade of pure white colour um, with a moderate translucency should be considered the finest of its type. That's exactly what I'm seeing right now. Fine colour. Um, and he's, he, he talks about just a moderate uh, translucency. Well, look how this is lighting up with one single light mm. source. There it is. It's from Secrets of the Gems Trade. I would recommend that book, by the way, if you would like. You can get it. You can get it online. I think you can get it on probably eBay as well. Um, it is quite gemmy, but when I was doing my uh, um, my accreditation um, Steve Bennett actually gave me this book as well to read uh, there it is in modern connoisseurship a jadeite jade cabochon of pure white hue uh, with fine texture and moderate translucency would be the finest of its type and to be honest whether it's jadeite or nephrite uh, either either or that's absolutely applies Brenda if you press your option one key you can get hold of this we are limited I've only got three and that's it remember the remember that the mines literally are closing um, I'm not saying there's only one source, of course, globally. There are other sources of, um, of jade around the world. But 
they don't throw up this level of quality very frequently. I mean, look at that. It's luminescent mm. because it's so pure and uninterrupted of any murky uh, uh, murky colours. You can get this home today on your 0% interest split payment, £99.66. Um, Brenda, you could take us down to two. I've still got two available. Brenda and Sorry's there. I've also got Alan with it in there, his basket. Richard, you've got yours. Congratulations. So if you all make your confirmations, this is already gone. Don't let that to uh, sort of put you off dialing through um, because it is, that does need to be allocated. It needs to be confirmed. First come, first serve basis. As ever, you still get that 30-day money-back guarantee. Mm -hmm. You don't have to take my word for it. Look, get this home. Um, mm -hmm. you're, you're getting home something which is incredibly rare, incredibly valuable in a jadeite bangle. Take this to a jeweler and actually ask them. Say, look, this is an, a white nephrite. It's type A, so totally natural. Um, and see what figure they come back with amazing Mervat, good luck to you i've got one left i've got one left amazing 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 shall we do the bayou now now we're going to do a major closeout deal on this it has closed at 69.99 in the past so very successfully literally they flew out at uh, um let's open up let's open up the auction at 69.99 so the bayou very symbolic in chinese culture of course you've got the wolf head and then it goes into the wolf tooth um but I, I, it makes me think look and i'm by no means an expert when it comes to things like chinese uh, um, history of course um speak to susie about that she'd be able to help you but i i, I do know like the wolf itself the lone wolf or the pack itself is massively symbolic i think across many different cultures um i mean they're very family orientated mm. aren't they they're incredibly uh, strong of course they're incredibly brave and courageous yeah, but, uh, power, uh, isn't it? Yeah. yes yeah. powerful absolutely yeah. um considered to be quite protective as well um we've always brought this to air at 69.99 i also need to mention the fact that this is so translucent actually one of the most translucent type a jadeites that i've actually seen the full stop again not just here at jewelry maker or gemporia um collectively in my jade uh, um, experiences so when you have a level of color and a level of translucency like that we refer to it as ice jade so it literally looks like ice is melting please know it's an indication of amazing quality hand carved I'm going to show you how serious this closeout deal is going to be. Now, before Wednesday last week, it had never been lower than £69.99. We're going to half that price, and I'm going to tell you we're still nowhere near done. I also think, Claire, this is so wearable. Yeah, it's a nice size, isn't it? And I also think for, um, you know... It, it could be very masculine could yep. it, as well so it depends i think how you um how you set it you know if you put cord through it it would look one way i mean i also love the way as well you could you know as, as a wire worker that you, you've got that anchor point so there's, there's i guess if you did want to set it into more um intricate ornate jewelry mm -hmm. it's absolutely possible as well isn't it so there's lots of different ways you could work with it. Yeah, just a little lark's head knot. Yeah, like yeah. I, I always say, I think Tom would like this. Yes, yeah. It's the kind of thing I can imagine my Tom wearing, just lark's head knot, just on a leather cord necklace. But then also, because you've got that wonderful sort of sweep, yeah. you know, it, it, incredible um, swirls of wire work, I think would beautiful. work beautifully. Yeah, beautifully as well. Claire, we're going to take £10 off. Bear in mind, up until Wednesday, we'd not closed this at six, uh, anything below 69.99. It's a 20 carat single stone by you. Don't forget this is type A ice jade. So to have a 20 carat single stone at 69.99 is mega. Absolutely mega. For a single and stone. And it's carved as well. Hand and, carved. And, and drilled so you, you, know, yeah. you, can, you, know, you can wear it. Let's take 10 pounds off that price tag. And remember, we're not stopping there. How many have I got then, Ross? 50. Oh, I think we're going to say goodbye to these today, though. Wow, we're not even stopping there. We're not stopping there. This is purely in a lead up to Christmas, an exciting deal, a major, major, major closeout opportunity. It's such amazing quality, the translucency. Again, jade should look like it's almost melting. Does that make mm. sense? Like an ice cube that's almost melting. Um, in 44 seconds, 
Yeah, in 44 seconds, we are going even lower. Um, if it does look physically wet, like Ross was just saying in my ear then, if it looks physically wet, then um, it's, it, it, it's the water content that is present. You've got amazing translucency. And I know it's difficult to see when I'm actually holding it in my hand and it's literally been flooded by uh, floodlights, quite literally. Um, but when you actually see it on the recording, really up close and personal, you can see that wonderful translucency. We are not stopping at 24 pounds and 99 pence. Loads of you diving in nice and early. Very symbolic. Do your research. I'm sure you'll find um, the meanings in Chinese history of the Bai Hu. But again, I think it's really um, multicultural. It's literally all mm. around the world. The symbol of the actual wolf itself. 1999. Isn't it? 50 pounds up. Yeah, that's, that's, that's wonderful. And just how lovely that, like you say, it's a, it's, you know, if you're going to wear it or to, to give it and there's something precious to. You know, it would fit in your pocket, wouldn't it? Or if you had a little velvet pouch or something like ah, that, just beautiful. keep it next to you. And, you know, it's a nice, a lovely size for that. Absolutely beautiful. £19.99 only from £69.99. Purely today, and remember, you've only got 15 minutes to make that confirmation, and then it will go back to the original £69.99, which is amazing. Juna snapped up two, Helen snapped up two, Alan snapped up two, Brenda, Gigi snapped up two, Jennifer, Dawn's got two, Susan, Stephen, Richard's got three, Christine's got two, well done. Um, I've got West Midlands, Libby, Tina, Brenda, June, London, new customers getting involved. Warren, I can see you in Hertfordshire. Amazing. Literally just put in that lark's head knot. Super, super simple. Do a Solomon sliding bar at the back. Job done. And there's some lovely cord there as well. You could yes. use any, and it would look look lovely with the red or yeah, perfect color. Perfect. Nice. Yeah, good point. We've mm. got some cord coming up as well. So amazing. I've got. 15 left 14 14 of those left so make sure you do check out if it sits in your basket it won't be there after the nine o'clock hour or it sells out one or the other amazing 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 okay shut oh these pearls these are su suzhang excuse my pronunciation by the way um if you've heard of suzhang pearls before um, then you'll already know just how exciting and, uh, and beautiful they actually are. Um, but I found an article which spoke about Suzhang, the Suzhang River um, yeah. itself. And it was, uh, do you know, I can talk to you about the five virtues, the pearls and things like that, obviously. But I'm going to assume right now that you kind of know that. You know what, uh, what, you know what commands the highest of prices. So the Suzhang River, the pearl shines again in clean waters. And this article, for me, it was like, I don't know, it was just really nice and it was wonderful to actually share. And maybe, um, or like, oh, in fact, we know that the, the cleanliness of the water that pearls actually or mollusks will produce pearls in absolutely bears an impact on the quality of the pearl that um, that you see. So, for example, if you look at South Sea pearls, if you look at Tahitian pearls, they very closely monitor um, and filter the waters surrounding them, which might seem like an impossible task when you're in vast oceans. Um, but they filter the water so that those mollusks ultimately um, are happy, they feed nicely, they're healthy, and they produce the best pearls for you. And this article, uh, there we go, the pearl shines again in clean waters. Oh, the Suzhang River, known as the Pearl River in South China's uh, Gandong province, was not a single river, but the largest water system flowing into the South China Sea. Formed by the branch-like uh, convergence of the, excuse, again, pronunciation, uh, Zhang River, uh, the Beijing Rivers and the Donjang rivers, the Pearl River Delta of a dense network of cities formed by the alluvial sediment, uh, sedimentation uh, as the three rivers enter the sea, is one of the most economically advanced and modernized re regions in China and is considered the South Gate of China. In the past decade, the process of urbanization and industrialization uh, in the Pearl River Delta, some rivers have been seriously polluted due to domestic sewage and factory discharge, which impacts the lives of residents along the bank. Besides the severe destruction of the marine ecological system and biodiversity decline is attributed to human-induced activities such as over-exploitation of coastal and offshore waters. You know, it, I, you know, I won't get too much into this other than it's, we know this of our cities, we know that we are bearing an impact, of course, on our, um, on, on our ecological systems. But they recognised it and they realised that, uh, that the Pearl River itself 
was in need of uh, some tender loving care effectively and they've invested heavily into uh, um, sort of reviving if you like the cleanliness of the uh, 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 of the marine life um, and the habitants within the water the Pearl River also known by its Chinese name and uh, the Mandarin Pinyin so we just say that and formerly awfully known as the Canton River is an extensive river system in southern China uh, the Pearl River is also uh, often used um, as a catch-all for the water watersheds of uh, the west and the north uh, east rivers of Gandong. These rivers are all considered, considered uh, tributaries to the Pearl River because they share a common delta, the Pearl River Delta. Measured from the farthest reach of the Zi uh, River, the 2,400 kilometer long Pearl River system in China's third longest river after such and such and the Yellow River, and the second largest by volume. Again, it's just talking here about sort of the scale of this. So if you can imagine one of the biggest rivers in China that was then becoming very, very heavily polluted. Because of that pollution, it meant that the quality of the pills was no longer, it was being, it, it, it was diminishing quite dramatically. So with that investment uh, um, into the uh, ecology of uh, the, the actual system, the marine life in that location, thank goodness, it shines again as the article uh, sort of headlined, the quality of the pills once again are back to their original, original state. Um, I mean, it's beautiful though, isn't it? You know, as a, a, as a city itself, you can see how stunning that is. And you can see the, you know, how, um, how clean those waters actually are from the photograph itself. But the Zhujiang rivers are in renowned or once were renowned for producing some of the best pills in the world then they did they tailed off just because they weren't happy mollusks with the investment back into the uh, uh, um the uh, marine life again, we are producing, we are seeing Sujang River pearls um, back to um, their fine estate, known as the Pearl River. Um, so imagine being able to say that you actually own pearls from mm. that location. And China, you know, there's two things really, two gemstones in China that they massively, massively celebrate, obviously jade, nephrite, obviously, um, but the other one is pearls. They're absolutely enormous at the moment. Look at the quality and they are completely and utterly natural. You know, when you consider that these are coming from, um, yes, it's a vast river that leads out into the sea. So it's actually that sort of balance between fresh water and salt water. Um, but again, totally natural in their color. Once upon a time, not that long ago, Sujan River, uh, Sujan Pearls um, weren't, weren't, weren't quite as lustrous, weren't as bright, weren't as happy, I guess, because the mollusks weren't that happy. Now, thank goodness, with that investment again to the ecology um, of the river and the marine life, you are seeing these beautiful examples once again. They are for me Sujang rivers uh, Sujang pearls rather um, are situated perfectly alongside your South Sea your Tahitian pearls your uh, Edison pearls for example they are regarded as exceptional quality now even if we were to stop here at 1999 pounds we only have a handful by the way they are very very limited single figure quantity totally natural look at that purple color it's amazing it's, it's like you know anything I feel like you know I've seen lots of pearls but these feel like they're very different, don't they? And they're a real success story yes, as well, I think. Lovely, yeah. It's a really nice success story. Yeah. In fact, they recognise the issues, they've addressed the issues, and you've seen, you know, those efforts pay off, obviously, in mm. the marine life, but also in, um, in the pearls that we're seeing actually produced from that location once again. 499 pounds. If you look at Sujang pearls elsewhere, I can pretty much guarantee they're not going to be anywhere near a triple figure price tag. These are super, super, super limited. We're under 500 pounds. Again, you know, take the, take, take the Sujang title out of it for one second. And if we're just driven by those five virtues that I mentioned a few moments ago, these are remarkable quality. Mm. You've got the near round size. They're ever so slightly graduated. You've got beautiful golds, purples, Amazing. papaya. Colors, pure aren't they? white, yes. yeah. Yeah. You have seven minutes though to secure your Sujan pearls, and we're not closing at four hundred and ninety-nine pounds. If everybody checks out, I've got two left. Don't let that put you off dialing through. First come, first serve. This has got one of the greatest arrays of colours of your naturally coloured pearl strands. Yeah. yeah. Because look, you've got purple, gold, papaya white almost like a um 
almost a gunmetal like grey as well. Mm. All metallic. We're not stopping at four hundred and ninety nine pounds. If you were, if that got you excited, the fact that we we, we dived under five hundred. Wait until you see the closing price. I, to my knowledge, this is the only Sujang pearls that we have in the business. Wow. 299 pounds only. It's astonishing. Again, if you, I love the success story. That's why I wanted to share that article. Mm. Listen, I would never confess myself to be, uh, uh, you know, uh, of course you, uh, we'd like to su support, um, the marine life and things like that. But um, I love the success story that that article actually tells you. It doesn't really talk about pearls at all, does it? But it talks about how they recognized that it was, it was, it was actually suffering and it needed to be revived. And here is the, uh, you know, an example, if you like, of that success story. 299 pounds only, Sujang pearls with natural quality of color, beautifully graduated. We shouldn't be anywhere near 299 pounds, but as with any, 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 you know, any gemstone that we have in a location in our vault right now, a single figure quantity is just not viable for us. Um, you know, you see lots and lots and lots of, uh, of jewellery retailers who will do the sales, you know, Boxing Day, after Christmas, etc. Um, we're effectively bringing you those Boxing Day sales before Christmas right now, even with some of the finest example pearls that we actually have within our entire partnership, not just here at Jewellery Maker, it's across the entire partnership. You can get this home today for 74 pounds and 75 pence natural colored pearls never mind the province natural colored pearls mm, at that size as well i don't think i've ever seen pinks like that they are no they are they are absolute perfection happy they? mollusks yeah happy mollusks yeah. produce beautiful pearls and that's the success story. That's what I love so much mm. about this. You can see how beautiful. You can see um, almost the happiness, I guess, in the quality yeah. of the pills that they have offered. I've only got two of those left, so I will leave that with you. Um, congratulations, I can see you there. Well, Amazing. Of course ones, you can. Of course you. you can. Thank you. Now, I'm going to show you, you've got what, oh, four minutes. Mm. Coming up, you've got the most amazing emeralds in your Briolette drops. Um, this is the last auction of, uh, of the lounge hour. So look at the quality of that green. Beautiful, beautiful quality emerald. Um, so yeah, just a little Briolette wrap. So maybe I'm, I'm visualizing some lovely waterfall earrings. These are coming up as my finale auction within this hour. Oh, we're doing them now. And then after that, I've got the most amazing carved nephrite flower. Can you see? It's a beautiful little bud. I'm going to do one of, oh, hang on. There we go. One of the best prices. It's a little bud. Can you see that? Can you see that? Oh, I'll show you in the tweezers. Perfectly carved. That's wonderful detail, isn't it? Yeah, amazing detail. If I turn it around, you can see all that beautiful intricacy in carving. Um, so, yeah, this is coming up um, just, after, uh, just after this opportunity. Okay, the finale auction of your lounge style hour. Emerald. We don't see much emerald these days, do we? Um, I know that, you know, we've, we were reading, I, I'm thinking about the Montezuma and Cortez story, you know, with uh, Guatemalan jade. You might be thinking, where on earth are you going with this, Al? Um, but it talks about how the Europeans, way back when, hundreds of years ago, you know, they va in Europe, it was all about emerald. Emerald uh, was considered to be the most valuable of all gemstones. You can go back as far as uh, Cleopatra, of course, you know, very much uh, historically known to absolutely adore this gemstone. And even to this current day, of course, we're obsessed with this gem. It can be astonishingly expensive. This is Brazilian emerald. Um, it's had the smallest amount of oiling. Um, the way I actually describe oiling is like you and I putting moisturizer on in the morning. It just brightens the gemstone ever so slightly. It doesn't really actually, you're not filling voids within the gem at all. Beautiful quality. And ordinarily, Brazilian emerald can be quite dark. Not the case here. These really do glow. We're at 19.99. It's your early bird this morning. Should we do a giveaway deal? Seriously, 25 carats of emerald. Genuine emerald. We can't buy it for what you're about to see, but you know what? It's an early bird deal. It's not unusual for us to take it to below cost. Wow. Oh, sure. Yeah. Emerald, 25 carats. So like you emerald. say, one of, one of those, a briolette wrap, stunning silver, what would be stunning pendant, Beautiful. wouldn't it? Beautiful. Yeah. Because you've got the gorgeous green there. You know, you've got such sparkle, haven't you, in that? I mean, all of them to get, yeah, I mean, be indulgent, really, is, is you know, you could have like a, a full... A full necklace, couldn't you? Wait, I'm, I'm just thinking now. 
Do you, again, thinking back some years, a, an emerald nugget strand wouldn't have been 9 99 no, no, let alone a briolette. Yeah, yeah. Nuggets would have been more than that. They probably would have been at least double. But we're bringing you a full strand of beautiful um, Brazilian emerald in the briolette cut. So really beautifully 360 degrees, very popular in Victorian era, era um, very um, beneficial to us as jewellery makers. But look at the sparkle on it, just slight movement of your hand and the faceting on there and yeah. the, how, how well that's been that's been cut. It's beautiful. They're so easily to use, aren't yes. they, the briolette cut? I think yes. it was always, it's always been one of my favourites because I can briolette wrap. Yes, yeah, and it, do, it looks lovely, doesn't yeah. it? It looks so it nice. It does. Yeah. You just do a little hat, don't you, on top yes, of those? Yes, little hat, yeah. Um, I like the idea of putting 25 carats in both ears. Why not? It's 9 yeah. Again, cast your mind back. For those of you that remember um, Jewelry Maker, when we first began, um, first we didn't have emeralds, but then when we did, they were nuggets, and they were, I'm sure they were £24 or something like that. Now, if you want it for 9 99 if you want those amazing Sujang pearls or the Bayou or the Grand Digerites or anything from this hour, you need to check out because in one minute they're all going to disappear. Yeah. It's gone very quickly, hasn't it? Very, 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 very quick. How many? Sorry? 45 of you have this still in your basket. You've 43. Well done for checking out. Um, yeah, you have literally the seconds on your screen right now to make your confirmations, not just with this auction, but for everything that's on your website, the Nephrite Bangle, there's the Bayou, there's the Grand Digirite, there's the Malachite, um, oh, the Agate Bangle, Keshi's sold out, the Blue John, the Cabochon Parcels, you got 25. Seconds to get hold of these, those Labradite are sold out, I'm not surprised by that at all, some of the Chalcedony, 17 seconds to get hold of your uh, Briolette Emerald. Um, if you want the Sujang Pearls, they're in item what? 24. I only have literally one remaining now. Um, congratulations. Right, check out. Check out, check out, check out. Okay, next. Oh. The intricacy of this carving, literally, it's just fascinating. You know, to take something that effectively forms in a in a boulder. You know, with diamonds and with rubies and with emeralds, and you can you can sort of uh, particularly diamonds. What they do is they'll scan it with a very clever machine that will map out where the internal uh, sort of inclusions actually are or faults within the gemstone, and the computer will navigate where's the best way to cut it. Master carvers, and that's precisely who would have actually done uh, achieved this gemstone, will literally look at the boulder by eye and then um, influence it to the most amazing hand-carved details. This has to be an early bird. It is probably the first time I've ever seen such a close, beautiful, intricate bud. It's in nephrite jade, and it's up next. <laughs> Okay, imagine that. Imagine that, because I remember watching when I went over, years ago, when I went over to Jaipur with, uh, with um, gems. And I remember watching a diamond cutting house. And they take a piece of diamond rough, which diamond doesn't look like much, does it, when it's in, uh, when it's, in its rough form? It just looks like almost a piece of gravel, I suppose. And this, this clever computer literally sort of orientates it around. It'll map out the best cut where those inclusions actually are, um, what's the optimum carat weight you can achieve. So it kind of does all the work for you. Um, it, diamonds aren't tend to be cut by hand anymore. It tends to be cut by a machine. So when I see something like this, which literally would have been placed into the hands of a skillful artist who effectively holding this boulder of nephrite jade, one of the most valuable commodities that exists on the planet, they'd have gone, okay, yeah. Right, that's going to be the most beautiful lotus flower bud. We said about it yesterday, Alison and I, we were saying, she actually said, have you ever seen a lotus flower before it opens into full bloom? Again, very symbolic. You know, it talks, the, the lotus flower talks about a journey traveling through sort of murky waters. Um, and eventually when it is, uh, when it does unfold, it's one of the most, considered to be the most beautiful gemstone uh, flowers on this planet. But this is that, that, that you know, that close, tightly compact lotus flower bud. 
It consider that. That's literally been masterminded by the human eye. Mm. Nephrite is the what we refer to as the original jade. It is older than jadeite, and it, you still want those same attributes with it with your nephrite. Imagine them as sibling gemstones, really, your jadeite and your nephrite. Um, still under that jadeite umbrella. You want it to have translucency, you want it to have colour, and you want it to have artistry. Um, that's as important as the two uh, former mentioned. Because you can have the finest quality nephrite or jadeite, and if it's not cut or carved well, then you can lose all of that amazing value. Again, we've been bringing you over the last couple of years the most amazing examples of nephrite and jadeite. Um, and I don't recall ever seeing a closed lotus flower bud. It's beautiful, isn't it? Because it's like that. It's captured a, it's a moment, ready. isn't it? It's Yeah, the potential's there. It's yeah. just waiting to happen, which is a, a lovely sentiment if you're gifting that. It is. Somebody, it, I mean, it? There's got to the be a story, story. Yeah. behind that. I mean, you could probably yeah. track down, I don't know, poems. Mm. I know that there's certainly lots of uh, sort of quotes, etc., about the lotus flower, but that closed bud um, has got to have even you know, more meanings beyond what we normally talk about. Now, this is type A grade. It's so translucent. It, I would have actually assumed that was jadeite. It's not. It's nephrite. We don't often see that apple green in, in, in nephrite jade. It is through drilled as well. So if you wanted to have these maybe as your uh, mal, uh, sorry, accents, marker beads maybe in your mm -hmm. marla necklaces, I think would be quite yeah, lovely yeah. or... Um, maybe upturned. They'd be quite nice as upturned flowers, a little bit like tulips. Yes, yes. Yeah. That would be pretty. Yeah. Now, we have 212 available. It is brand new. It. Uh, yeah, firstly, uh, can I... Can I ask you to not look at our graphics? This is like this has slipped through the net right now. It's not grey, would you agree? Would you, would you call that grey? No. No, me. Green. It's green. It's a. It's like a really beautiful. I always call it like a blossom green. Mm. It's also type A, which is in our graphics, and it should be. Um, but if you go onto the specifications, it will say natural, not enhanced. So, I've got two hundred and twelve, and I tell you what, because it doesn't have that information on our graphics, and it doesn't really matter when you get it home. You're not going to have those graphics before you, are you? It is natural. And for me, that is green rather than grey. I wouldn't personally describe it as grey. I'm going to promise you one of the best early bird deals. You have the documentation. Ross is... Okay, we're going to show you the documentation as well. Um, just to Look sort at the of, detail, though, on yeah, it. Yeah, every to endorse it, what I've said. And I think as well, it's the, it's the balance, isn't it? The, you know, when you're looking at it like that and, it, and it's the, the round, it, you know, it's perfectly balanced. If one of those petals were, was out, you know slightly you you would see which again it, it's if it's if it's carved by hand you it, you expect things like that and it's something yeah. again it's something lovely but that is that that's just perfection the balance is so even do you know i can imagine if i was doing that you'd be working your way around you'd be like oh no i haven't got enough room for that petal so it'd have to be like half <laughs> yes. a petal yeah so to get that balance now because of all the factors that we have told you I'm going to show you the certificate from our, our gem laboratory itself. There we go. Nephrite, natural, listed as cyan. And if you're thinking, what's cyan? It's like blues and greens. So it's not grey, is it? There's a, it? For me, see the, either side of the turquoise... Yeah, like, yeah, I get that. It's a, it's a bit Grandigerite-esque, mm, isn't it? It's, yes. It's yeah. kind of like a tealy colour, tealy Ooh, bluey Oh, gosh, blue. if you'd got the um, those cabochons earlier, that, that yeah. they would Beautiful. go... Beautiful, yeah. Grandigerite and Nephrite Jade. <sighs> now, because of all the factors, and we've been, literally, I've said it as it is, it should have been on your graphics, it should have been. It does say natural, so don't worry. Wayne's on holiday right now, so we can't do anything about it as we're on the live show. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll bring it to air. I'm going to ask you to ignore the fact that it says grey. It's not grey. The certificate says it's cyan. Um, it is totally natural. It should say type, in the, uh, type A in there as well. Um, it will say that on your certificate, of course, so don't worry. 
Look at the quality of the colour. There is nothing grey about this at all. It is definitely, definitely that green stroke blue. Would we agree? Which is very rare to get blue mm. nephrite jade. Um, now, with all those factors, I tell you what, we're going to give you an apology price point. E uh, even though we have got over 200 of these available, shall we melt the phone lines straight away? I saw Anna from our call centre a few moments ago, just before we came live. Yeah, she's going to she's gonna be rolling her eyes already. <laughs> Yeah, sorry, we're gonna we're, we're gonna inundate you right now, Anna from our call centre, because because we've got to do an apology price. This isn't grey nephrite. We're gonna open the auction. Never done a bud to my knowledge. Oh, a, a bud of lotus flower. Imagine them on tassels, like a group of them. It'd be beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And with movement like that, so you would be, you'd be seeing that incredible balance, that 360, yeah. all that detail, wouldn't you? And whether it's that way up or the other Either. way. Yeah. So it Either. could be almost like a snowdrop, couldn't mm. it turn the other way? I like the idea of these being your markers and your marla necklaces. I like the idea of these being literally studs. I think they'd be really nice stud earrings. Yeah. Or a pin, just yeah. Yeah, do a wrap loop. We are opening the auction at 19.99. Dorset, you've got 10, well done. London, you've got three. Nicolette, Maya, Gloucestershire, Sheila's got two. Well done and thank you for your trust. This is not your prize and neither is this. We are gonna melt the phone lines. We've got 212 or rather we had. That's not your prize either. For type a master carved a bud lotus flower in the amazing translucency in a cyan color which i don't recall ever actually seeing in any nephrite or jade uh, certificate so you've got a very rare opportunity the fact that we are saying 14.99 we're not stopping there let's do an apology price just because it says gray on our graphics that doesn't make any impact to you it, you know when you get this home and you're holding the gemstone you're not going to go you're not going oh yeah that's great it's not gray you can see on your screens right now it's a really mm. beautiful sort of mixture of greens and blues. In 50 seconds, we are going even lower. Multi buyers getting involved. Well done, Nicolette, Mavis, Julie. Hello to you. New customer, Karen. New customer, Gloucestershire, Jerry, Karen, Helen, Dorset, London. You, oh, I can't keep up with you now. Nobody is paying 14 pounds and 99 pence. Again, through drilled clay. So I mean, this is so so versatile in how we actually use it. If I hold it in my fingers right now. Look at how beautiful that is. It's the one it's side. Isn't it? Turn it the other way. Look how pretty. Look at how pretty that is. So imagine, situate it just on the top of my finger if I can. Oh, you look at it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Here we are. Look how pretty that is. Beautiful, tight, closed lotus flower bud. In three seconds, to get hold of type A nephrite jade, Brand new, never been on our screens before. 11 pounds and 99 pence only. That master, that level of detail. Mm. And how, and yeah, and I think it's that, that, like you say, it's the sentiment, the story behind it. So if you are gifting, it would be such a thoughtful present, wouldn't it? Really, really thoughtful. Put that on a silver chain, on a head pin. Beautiful. I'm just, I, I'm just curious. What, if there's a meaning behind a closed lotus flower bud? Um, mm. Just because we know the lotus flower is about the journey, it's about the path, you know, maybe traveling, mm. uh, you know, getting through harder times and things like that. Um, I'm sure there is a meaning behind the closed lotus flower bud. Um, just, you know, because I don't know, maybe it's before that journey or um, it, during that journey. I don't know. I'm speculating right now. There are so many of you there. Dorset, you've just got 12. Durham, you've got two. Gabrielle, Susan, Alan, Helen. Gloucestershire's got four. Jackie, you've got two. Joy, you've got two. Julian Bridgend, you've got two. Yvette's got two. Nicolette's got three. Well done. Hello, Jeannie. Hello to you, Valentina. Hello to you, Susan, Karen, Gloucestershire, Hampshire, Dorset. Um, and Amazing. Uh, it's, I, I see a frequent word. It's all about enlightenment. Mm -hmm. um, enlightenment, but I will read this out to you in a second. Jenny, you've just grabbed yourself two. Susan in County Durham, amazing. We had 212 of these available. This is 
type A. 99 of these have gone. There we go. So enlightenment, a closed lotus flower uh, represents the time before Buddhist uh, flower found Buddha or enlightenment. A lotus flower fully bloomed and open represents full enlightenment and self-awareness. The mud represents an importance in the meaning of the lotus flower in Buddhism. Okay. Um, so it's so about you finding your mm. way. Um, yeah. oh, that's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. So maybe you know somebody, I don't know, that's going off to university or, I don't know, going off to university or about to get married or a christening or maybe, I don't know, uh, broken up from a relationship. And it's yes, on a, on a, yeah, on a life on that journey, journey. That, yes, yeah. How absolutely. amazing is yeah. that? It's and lovely. to be able to say that story with a piece of jewelry that you've created. Mm. Now we are, in double figure quantities remaining. Should we get another crash in, Claire? Absolutely, yeah. I think the first time we've done a closed lotus flower bud. It's silly now. Listen, we shouldn't be able to get hold of type A nephrite jade in that cyan colour. We shouldn't really have it. We definitely shouldn't be going any lower. That's what we were instructed. 11.99 is an absolute minimum. But in fact, we were told more than that. We're going to go lower. I don't recall us ever doing a closed lotus flower bud. And I love it. And I love the fact that it has this, that meaning. It's about that journey. When you're, you know, when you're about to step on that journey, which could be a multitude of things, couldn't it? Maybe children when you first, I don't know, pregnancy or a new relationship. I, I don't know. It could mean lots of different things. In 36 seconds, we are going to go even lower. We did say we were going to melt the phone lines, and that is precisely what we have done. However, they've done an amazing job at keeping up with the quantity. London's just got five. Susan's just got two. Sussex has just got three. So many multi-buyers. I love the idea of these being... Well, they could be so much, Claire, couldn't they? They could. And I just... I love with our cart. It's the quality, isn't it? They exceed. They always exceed. You yeah. know, that you've you got those beautiful little... petals there. Yeah. But then you've got the the creases in the in the petals and uh, themselves you know it would be stunning even if you, if you didn't have that but it's the level of detail they go to and the, uh, is it the stamen is it at the top yes in the, yes you can yeah. see literally the dots at the yeah. top can't you of the lotus flower for you this morning as your early bird crate that's amazing that's absolutely wonderful. amazing i'm joining you on this opportunity i really like the idea of these being your marker beads and a marla mm. necklace i'd probably team it alongside pearls but that's uh, you know that's just very typical of me um there'd also be really lovely little uh, little stud earrings just glue a head pin into the center mm. i'm but thinking as well with the interchangeable um with the beautiful pinks that you've got there and just having it because that is sort of like your blossom as well isn't it that and i do love the two you know thinking about your rose quartz um i think we've got some um kunza as well coming it's just beautiful that that's sort of like that that natural like blossom color they just they just work together mm. don't they yeah they work so perfectly yeah. we had 150 opportunities oh what do you mean shall we Claire, <laughs> shall we? Okay, Ross says, shall we make this the lowest price nephrite that we've uh, that, that definitely he's done? Definitely, yeah. Let's do it. Do it. Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Everybody pays the final low. So if you if you got involved at the beginning when it was like nineteen ninety nine or even fourteen ninety nine or even eleven ninety nine. Um, or 9.99. Everybody pays the final loan. Nobody is paying 9.99 or above. Everybody will. Yeah, I agree with you, Russ. I don't believe we've ever done. There's lots of we've not ever done in this conversation, isn't there? We've. I don't think we've done a, a type A nephrite mm. as low as what you're about to see. Um, particularly in a, a, a lotus flower bud with all those wonderful new meanings. It's the, it's the moment before enlightenment. It's about that embarking on that journey. Um, wow. Probably some of the most multi-buyers I've ever seen in one auction. Yeah. And what a know? lovely way, you know, if, you, if, you've not, if you've not got any yet, what a, what a lovely, lovely way. Um, you know, I mean, that, and that's an amazing price to, to, to have the experience of it, isn't it? So... You know, it's a really lovely way. And again, if even if your um, maybe your jewelry making um, techniques aren't that advanced, you, there's lots you could do with it, isn't there? Well, yeah. No, I'm not an advanced jewelry maker. Cord head pins. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. 
Everybody pays this final low price tag. We had 212 originally, 7.99. You shouldn't be able to get nephrite, type A nephrite furthermore, definitely not in a master carving for pocket change. Mm. You shouldn't, mm. should you? With such symbolism as well, isn't it? And that, that love, yeah, that store is wonderful. It is wonderful. Yeah. And I can think of people who, who I can gift this to as well. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm running through in my mind now, yeah, all the different different journeys that I know people are on. Yes. And who would love it. Yes. And that's really nice, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. You know, people that maybe, I don't know, have just broken up in a relationship and, you know, so they're at that dreadful, horrible time where, you know, don't, mm. they don't know where mm. they're going. How amazing would this yeah. be? How amazing would this be? Or somebody, like I said, who's just... My, my nephew has just gone up to after university, well, I say just a few months ago, but still, how meaningful it would yes. be for that. Yeah, yeah. Um, 7 .99. Threes, twos, threes, two, two, three, two. I saw tens, I saw fives, I saw sevens. Amazing. Don't go anywhere, lovely jewellery makers, though, because coming up after the break, we've got Claire's awesome kits. Um, we are going to open the uh, the advent calendar as well, so don't worry. Um, but beautiful kits coming up with our yes. lovely Claire. Yes, so we very have. very excited yeah. about this. All about enamelling, which I love. Um, we'll be back after this. Hello, my name is Yvonne Froelich and I'm one of the finalists of Britain's Next Gem, which is the competition that Jewellery Maker have been running over the last few months. I'm popping in today to tell you that I'll be on your screens on the 21st of December for a takeover. I'll be bringing some beautiful pieces with me. I'll be bringing sterling silver wire, copper wire, a wooden bangle mandrel, not the easiest to say, and uh, I'll also have some pearls which are encased in sparkly gems. So I hope you can join me then. We'll be doing plenty of hammering and hopefully I can bring you something new that you've not seen before. So please join me then. Message in, I'd love to hear from you. So see you on the 21st of December. Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Hi, I'm Natalie and I am very excited to tell you that I'm going to be taking over the Jewellery Maker Studio on Thursday the 22nd of December. I'm going to be demonstrating how to use some amazing mandrels. They are perfect for beginners or experienced jewellery makers. They are a must-have tool as they are so versatile. They're going to help you create a range of shapes for all sorts of jewellery making projects. So whether you want to make a pair of earrings, a ring, a pendant, a bracelet, a brooch, hair clips or even create your own chain, these mandrels will help form your wire into a range of beautiful, professional looking wearable pieces so please come and join me on thursday the 22nd of december only on jewelry maker Ah, oh, welcome back 
that lovely jewellery makes is it's Claire McDonald. Oh. Yay! Thank you. It's Michael Wolf. It's Michael Yay. Wolf. Yay! Yay. Hello, Mr. Wolf. Hi. <laughs> Have you had a nice little rest? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you were just saying, <laughs> I'm with for two weeks. Lovely. I think Lovely. it should be yeah, Michael Bear. You're looking very yes, bear. Yes, while I'm... Yeah, like a grizzly bear. And as round as a snowman. <laughs> no, definitely not. No, 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 you can't see. Mr Wolf, could you just literally look into this camera here so everybody oh. knows what we are actually talking about? Yes. Right now. There we go. <laughs> yes, a nice very full -like. beard right yes. there. Lovely. Nice to see you, darling. Yes, um, oh, we've got the most amazing kits coming oh, up. Show I love them. Jewelry I love, love, love these. Let's have a look. So it's all of these ones here. So if I bring them all... There's so many different combinations. So all these gorgeous, like um, enamelling, um, almost like a halo setting. Yeah. Um, and then you can, you know, uh, it's different sorts of gemstones that will go in there. So we've got like a, a like a violet colour, a beautiful, beautiful deep red, and then this lovely white. Um, and, and so, yeah, the, the, I think because you've got the brightness of the enamel. Yeah. Framing the um, framing the stones, and then you've also got accent accent stones on there as well. They They're are so, so nice and steeped in history, of course. Enamelling, enamelling yes. uh, yeah. has been around for literally hundreds and hundreds of years. Um, yeah, and I know that this is something that our sister channel have done a huge amount of as well, yeah. enamel yes. jewellery. Yeah. Um, Mark recently, he actually had enamelling in his own collection course, as well. Yes. So yeah. it, it, it's amazing and it's a real skill, you know, to, it's, it's effectively almost hand painted. Yes, and it's, a, it's just a lovely way to um, bring, uh, you know, intense colour as well, mm -hmm. and not just uh, with gemstones in, into your jewellery, which is, I think, I think to pair the two mm. um, looks really nice. And depending on what, you know, combination you go with, you're going to get different looks. Absolutely beautiful. I'm sorry, I'm just looking for my tweezers. I've just realised I haven't got them here. Um, okay, so we are... Are we going to put all the kits on the website? All the enamel rings, because there's rings, there's pendants um, as well. Um, oh, yeah, uh, so you can shop ahead on Claire's kits already. But Claire... Do you want to open yes, yesterday's? Please. Now, for those of you that don't want to know what's in your uh, your advent calendar, firstly, we're opening yesterday's because we forgot yesterday. Um, and we'll do the uh, today's um, at 12 o'clock. So take it away. Mm -hmm. Now, we've actually taken the components out. I say we, that we, that's the royal we. <laughs> um, Anne and Sue. And have actually uh, um, created already. So I'm intrigued. This is number 19. As if it's the 19th. No, it's not. It's the 20th. Right, it's not even the 19th. Oh. Oh. Look at that for a chain. This is lovely. So what, what wait, oh, do we know what we're getting? The chain or the pearl or? Either way, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Message in, let us know. Um, if you've opened today's calendar as of yet, is it the chain or is it the pearl? Absolutely. Both are or useful, is it... aren't they? Oh, my goodness me. Yeah, I'd be happy with either. Absolutely gorgeous. And we'll open today's at 12 o'clock. Apologies for missing it yesterday. We don't, got, got, got so excited in today's show. How beautiful That's is that? That's lovely, isn't it? Um, awesome, awesome. Right then, starting with Claire's awesome kits, I'm going to uh, start with a really beautiful enamel ring. So it's 925 sterling silver. Um, this comes along with... Oh, my goodness me, Claire. Oh, I know, I know. They are... Yeah. And if I've never done I'll gemstone one setting, can I do this? Yes, yes, you can because, um, yeah, I mean, you can because they're, you're working with um, uh, a round, which is, um, sorry, a, a cushion. So you've got some of the, um, uh, the corners to work with, but you've got very, very different, uh, definite prong sizes yeah. for it to go on to. So you can see there, that it's the, about the quality of the setting as well. If you look very closely at the prongs that are there, They've got the notches pre-cut for you. Um, and that can often be the, the complicated bit if you were prong setting, because you'd obviously have to make those yourself and get it to fit. So what you're looking for in these is you want those prongs to sit really neatly mm -hmm. um, over the stone so it's, it's very, very secure. And all of that's done for you. So you're just following, you've got your four, your four corners um, and we can see how we push them over. So I'm gonna start with the red. Apologies, I picked up the wrong one. Um, is the cushion easier then than, than say? I found it, I found it um, easy to, to work with them. And what I actually did is um, I had to go with um, both of them, of setting them in sort of uh, on an angle, like a, I guess like a diamond, uh, and as the, the square. 
Look how beautiful that garnet is as well. It's, the, the glow on it is amazing, isn't it? Have you got the finished I piece I think there? that's that one. Yeah. I have to sort of mix some of them up, but you can see, and, and this is where I think the um, having the, the colour of the enamel with the, uh, the stone, it just, it really, really enhances it. And, and the fact that, you know, it's, you're looking at a few things there, you're looking at also, I mean, look at the thickness of the, um, yeah. the quality of the, the silver work, the ring shank. Absolutely. You've got that wonderful halo, that band of the, the red, and then the stone. So it's gorgeous. perfect, isn't it? Which is hand painted. Now, all sizes are still currently available, but I, I mean, they can easily be resized. That's not an issue, especially if you're a silversmith. Mm. Um, um, so, uh, but J to K, L to M, and also R to S are quite limited. Now, your first price crash, remember you can shop ahead um, across uh, all the kits now. So, you've got some really lovely colorways, some varying gemstones as well. £19.99. That's amazing, isn't it? I mean, I think, I think that's a great, again, a great price for one or the other. Yes. You know, if, you've got, if you're buying the stone, that's Absolutely. Amazing price. It was the pearl in the advent calendar, by the way. Ah, oh, stunning. Yeah. Well done, everybody. <clears throat> um, 19 though, Ross. R to S has just gone limited. We're not stopping there, though. L to M, limited. J to K, limited. We've got single figure uh, quantities on each of those sizes now. We're quite limited on the N to O and the P to Q as well. Um, so it does pay to actually sort of shop ahead, have a little look at the other kits on the website. See, that's a, that's a fabulous price. $16.99. Yeah. For and the don't garnet. forget, you've also got, you've got the, other, um, the other stones, the accent stones that are on there too. Yeah. Yeah, so they perfectly marry, yes. don't they? Yeah. Perfectly marry together. <clears throat> they do. You know, what an amazing introduction into actual gemstone setting. If you want to mix them up, you can absolutely do that as well. Absolutely. Um, and I have done that on some of them. And, and the, the, the contrast of the colours, um, it works really, really well. I also think as well, even if you didn't mix the, if you were multiplying getting several colours, that also looks very nice. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, if you wanted to use, say, the purple with the red or mm. um, the white with the uh, the white enamel with the red, I think that would look absolutely beautiful as well. £16.99, well done. Susan, Nicolette, Maker, Nicole, Middlesex, Ali, Alla, uh, Maker on the um, Anonymous Maker, well done to you. Congratulations. Do make sure um, you uh, shop ahead on the website if you can um, because we have actually already uploaded lots of the uh, beautiful kits as well ah so you can see there the contrast you know if you're working with a different um some of the different stones that we've got that contrast looks beautiful also as well you know like i say if you if you know if your budget allows and you can layer them up that's looks a, so look, oh it? yeah oh i like that this is not just a pendant it's a it's a full necklace because you get the chain as yes, well yes yeah with the extender too. oh wow do you know enamel jewelry is expensive because it's hand painted. <clears throat> yeah, it's, and it's really, um, I've only ever had uh, a, a small go at it years and years ago. Um, it's really, you know, it's difficult. It's a different, you've got to be very, very precise, very careful. Here we go. Here's the matching pendant to that beautiful ring. I love this. <clears throat> well, it's not pendant, it's a full necklace. Look at that. 2.7 grams of 925 sterling silver. You've got a natural red garnet you've got hand painted enameling which is just the, the, the resurgence let me just show you some of the prices that enameling can and does fetch right now fry powers elizabeth silver enamel and crystal crystal not even genuine mm, gemstones yeah 620 pounds yeah 620 pounds look at this uh, i'm trying to find where the enameling is on that can't even see it or is it the link Maybe the links. Maybe the, must Three, be the links. Yeah, must yeah. be. £3,000 for an anklet. Look at that one. Um, Melissa K, £2,380. Mm. Um, and I know that our lovely sister channel do it as well. Obviously not these, uh, these astronomical prices. But um, just to show you that it does command high-end price tags, £1,400. And I guess that's right because you know that that is, as you said, there's a lot of skill involved. There in is it. a lot, yeah, yeah. Right for the necklace, not just the pendant. You get the pendant, the necklace, and also you get your beautiful garnet. We're going to go straight to it. Again, perfect to go alongside that uh, the ring that we just brought you. I think if you're looking for that full suite, nineteen pounds and ninety nine pence. Again, Claire, most places won't give you the chain for that. 
Absolutely not, no. That's ever so good, isn't it? And again, you know, it's you, you absolutely draw. Look at that stone. Yeah. And that is, you know, it's, it's a beautiful. A natural garnet. Yeah. Next Full, month, isn't it? Our, yep. our birthstones. Gosh, my as if birthstone, yeah. Is it? Are you a, are you a yeah, January, January, January yeah. baby. Yeah. Duly noted. Oh, and Adam, he says. Um, all your January babies, nineteen pounds and ninety nine pence only. Again, uh, do have a little look at the website because we've uploaded um, a, a few of the stones. We've got some amazing Minas Gerais kunzite. It's beautiful, isn't it? So yes. pretty. Yeah. Uh, coming up within this hour as well that you can secure. Well done. So that was the red enamel pendant to go alongside the red enamel ring, um, if you want to. That is. Um, let's do what? Sorry, the white, the ones that I had on my hand a few moments ago. Oh, this is pretty. They're lovely, aren't they? So pretty, Claire. I can imagine you wearing this. Do you know, these are the first ones that I did. They are, I was really drawn to these. I think they're lovely. Look at how pretty. That's a genuine gemstone. You have the most beautiful, flawless white topaz in a cushion cut, which has, you know, so many, as, as loads of fire, loads of brilliance because of the quantity of facets that are included. Um, you've got that halo of enameling. Again, you've got the accenting topaz um, on the actual Shanker sterling silver ring. I mean, that's so pretty, isn't it? Mm. So pretty. And I think would appeal to so many different um, ages yeah. and tastes as well. Yeah, would your girls like this? Yes, they would, both of them. Yeah. First price, not what you're paying. Any questions that you have for Claire, you can message us on the website. $19.99, all sizes are available. 2.3 um, uh, grams of precious 925 sterling silver. Not stopping at £19.99. You do need to be quick, though, because they are quite limited on their sizes. Big price crash coming your way. Good morning, everybody. London, Emma. Hello to you, Susan. Hello to you, New York. Nice to be with you as well. I hope you're well. Fourteen pounds and ninety nine pence. And again, in it, you'll get a different look with this one. So I've sort of gone with um, oh. more of like the pastely tones with there. Have you put the kunzite in? There? Yes, I have. Thought so. I couldn't. I couldn't resist with that. But you know, it's almost like your ice cream colours, isn't it? It's mm -hmm. a, and I think is it is it moon quartz as well. Yes. In there, you know, it's a. I think with that bright white halo, again, it's just it's that definition, isn't it? It's almost like you're getting the same. You know, if you put like um. Uh, a frame around something or space of beads or something that punctuation just really you know it's a, all becomes all about that focus i'm really i really like the white enamel yeah, me too the, so like i say these are the ones i was drawn with i love the effect of the the purple and the red yeah um but these are the ones i, I was drawn to first and set first and even if you wanted to use a different gemstone like i said you can can't you because those yeah, mix, yes. kunzites fit in yeah yeah they which is what you're do. wearing right yeah. now yeah. I, I don't know for me the white you could put anything you could put like a black spinel in there you could put and a ruby that, in there yeah. it's going to really compliment yeah. love that um i'll leave that one with you and we're going to dive into the necklace um so you've got that it, well it does say pendant doesn't it is you you it, it yeah it says pendant but it is actually a necklace because you get the chain yeah. as well um, again you've got the most beautiful white topaz alongside this as well again we're bringing you other amazing gemstones so that if you wanted to if you think oh, I'm not feeling the white topaz or I'm not feeling the garnet then that's fine we can bring you um, different varieties the full necklace I mean that could be quite bridal as well couldn't it you could um... that topaz is beautiful Look at the quality of the topaz it's flawless yeah, perfect for bridal mm. pieces. Yeah. You get everything that's on your screens right now. You get the pendant, the chain, and you get that cushion cut, natural white topaz. Beautiful. £19.99. pence. You know, yeah. For something with this level of skill... You know, we did once upon a time, didn't we, that F colour. Do you remember F colour, which I suppose is, is enamelling? Yes. But... Yeah. Yeah. And I know, I know really, really lovely effects. I would say this is, um, and I loved F colour and mm. I loved all the designs. In it. This is like a fine. It... Well, it's painted. Yeah. And so you've got sort of like the, the, the dip. So if you have a look at, you know, it would be like, um, there'd be a valley in there that is then full of it, enamel. So it, it's very, very neat and precise. It's... Um, I, I, and I guess um, a very elegant as well, an adult, I suppose. Yes, definitely. £19.99. But Ross says, Elle, I'm going to go again. Listen, time is ticking. 
Time is ticking. We've got beautiful kits to bring. We've got our demonstration from lovely Claire. We've got the Minas Gerais Kunzite coming up, which is all fully certified. Today, <coughs> excuse me, uh, you can get hold of this beautiful necklace, the pendant, the chain, and the, uh, the pure white topaz for just £14.99. Amazing, absolutely amazing. Any questions that you have for Claire regarding, um, do text in or message in rather. Um, yeah, all the stones are available as well on pre-order, so you can absolutely shop ahead. Fabulous. Claire, okay. uh, take so it away. Let's have a look. And I'm going to do a lot of this with... Um because uh, this is a nice, you know, maybe if you're thinking of um, uh, a new uh, a new hobby or, um, uh, you know, new new style of jewellery making for you. So I'm going to try and do it with, so I've got the clamp um, and I'm going to do it with chain nose pliers and maybe the prong uh, pusher as well. So like I was saying, when you get the, um, when you get the, uh, the setting, what you're looking at here is you've got your four prongs. So if I hold them um, maybe like that so that you can see. And so yeah. what you're looking at here is you've got the prongs coming up off the setting and then we've got these notches in there. And it's those notches that are going to um, grip the stone. So what I might do is I might sort of show you um, on a darker stone so that hopefully you can see the contrast. So um, I've, I've done it both ways on some of the settings. So um, if I sort of to explain it. So when you put it in, you can work it so that it's sort of sitting like that, sort of as the, as the square. Um, you can also, on some of them, if you wanted to, if I just sort of move this so that you have it on the um, a slight angle like that, so it's almost like the diamond. You'll see if it fits. You'll know straight away if it's going to work, depending on what the, the setting and the stone is like, if you wanted it um, that way as well. We're going to set it the um, sort of the standard way. So first of all, I'm going to pop it into my clamp. So I want to be thinking the, the, the principles of, of when you're um, setting a stone like this and, and the prong setting, we just want to make sure that we're getting it so that it's flat going across and it's sitting evenly uh, in there. So by having it, if you can see sort of like from the side there, that's a really good, um, you can see how we want to get it. So it's in the clamp and, it, and it's, um, it's flat. So we are going to be looking, you would be looking, uh, sorry, I'm going to have to sort of, peep down now. So you'd be looking at uh, whether you hold it up like this. So if I lift it up, okay, so you'd be looking and it's going so that I can see all the way around. So I want to get the stone flat in there. So what you might get with some of it is you might need to um, adjust some of the prongs because we're working with corners as well. You can absolutely do that. Remember, anything that you're doing is going to be just fine little movements. So I'm just going to start and look at the position of these prongs. And so what I'm doing is I'm moving, the, moving them over just ever so tiny, tiny amounts. And it might be that um, when you get the stone that you might need to uh, adjust it slightly, move them in, move them out. Um, you know, there's no problem with that. It's just very, very small, gentle movements. So I've popped the stone in. You're going to, so eye level, have a look, see that it's sitting flat. And I'm going to hold the stone as well. So I'm going to support it with this, this thumb here. So then we're going to push the, push the prongs. So if I start, so if we think about it, um, if I push this one here, so uh, that one there, I'm then going to do the one opposite. So I'm going to do this one here. At the moment, I'm not going to do, it's not going to be big movements. I'm just pushing against the, um, against the stone just so that it stops moving around. And then I will push sort of almost like a rock and roll motion um, over the edge of the stone. Okay, so first of all, I'm just going to grip and secure that stone. So I'm just going to start. So I'm putting pressure on the opposite prong while I push over. So the one I'm doing at the moment is this one, but I'm balancing it by, by resting my chain nose pliers onto this one here. So it's slight, like, slightly more of an angle. And I'm going to come over and I can already see I just need to reposition this one just a little bit, tiny amount, and I'm going to do the same on this one. So I'm turning it round, pushing that over, little movements at the moment. Always use, keep checking that it's sitting flat. And again, so I'm now going to do this one. 
support it, come over, turn it round, and bring that in. So at the moment, I've pushed the prongs and I'm going to go all the way around now so that the stone will hopefully stop moving, even if the prongs are sitting quite proud. So if I take this out and we have a look now where we are, hopefully the stone isn't going to come out. So if we sort of, yeah. So now it wants to Shake test. Yeah. <laughs> so now... Don't do that, don't do that. <laughs> yeah, not like that, no. <laughs> then I'm going to just now start. So I'm just holding here. And you can also, if you feel more comfortable, if you feel like you are a bit heavy-handed, you could always put tape on this, on this side. So I'm just going to anchor, just hold at the bottom here, and just start to push these prongs so that they're going over the side of the stone. So I'm just going to keep pushing and work my way around. And then I can come over, and this is where you could work with your, your if you've got your prong pusher where you've got the little notch, and you can just start to push, and that's that rock and roll. So we're just pushing it and rolling over the top there. So little movements. And hopefully at this point, you shouldn't have too much shifting of the, of the stone because that first part of pushing the, the prongs around to hold it in place. And you can see how that is starting to set the stone. So you just work your way around until your prongs have gone like this to that to then over. If you've got a burnisher, you can work on the burnisher, but it's beautifully polished um, uh, setting anyway. And you can see all the way around. How, How beautiful is that? I really like the red with the white enamelling. It's, it's a wonderful contrast, isn't it? So, I mean, you look at that. I mean, and also with enamelling, especially with the white, it, it almost looks like, um, like a, a halo of diamonds. Yes, around it, absolutely. It? When you've got that, that bright stone in the middle. So pretty, Claire. Beautiful. And, I love these settings. And, and, love and even if you've never done, you know, um, gem setting before. Well, have a go. Yeah. And, and the fact, you know, and if you decide to sort of mix up the, um, mix up the stones, it, it's, you know, it's your take on it, isn't it? Beautiful. Look at all those together. I mean, they're, they're wonderful, aren't they? Yeah. Love them in this sort of uh, one to get uh, like as a collection. Mm. Um, we've got the purple colour on your screen oh, right now. Beautiful, yeah. Which is really pretty, isn't it? So nice. Really, really yeah. pretty. So you've got a really nice lavender colour. And you saw with that Melissa K ring, you know, colour. Um, absolutely, absolutely is very widely embraced with, uh, with, uh, with your enamel. It comes alongside the most beautiful little pink amethyst, which I'll show you. Well, I say little, it's not that little. Um, oops, a daisy. Come on. There we go. And a really lovely little cushion cut just there. Um, so they are perfectly calibrated to fit within these gorgeous mounts. Two amethysts either side with your enamelling in 925 sterling silver. Or oh, have you got them there, Claire? Yes, yeah. So that's those two. They are beautiful, aren't they? It's, and again, these. I think the, the enamel colours are really, really striking, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, they really are. Striking. Really, really different, yeah. too. So different. Yeah. 14 99 crazy, isn't it? I mean, you'd be hard pushed to find. I, well, I don't recall seeing anything at you know that that lower double figure price point for enamel jewellery because of the skill, as you said. It's really this is this is artistry. It takes yes. a steady hand. Yeah, and 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 those two accent gemstones as well. You know, wow. Because again, this is like it's taking it to next level, isn't it? In the same way with the carvings, it'd be beautiful. It'd be really beautiful if you just had that just the the, the plain enamel halo going around it. But the fact that you've got those, um, you know, the two little gems as well, it's beautiful. Amazing, Claire. Fourteen pounds and ninety-nine pence only. Your sizes are available, but needs to say they are quite limited. Um, we've got the necklace as well to bring you as well with that pink amethyst. Um, it's not you, Ross. That's, it literally says that on the graphics, doesn't it? It says pendant, um, but you do get the necklace as well. Um, I love this one. I think if if my Willow was here, she would like this one. She'd be she'd gravity, isn't it? Yeah, she, it's quite princessy, I think. Um, so you've got your pink amethyst to go inside, exactly the same technique as the yes, ring? Yes, totally, yeah, absolutely, exactly the same. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And it is 925 sterling silver, so we're not looking at uh, base metals here. They are 925 
comes with the 18 inch chain. Um, that chain as well, I should mention, has the uh, extender chain as well, doesn't it? Yeah, and a lovely, um, a lovely sizable bale as well. So if you do want to add, you know, it's a really lovely look, isn't it? If you like layer things. So maybe you've got some other um, semi mounts perhaps that you've used or you've got, um, you know, you're wrapping uh, maybe a big pearl or something on there. It's going to sit really nicely. Beautiful. Yeah, you don't have to use these calibrated stones, do you? No, you, no. I mean, you can use lots of, but, but I guess if you wanted to add into it, add into that well, bale. Yeah, 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 yeah totally. Yeah. Um, okay, so let's get this on the move. Well done. Again, we've still got the Minas Gerais Kunzites to bring you. Absolutely beautiful. Maybe you're starting your journey of gemstone setting. Would you say the gemstone setting toolkit would be uh, um, a yeah. wise person? Purchase. Yeah, I think that is. I think the um, that toolkit is, is. I mean, it's stand out, isn't it? Yeah. Because you've got so many professional tools. Yeah, absolutely. You've got the clamp that you'll find so useful for all sorts of different, not just gem setting. Wire work is great. Just supporting and securing whatever jewelry you're really you're working with. Um, it works very, very well. And, and yeah, and a prong lifter in there too. You know that. Yeah. If, if you um, go wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, which happens. It happens even. It to does. The but it's also it's also very useful in say if you've got existing jewellery. Maybe you know. Maybe you need to um, sort of you want to just uh, lift lift the prong to then reset something that you've got already. You know, um, it, it works very well there. Um, fabulous. Do we have that available? Do you know, uh, Roscoe? Do we have the gem setting toolkit available? Just because, you know, if you are thinking about starting your gem setting journey, we would always recommend this toolkit. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. And you've got your, your prong, um, you know, it's got all the specialist tools in there. Um, you know, and I think as well, if you go on to the Jewelry Maker website and you um, look, at, look at it there, um, I think I've talked through each of the different tools yes, as well. Yes, yes, there's a little video, isn't there, yes. loaded. Yeah. I'll tell you what, let's bring that to air because we do have it available. Um, so, yeah, I mean, for your, yeah, for your gemstone setting, which is, which, I don't know if we're allowed to play it, but do you know what? Blame, yeah. Ross, blame me because I asked, didn't I? Yeah, it's... Um, um, that's, uh, that's, uh, oh, bless you. He says, uh, <laughs> really, we're in sync. Like, a, if, what, if I go down, you go down. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you. Let's bring it to air. Comes in a really nice little file of facts pack as well. So all your professional Yeah, it's tools. everything that, yeah, yeah. You get tweezers as well, don't you, little... I don't have a sample yeah, here in the studio, but yeah. if you look on the website, if you look on the website, yes. you will um, see our lovely Claire. There you go. Yeah. And Who, so the other thing you've got in there as well is a really is a burnisher, and that's a really really great uh, great stone setting tool as well. You know, for all do different sorts of setting. You've got your your vernier gauge. You've got tweezers. You can see your prong lifter on the end. Yep. The pusher. I mean that that clamp is is a really great clamp because you've actually got although you can see where the wedge is you've got two ends there so you've got a um, a curved end and then a straight uh, yeah. end. Oh, you've so it's the, double ended. Yes. Okay. Yeah. You've got the um, the special um, uh, prong pliers. Um, yes, you've got loads of and, and you know it, professional a... professional tools. And I would say you know that for that for that you know 20 pounds 20 quid yeah so that's all of them that you'd be looking at those sort of prices in some places for you know for one professional jewelry making tool and you're not likely to need to replace these as long as no. you don't lose it are you no you're not likely to that literally that, that, that toolkit should last you a lifetime amazing absolutely amazing make sure you check them out um if you haven't got a gem setting toolkit we would highly recommend it do you know what even if you don't because i noticed one of um, um a ring that i wear um occasionally i was literally i could hear something sort of rattling it was mm. the stone had worked loose so i need to get a gem setting toolkit just to literally cradle the prongs yes. over a little yeah. bit more because yeah, if i took that into a jeweler they're going to charge me 20 quid anyway yeah. at least yeah probably because you've got the professional tools yes you, you can do them so you just maybe you might and this is where the, your prong lifter would come in because you mm. might need to take the stone out just to, just to readjust the prongs and then pop it back in fabulous well done everybody congratulations make sure you check out shall we do the kunzai oh yes oh that, you know. love it <clears throat> jewelry maker i mean you have to say we never thought we'd have kunzai did we oh, it's beautiful. it was always especially minas jerris kunzai there was i remember the discovery of it i remember steve bennett buying the literally saying we'll have it all Thank you very much. Um, so, because what was so exciting about Minas Jerais Kunzai, and it was, I think, around about 2014. 
Uh, it was, wasn't it? Do you remember it as well, Russ? So vividly, literally, it was like this uh, this enormous announcement here at um, here at Gemporia. Um, it's like we found the best kunzai, and what's so exciting about it is it doesn't need any treatment. Kunzai ordinarily needs a little bit of heat treatment to bring out a really delicate, you know, I'm not talking about like uh, fuchsia pink, um, a really delicate, very feminine pink. Mm. It is actually referred to as the most feminine gemstone um, on the planet. So, yeah, when this discovery was made purely by chance, because the miners were literally mining for ore, um, and they saw these wonderful flashes of pinks within the host rock. Can you imagine that moment? Um, and then, of course, the extent of this parcel was, was revealed. But, yes, as with, is often the case, um, a lot of the miners back then, they know Steve. They know Steve very well. They know that, let's be honest, there's a, there's a budget with Gemporia, which is quite sizable. So what they can actually do is, so he said, oh, I'll have it all. Thank you very much. So, mm. and that, but we accepted that it was always going to be on gems. It was never going to be here at Jewelry Maker because of the quality of the kunzai. You know, we had kunzai in your strands. We didn't really do your calibrated stones back then. Now, thank goodness we do. Honestly, if you've never seen Minas Gerais Kunzai, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, it, obviously, a member of the Spodrumine family. But the, but the quality of these, considering there is zero heat treatment, is literally incredible. That is natural colour. Do you know, I'm going to say something a little bit controversial. I would favour a, 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 a Kunzai, a top quality Kunzai over a pink diamond. Would you? Yeah, I would. They are exquisite, aren't they? So beautiful. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. beautiful. Look how stunning they are. There's those two keywords, not enhanced. Minas Gerais, like I said, it was mm. stumbled across uh, um, back in, I don't know, well, we started seeing it in 2014, so it might well have been just before that. To be able to offer you just shy of two carats of natural kunzai at under £50 pounds is ridiculous because when when we were when i was bringing this and i was i was actually uh, uh presenting on um, our american channel back then this would have been in gold it would have accents of diamonds and it would not be a double figure price tag do you agree russ 100 percent, he said in fact you used to yeah that's this is like a rose de france price and we used to say it looked like kunzai does that make sense it was always in gold. It was only at the latter part of that parcel did we ever start bringing it in silver. Always in gold, always three figures. Back in 2014, some of you might have got some of those amazing pieces. Wow. 29.99, Clay, and you're getting to- two. Oh, is that, that's- is it, Yes, it, that, that's this one here. I mean, it is, it, the color is- It's just, so it's, pretty. Yeah. yeah. That is, that's the first one. Um, this is the first one that I did because it just, it, you know, it draws. So are you, Claire. It's, um, it's lovely, isn't it? I've got 40 available opportunities. Who wants a pair of natural Minas Gerais Kunzai for £10 each? It's, uh, it, 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 it's, uh, it's unheard of. It's completely and utterly unheard of. Ross has just said he thinks this is the first Minas Gerais he's had at Jewel Maker. We've had it, but not a lot, Ross. We've had like literally one or two here and there. Um, these are gem quality. That's why I said, you know, absolutely something like this. There would have been individual maybe in, in, in a 14 karat gold, or maybe they would have been an amazing pair of earrings mm. that probably then would have been an 18 karat gold. Um, shouldn't have been 10 pounds each it comes completely certified i know that we are at the very 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 tail end of the minas Gerais kunzite parcel that was bought back in 2014 um and and by the way internationally globally uh, um created quite the hype because of the quality that was coming from that location without any enhancement whatsoever they go perfectly perfectly alongside um claire's beautiful mm. kit what about the kits coming up in your um in your master class claire yeah, so, so um, slightly different. Um, so the, the, the ones in the masterclass are, are, are round um, uh, stones. But I would have a look at that, you know, if you're getting, if you're looking at getting the, um, the kunzite or, or any of the other colours, have a look. So before you set the stone, maybe if you've got the purple, 
you, you've got the red, you've got the white, and see how different it looks with, yeah. with that with that framing as well. Well, it would probably transform it completely. It completely, it? yeah. You're going to get very it's from the same stone. Just the, those colours are going to get give it a very very different look. But I mean, it, you know, it's out of this world, isn't it? That's, it that's really is. Beautiful. I love it. I absolutely love it. I mean, look at it here on the white background. Yeah, I'm not sort of mm. how pretty that is on the white background. Stunning colour. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Now, um, do you remember we did a closeout deal on the Nephrite Bayou? Um, and of course the Lotus Flower, yeah. Shall we do another J closeout deal on a pack of six little teapots? Oh. Oh, for all you could call a piece of jewelry like for all the tea in China or something like that, couldn't you? Oh, I would put these. I would put these with that. The lotus. Um, oh, it's a nice bird. idea. Because I also see flowers. Yeah, I'm seeing like yeah, like the top of a. I can also see like little flower shapes. Yeah. How pretty are they? So you're getting a pack of six um, carved teapots. Um, again, you get a selection of lovely colours. You've got a mixture of um, all Taipei, of course. Um, you've got your lavenders, you've got your beautiful apple blossom greens, you've got some pure whites in there, all Taipei grade. How about if we said brand new low? I like the idea of using it with the little bud. Should we melt the phone lines on the first price crash, though? Ah, for all your lovely little teapots. Do I think £5 for a Taipei jade is a good price? Absolutely. Absolutely. First price crash. £19.99. pence. Wow. Yeah, I, I think... They're very passionate about tea as well, aren't they? In yes. Time. They spend yeah. literally... But I can't, it's, it's a I ritual. can't not see them now, sort of sat with the other... That way round. Yeah, so that, sort of that way. It's a nice idea. Yeah. They almost become then, um, they'd be lovely at the top of a tassel, don't mm. you think? Because you've yes, got so that many sort of tapering. Ways. Yes, yeah. Really nice yeah. angles. Um, we're at £3.33 per Type A Master Carve teapots uh, times six. So you're getting six of those. You might not see the teapot. You might be going, no, I'm like Claire, I can see the flowers. Or you might just see a really beautiful shape. I tell you what, let's round it off. £3 each. Nice, uh, uh, generous drill hole. This is already a brand new low price tag um, on your screens right now. Nine, uh, sorry, £17.99. Awesome. Considering, you know, everything that we've learned over the last couple of months about, uh, about Burmese jadeite, even before that knowledge, obviously, the fact that um, type A jadeite has always been considered one of the most valuable and rare uh, gemstones geologically and monetary. £17.99, already lowest ever price tag. But we're not stopping there. How many have we got then? A hundred available. Okay. Um, shall, we, shall we melt the phone lines again? How about £2 per jadeite? Oh, gosh. £2? Because then you're looking at when you've got that, you know, if you think beautiful earrings, and, and you wouldn't have to have anything else, would you? No. If you didn't want to. They, what, that shape would work fabulously with other things, but lovely on its own. I can see tulips as well, can mm. you? Yeah. Or snowdrop-like shapes. Yes, yeah. £2 for a type A jadeite. Little teapots, but again, they could definitely, I think, be flowers. Um, you're the creative one, so you, I'm sure you can you, you can do your amazing versions and twists. Um, we had 100 of these available. They're just really sweet. Absolutely they beautiful. And, they, and think how beautifully they would frame, you know, depending on which way you, you know, if you're gonna, maybe in a bracelet as well, you could work them. So oh, I see, so have a gemstone way. sat in between. Yeah, yeah. in between, or, or you turn them around. That way is loads of different ways. Ah, oh, like bow ties? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe a sterling silver That's spacer in between. Should we put it, uh, uh, I tell you what, let's put Should it on your on desk because then we can see what you're referring to. Um, there you go. We're not even stopping at 11.99, but we do need to see you there. We need to justify the um, this price drop because we're all we were at the lowest ever at, at 17 pounds and 99 pence. We want to get this under 10 pounds. We have to have um, an explanation for an under ten pound price tag. It's type A jade. Again, we really can't get hold of it at this uh, at this present moment in time. That isn't likely to trans to change. That's pretty. These are lovely. 
These are really lovely. So yeah, many so sort different of like ways. Sitting like that, and whether you worked with, um, you know, maybe another carving in between or around, turn them around that way as well. I like them as little bow ties. Like that way. Yeah. Yeah. But then again, isn't it on on head pins? So if you're going to, you know, that way is nice. That too. way down, or then. Yeah, that puts that way a multitude a multitude is there enough people on the phone lines and on the web no says ross no he says i want to get it under 10 pounds listen we're very different to a, a sort of the average gemstone retailer um we we are reactive we always say that so and um, we've got a hundred quantity you've got to remember that broadcasting is astonishingly expensive um so if we can see that we'll, we will actually uh, sell out on maybe um, a, a, at least a large proportion um, of uh, of the quantity, then we can then we can squeeze that price even lower. We don't want to sell just one or two. That's not how it works. What are you doing, Claire? So I made angels last week, and these look at how beautiful these little angel wings are. Ah. Now. So if you do your wire work and you want some. Little angel, little angel wings. wings that way because you've got almost like a slight frill when you look at it that way, isn't it? There we go. That's a bit better. Also, did you put them together in like a cube design? Yes, I started to before I had my uh, brainwave. You had your little brainwave. Yeah. Oh, look. See, that's beautiful as well, so isn't many, it? So many, so many ways. Literally tessellate them together. Ross is happy. Is there enough people on the web and on the phone lines now? We're going to do it. We're going to do it. We're going to go under £10. That's lovely. Yeah, beautiful. Just pop a little gemstone in the centre. <gasps> yes, Claire. And that right there, <laughs> that right there is why you're I the designer. I need to sit down. Yeah, I need I know, to sit down. It. Have you peeked Oof. now? Yeah. You... <laughs> 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 She's just dropping the little stone in the centre. And give yourself a, a, a round of applause. Well done. Um, absolutely amazing. Nine ninety nine. That's awesome. And you could just do that with a little bit of wire, couldn't you? I wonder. I wonder if. Um, what are you maybe doing now? The other way. Ah, oh, now Claire, you spoiled it. No, I'm only joking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Back only... to my usual self now. Uh, oh, 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 no. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Love it. I mean, very nice. Claire? Yeah? Do you want another minute? Oh, yes. Yes. Do you know what I'd like then? I'd, 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 I would, um, I'd be multi-buying there. Can you imagine going, keep working your way out? It's a bit like a rose, isn't it? Oh, I get it. You're getting the layers. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it in threes. In Do threes. In threes. Yeah, so they're like little triangles. <gasps> There's a clock ticking on your screen once again. That's because, do you want to know why? We're going to go even lower, Claire. Just because we can. <laughs> I mean, I like the first one best. Uh, me too, I think. I like, like we agreed. <laughs> we all agreed I peaked then. It's, it's been slightly downhill after that. But I love uh, it. A mountain range. So initially we started out and we were like, oh, little teapots, they're really sweet. All the tea in China, etc. Now we're creating beautiful mosaics with type A jadeite. What's that? Little mountains? Uh, yeah, mountains. Little volcanoes. Yeah. Yeah. Love it. Um, uh, fish. A fish? Some fish. Oh, actually, I do see the fish. Some trees. Yeah, trees. Oh, yes, Christmas trees. Um, Little pagodas, absolutely. I love it. Look some at us tea, all. Some teapots. Tea, let's go back to the teapots, yes. shall we? Yeah. yeah. Let's go yeah, back I'm, to the I'm teapots. I'm done now. I'm, I'm, yeah. I do like Chinese tea, do you? I don't know that I've... Um, is it quite perfumed? It is very scented, yeah, very fragrant. and yes. But it's a whole ritual, isn't it? Yes, it's a, yeah. Oh, yes, now, Claire, oh, hang you've on, redeemed hang on, yourself. I'm back. You've redeemed yourself, Claire. I'm back. She is back. That's the best one yet. Awesome! Yes! Yes! Ross, you've missed this. That's awesome. Yeah. Pink. Ross doesn't like it. He loves it. Absolutely loves it. Uh, oh, I like that too. Adam's saying, if you do it with a three, it's the Isle of Man flag. Amazing. Claire, look, all of this, all of this out of the little teapots. Seven ninety nine. 
Um, 7.99, that does get you all six um, of your type A jadeite teapots as well. Look at the multi-buyers. Hello, Berkshire getting six, Essex getting two, uh, Kent's got three, Richard's got 11, Yvette's got two, Essex has got two, Libby's got, uh, Libby, you got yours, London's got three, Susan's got three, Elaine, hello to you, Carol, hello to you, Jan, hello, I can't keep up, well done. Keep on dialing through, they're available. Um, are you right there, Claire? Yeah, it's going to be a bird, some sort of a bird. A what? Bird, maybe. So it's a bird then? Who's a bird? A bird. I don't know, bird. A bit bird like. No. Or a turtle, I'm going to say. <laughs> oh, yes, a turtle. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm done now. I think I'm yeah. out of ideas now. Uh, yeah, that's the, that's the turtle. There we are. It's very cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Do you remember the turtle off Never Ending Story? No, I don't know if I... Ah, 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 show that one. Oh, no, no, I don't. You don't remember no. him? He was this massive... Was he a turtle or was he... Yeah, or a tortoise. A tortoise, yeah. Tortoise, yeah. yeah. Anyway, yeah, terrifying. Um, OK. <laughs> what should we do next? Oh, of course it is. It's that time. Now, coming up, your deal of the day, you've got the most amazing, um, amazing collection of uh, Queen Conch. Now, I need to make an announcement. Unfortunately, Dave can't be with us this morning. Um, but don't you worry. We will make sure we will make sure that you have the most absolutely amazing show. So we are going to do the three last remaining Conch Pearl opportunities. If you weren't able to tune in during... Uh, during that uh, uh, that launch, and um, we've all bought ours. It's absolutely beautiful. In fact, I'd, I'd go as far as saying this is one of the prettiest collections I think Gempori have ever launched. Um, during the break, we're going to take you to a little documentary that actually talks um, about the rarity, the beauty. It's the story. It's the story of the Queen Conch from Dave himself. Around 10 years ago, there was a real excitement uh, in, in the world of fine jewellery, especially here in the Caribbean, as the world's first um, Queen Conch farm was set up, where a place to kind of culture uh, and fully mature the Queen Conch, which can take between 10 and 12 years, some say 14 years, to get the true gem grade material. Um, this is this stone, the Queen Conch shell, not to be confused with the Queen Conch shell of which it produces, has always been a feature of high jewellery. You'll only find sporadic examples. It is a, an incredible shell that was used almost exclusively by the carvers, the cameo relief carvers of Idar Oberstein uh, throughout the last hundred years. And uh, a few years ago, I saw a piece at auction uh, that went for 700,000 US dollars created by Tiffany & Co, George Frederick Kunz, Henry Hope, and uh, the financier, um, Mr. Uh, JP Morgan, were huge advocates of this incredible shell. And when I heard about this project, my debut uh, collection of jewelry I wanted to feature uh, and bring back, revive the Queen Conch shell. Unfortunately, as you can tell, uh, a series of hurricanes uh, from 2015 to 2017 completely destroyed uh, the Queen Conch farm. As you can see, the wild of the Caribbean is reclaiming the visitor center, which you know thousands of people visited each year. Um, and as such, it hasn't got back running. This is a, a problem we find in the world of you know South Sea pearls and Tahitian pearls. Yeah, if a typhoon takes it out, the investment needed, the capital needed, to then go and collect. Um, or, or harvest those incredible bivalve oysters is expensive. Well, when it comes to the Queen Conch, it's a different matter altogether. Finding a fully mature Queen Conch today is the equivalent of finding a completely natural pearl in the Gulf of Persia, maybe 100, 200 years ago, before the days of Mickey Moto. In fact, it's the rarest stone I've ever been involved in. It's a one in two million chance finding the fully mature Queen Conch. Now you can find juveniles, uh, you know, when they're using it for delicacies, four or five years old, and they're completely disregarded by the fishermen because they have no value. To, to extract the, the full potential of the value of a queen conch, it needs to be a minimum of 10 years old. That's when the shell thickens and can be carved by the world's best carvers. And that's when you get that beautiful coral color throughout the body of the shell in which some incredible intricate pieces can be created. As such, this is a one-time collection that I'm hoping to bring to you guys and I don't think we'll be able to ever do it again. 
because I've spent now a week in the Caribbean um, and as my cameraman who's filming this can attest, we found conch, we found queen conch, but we've only found one gem grade shell. And what a specimen it was, you know, it's about this large, I'll show you some images of it. Um, and it has this beautiful blush color throughout and it's so thick, it's like porcelain. This was the great hope of the Caribbean, this Queen Conk farm, but unfortunately Mother Nature had other ideas and as such we've seen a 5 to 10,000% price increase in the value of the fully mature Queen Conk. So there you have it, uh, Dave literally in search of the legacy that is the Queen Conch. And little did I know, I mean, you think back, you, I think even as a child, you recognize how beautiful the conch shell actually is, yes, even in yes. a smaller size. But it takes that many years to develop to the Queen Conch mm. itself. Um, I, I said it just before the break and just before we watched Dave in that documentary, you know, this is something that's completely and utterly natural. Um, and it's a, an extreme rarity to occur. They call it, even though technically speaking it is a shell, they call it uh, um, a pearl, effectively. They sort of a queen conch pearl. They can produce pearls, of course. Um, but to have that wonderful, beautiful, vibrant pink colour, as I said before the break, I think this is the most beautiful collection that we've ever launched uh, across the entire partnership. And so many of the crew, um, members of staff, all got hold of this as well. It's beautiful. Um, yeah, I dropped some not so not so subtle hints to my husband when this collection was launched. I was like, oh, because I, I didn't think this opportunity would arise. I didn't think we'd be able to repeat it. For whatever reason, I've got a few, and they are so limited. Yeah, so I said to my husband, please, can you tune in, um, because I want this one now. Um, so he actually shopped during, during the actual launch itself. They are incredibly beautiful and incredibly, incredibly rare, because when we think about this kind of color, I guess most of us would actually assume that it had been dyed in some way, shape, or form. But just at the end of that VT, you saw Dave there um, showing you that beautiful, glossy, vibrant pink that has the variations, the different shades um, within the conch shell itself. Uh, do, you, do you have the, um, yeah, so, uh, because you can actually have sort of a pure white color, what you're really looking for is that lovely, glossy, blush pink. I don't want you to think it's going to be like that pink behind us. You want it to have uh, sort of a, a lovely, delicate rose colour. So, Claire, I'm going to start with showing the one that you just oh. said to me. I so desperately want that. It's beautiful, I isn't I, it? I just love it. I love everything about it. I just think, again, it's, it's perfection of design, isn't it? And that's a solid piece mm. of Queen Conch. Now, this was designed and inspired. They will take it out of the box. Comes within these boxes, by the way, which I want to show you there. You've got the little crown Stunning, because it's yeah. the queen yeah. conch. Yeah. So attention to detail um, with this one. It's all completely and utterly natural. I actually think the color that you have on this pendant is better than the pendant that I'm about to see. Um, this necklace that, uh, that, 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 that is photographed was actually a one of a kind. It sold on our sister channel. It was a collaboration between Dave, the Queen Conch, and you'll recognize, I'm sure, Glenn Lehrer. So Glenn Lehrer, uh, um, it's a one-off piece and it was a five-figured piece of jewelry. Yes, so yeah. absolutely beautiful. That's in solid gold. You've got diamonds encrusted on the bale. You've got Glenn Lehrer sapphire, I think it was. Um, and then you've got a diamond in the center. I mean, absolutely beautiful. And mm. one person in the world owns mm. this. Um, but we didn't want to do just one of a kind. We wanted to bring, or rather we, Dave, wanted to be able to bring uh, a few more opportunities. Look at the quality of the pink color actually in the top of the mm. bale, which is a really beautiful um, sort of uh, hidden bale. I mean, that one on its own. I remember what we took this to quite vividly. That on its own, just suspending from a beautiful, uh, beautiful chain would be, would be remarkable. But, um, so let's read through this. So David Harry Jules, this is Dave's collection itself. Um, and he does specialize in certainly the rarest uh, and certainly the most beautiful of collections out there. Um, and I'm literally going to use his PowerPoint to demonstrate, you know, how exciting this opportunity is. I mean, look at that. Look, look mm. at that piece there that was just, uh, was just being displayed. 
beautiful pink color and of course the finest grade quality diamonds. Um, the history and gemology of the uh, of the Queen Conch. Now, obviously, we're not going to read that entire uh, entire article. It, 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 I think, from memory, Dave was saying it's quite it's quite an old uh, piece of literature, um, but he has actually sort of pinpointed maybe one paragraph of real um, importance during Queen Victoria's reign between 1837 and 1901. The sw uh, the shell of the conch was imported into Europe to be carved as cameos. As for uh, as for collecting and as uh, a curio, Italian Italian cameo carvers preferred um, the S. Uh, Gigas shell, I hope I pronounced that right, because of its delicate pink tint. So we're talking about something that dates back as far as the 1800s, you know, w incorporating it into your jewelry, not just as a really beautiful sort of shell itself. Um, yeah, uh, and here it is, the queen, uh, the structure of the queen conch. Uh, shell has been described in great detail by uh, Bowman in 1941 and briefly by Brown in 18, sorry, 1986. Since the pearl is formed in a similar manner as the shell, one, ex uh, one expert to find a similar structure. The fib fibrous or uh, lamella structure is present in all shells or pearls exhibit exhibiting a flame. I remember him describing this flame. Mm. So if you can imagine, you can definitely, definitely see it on the recording of your piece. So if you can imagine almost the burning embers within uh, an open fire or something like that you can perfectly perfectly see that flame display within this amazing pendant when you compare it to the one that's in the picture there you go you can see I mean obviously yours is much larger obviously much much larger um, or I assume so anyway but you can see that beautiful beautiful patterning within um, Here we go. So the history and gemology of the queen conch pearl continues. The proba uh, probability of finding a conch pearl is then about one in a thousand, which agrees the Streeter's uh, indications in 1886. Um, Miss... Heinrichsen uh, uh, put the odds even lower, about around 1 in 10,000 to 1 in 15,000 on the basis um, of personal observations and discussions with fishermen in the Dominican Republic and Bahamas. This figure agrees with information provided by Bonnie Everett, who co-owns a fishery in the Turks uh, um, and... Uh, is that... Caicos. Caicos Islands. Um, Miss Everett nevertheless points out that there is no way of knowing if any, uh, if a pearl has been out overlooked. In addition, only about 10% of those found can be considered gem quality. While the degree of scarcity may vary with the fishing grounds, conch pearls are, by any standards, very rare. The reality is a queen conch in itself is incredibly rare. Mm. They, I forget how many years it was. Was it something like 20 years for a conch pearl, to, to, for a conch shell rather, or the creature itself mm. to develop to queen status? And it's the rings, isn't it, that tells you the age um, of the conch itself because life yeah, you know, they can they can get caught up in fishing lines. They can obviously get eaten. There's lots of reef sharks and um, in around the location where they tend to uh, where they tend to live that literally feed on your conch itself. Plus, over in many uh, in many in places, conch is a delicacy. It is a food source as well. Take a look at this amazing piece. I mean, it's fantastic. Look at the detailing in that beautiful carving. Um, a set of queen conch shell jewelry from Naples. Um, from 1860, British Museum, Room 47. So you can actually go and see this piece. Look at that level of skill. Absolutely incredible. Mm. Yes. There's that beautiful colour as well. And if you compare that beautiful colour to what I have here, you can see there's no sacrifices, are there? Mm. Zero sacrifices at all. I have to say, Claire, how many do we have of these, Ross? Perfection, isn't it? There's 19 remaining. Many conch pearls have been sold in Europe since the 18th century, are actually the Sangha itself. Um, they are indistinguishable because the composition is the same. The magic of the Sangha is that it carries the shimmering flame and only 10% of the pearls have that presence. So what you're looking at is not, this collection is not, if again, the actual queen conch pearl. 
This is the Sangha. You are talking about the shell itself. I carry, uh, uh, I carry Sock of the Pearl, but I don't get the Queen Conch itself. It used to go to Italy or Germany, but now it goes to Japan or Hong Kong. To get hold of an opportunity to repeat. Look at that Mickey Moto ring that we just saw a few moments ago. You see that lovely flame. You can see the beautiful craft. And you see that lovely patterning itself. That's not the pearl. That's the Sangha itself. And the likes of Mickey Moto working with this, who are renowned for pearls, aren't they? Um, working with the, uh, with the actual uh, um, Queen Conch pearl uh, as well. We are talking about extreme rarity. And I can remember Dave actually saying that to access, to purchase a single queen conch pearl, mm -hmm. you know, you should have to expect uh, uh, to invest a very, very, very significant amount of money. Take a little look at this one. So 9.5 carats, beautiful color. Just so you can get an idea of size, that's a quarter, okay? So you've got a single quarter. You've got the queen conch, lovely flame across the surface of it as well. So how much would something like this cost? Well, here is an exchange of messages that Dave had with, uh, with its seller. Hi, Dave. Uh, just got this 9.5 carat. If you're interested, let me know. It's beautiful. What's your price? The best pearl I have seen all year. Uh, $14,000. Really good flame. 9.5 carats, significantly smaller than a quarter. So please know that we have to invest in something as rare as this. Christie's have featured this beautiful treasure on their publications, that wonderful flower, that chrysanthemum flower, where you saw the, the actual queen conch literally arch round with the finest grade diamonds. Look at it, it's absolutely mm. incredible. It's a brooch, it's got the finest grade of diamonds. I think it was sold at Christie's um, some years ago for, for astronomical amounts of money. But again, compare, I'm asking you to compare the quality of the color um, on that Christie's piece to the piece that you are about to see. There's the price. A diamond conch pearl and conch shell brooch by Tiffany's & Co, 60,000 US dollars. Um, a diamond conch pearl and conch shell brooch by Tiffany's & Co, designed uh, as a conch pearl and conch shell chrysanthemum blossom with circular cut diamond petals and a stem uh, to the pear-shaped diamond terminal mounted in platinum signed by Tiffany. 60,000, yeah. I know, I mean, so it's an amazing work of art, as is yours. 60,000 US dollars, and you've got that same comparable beautiful color. Designed as a conch pearl and conch shell chrysanthemum blossom with circular cut diamond petals and stems uh, to the pear-shaped diamond uh, terminal mounted in platinum. What's that? This was years later. Oh, yes, of course. So that first auction that we showed you at Christie's, 60,000 was some time ago. Recently, this was very recent, wasn't it? That it actually went to auction. This year, $700,000. Talk about appreciation. Mm, mm. Yeah. But it's so pretty, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. A work of art. It is a work of art. But it's that pink as well, isn't it? And, it and is. That's, that's what we've got. That is that wonderful. It's like nothing else. That like pink. nothing else. The Sanger shell is the only variety that is considered gem grade. I've carved one in my life. It was a beautiful uh, angel skin color that shifted to a coral in different lights. It was a very hard stone and I carved it like a large round pearl and I could have sold it as, uh, sold it as one. Many carvers here haven't ever seen one. I would say in my experience, it is far rarer than even the pearl itself. Much of the examples you see at auction are likely to be the masters of Naples and could be centuries old. So what this individual, is, who, by the way, is from, from Ida Oberstein, um, what this individual is actually saying is the shell is rarer than the pearl. So those stats that we open this auction opportunity discussing, and it makes quite logical sense because you think about it, the shell itself could produce multiple pearls, couldn't it? I'm not saying masses. It's not like culturing pearls, etc. But it could produce maybe one or two. I don't know. But the Sanger pearl, there's only one of, uh, sorry, the Sanger shell itself has to mature to 20 years 
to actually get that queen conch status. 20 years, that's avoiding all the kind of natural dangers that are very relevant and present within the sea itself. So it's an extreme rarity. Some carvers have never even seen it in their lifetime, they were saying. Now, shall we open this opportunity? There are just 19 available in the world. That's it. Once they are gone, they are gone. This was really one of, oh, it's hard to say actually, these were the most, most beautiful collection I think we've ever mm, done here at Jewelry yeah. Maker and possibly across the entire yes. partnership. I'm going to take this out the box that it comes presented in. It's a huge amount of queen conch. You have also within the most beautiful, round, brilliant cut stones. It, I've, I've worn mine a couple of times now, it's, and you get so many comments on it because it's so unusual. This was inspired by some of the most expensive and considered and high-end jewellery designers out there, but this one right here, the one we showed at the beginning of the show, was on our sister channel. It was a one-of-a-kind piece, framed in gold, five figures, and you have a Glenlera Taurus in the centre. 19 of these exist. It's set in uh, 925 sterling silver. After all that education, maybe this is the first time you've ever heard of Queen Conch. Um, it's in astonishingly rare, astonishingly rare. Maybe even surpassing some of the likes of your, I don't know, Pareva Tourmalines or Paparaccia Sapphires. In 55 seconds, we are going to introduce the graphics. This is the first, what's that? Okay, so uh, Ross has just Googled Queen Conch. He says, I, f I came across one opportunity, £90,000. Mm. They are stunning. And if you love that design, I've got some. Can we keep hold of that, Ross? Because um, it's very similar to the drop pendant that we've got coming up as well. They'd be amazing if you wanted to be, be inspired by those pieces. Right now, though, for it's, that, it's for that amazing, amazing disc of beautiful natural queen conch color. You've got that beautiful flame which literally fires across this. There's no enhancement. It is queen conch. Imagine the scale, you know, uh, uh, of the actual conch shell. To be able to get that flat surface. Yes, yeah, and that size. The auction is open. Our sister channel had one, a one of a kind piece. You have 19 available opportunities, but once these have gone, it would be entirely too complacent of us to think we'll do another collection. The first price crash, I have to tell you, is too low because have you seen a single, single uh, uh, piece of jewellery in any of that literature that we've just shared? That's not my literature, that's Dave's literature that shows a triple figure price tag. No. You're probably expecting the high four figures, aren't you? We just spoke about £90,000. That's your first price crash. Your first price... Look at it from here. It will get noticed. You do get, um, you do get comments on it. London, congratulations. You've got yours. I know that I, during the launch, and uh, um, I was joined by Susie at the time, and I was like, Dave, can you imagine them as earrings? And he said, I did think about making them into earrings, but he was like, all of a sudden, then I'm halving the opportunities. Um, if you like that look, well, take a little look at these earrings. Deliberately... Are, are they earrings or are they pendants? I think their earrings deliberately sort of asymmetric in their design. Um, so we've taken inspiration from these, made the pendant, but if you want to transform them into earrings, Claire, they'd be very easy to do so, wouldn't they? Yes, yeah, they would. They would. They're absolutely mesmerising, aren't they? We're going to half that price. And I'm going to tell you we're not done. Claire, if you wanted this, now's the time to do it. Yeah. Stunning, isn't it? It's, it's so it's beautiful. Really, just such a memorable piece of, of, of jewellery. Design is gorgeous. It is. I want to show you all the way around as well. We're under £1,000. Look, you're not just getting a, sli uh, you know, a slice. It's not like a doublet or a triplet like mm. you see within mm. Opal. You can see that natural patterning running through the actual Queen Conch shell. I'm going to show you the craftsmanship of sterling silver on the reverse as well. So you've got that wonderful, cle very clever um, hidden bale. Split bale, so it's going to lay perfectly on um, on the neckline. 
All of that is natural queen conch. You've got that halo of absolutely beautiful topaz in the center. 37 carats. Remember that nine and a half carat queen conch? Mm. Pearl was what? How much is it? 14,000? 14,000 pounds. <coughs> Sotheby's. Here it is. $14,000, I beg your pardon. We're at £999, but we are still not done. I'm going to show you how serious the deal is on this amazing piece. And it is really the flagship piece, I would suggest, um, from the Queen Conch launch, um, which happened only a couple of months ago. Um, we've, I think this is only the second time it's actually been uh, brought to air again. So they have been under lock and key in, uh, since then. Again, all the literature, all the, all, all, the, all the photographs that we've shown you from Christie's, from Sotheby's, shows you the level of quality that you're actually getting. 19 remain in the world. That's it. That's it. That's all we've got. And I'm now down to 12. £499 to show you just how serious this deal, this opportunity actually is. Queen Conch, the donut shape. I know it's not the most romantic description, but it is used. Um, it was used by Sotheby's quite recently. They had some really beautiful Queen Conch at, at auction there. And you can imagine the Dizzy Heights price points that they absolutely commanded. Get hold of this on your split payments, not percent interest. We're actually over allocated with people that's in your baskets. There are still opportunities, though, because it does need to be confirmed. As recent as this year, that Tiffany's & Co. Chrysanthemum Flower, $700,000. Uh, good morning to you, Jenny and Dorset. Morning, ladies. Great show and demos. I have two of these pendants. They're magical and beautiful design. Uh, don't hesitate, ladies. It's Christmas. Totally agree, Jenny. It is Christmas. Do you know what? Can you imagine? And I've always been a little bit of a champion for people to buy their, uh, yourself a little Christmas present every year. You know, it, it's, a, it, it's a stressful time, isn't it? It is. It's a stressful time. It's a busy time. If you can and budget allows, treat yourself as well. Can you imagine, to me, from me, the most beautiful Queen Conch pendant oh, necklace? Yes. We're not stopping here, though. We're going even lower. Everybody pays the final low price. It's the biggest single piece of Queen Conch that we have. £349. Today you can get hold of it um, on your three monthly split payments for £116.66. Yeah, it's absolutely gigantic in its size. It's absolutely beautiful. Definitely our flagship piece. Um, uh, uh, well, I say our, this is definitely Dave's baby. Uh, he traveled literally to the, uh, to the Caribbean, went to the Bahamas, you know, and just, and saw, it was a really sad story actually, where, um, once upon mm. a time they'd actually hoped that they would be able to farm the, um, mm. the queen conch in the same way that maybe your mollusks for, for pearls are. Um, but sadly, it wasn't possible because literally mother nature threw hurricanes. Um, now we have how many left? Nine left. Bidders have multi-bought. Ten have already gone. Hello to you, Jacqueline. I bought mine on launch. Just got it out. It is more stunning when you hold it. I adore it. Jacqueline, I, 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 yes. It is one of those pieces that you do simply adore, don't mm. you? It's incredibly beautiful. We are going to give you 60 seconds. And I'm going to tell you, for the final few, 349 is not a closing price. The final nine opportunities. We won't be recommissioning this again. The likeliest we won't be able to source Queen Conch again. The Sangha is ancient in these waters. They have been very old, uh, between 15 and 20 years at least. The conch matures at three or four years old, but it doesn't become a queen until it has her crown. What this gentleman is talking about, this is Captain Rico, a third generation conch diver. He's talking about the circles, the crown literally uh, that you see within a conch shell. And they're, they're huge. They're absolutely enormous to be uh, a queen conch. The rarity is staggering. I have the five Final seven opportunities. Six now. I really want to stress we are going lower. Let's put six, another 60 seconds. There are only six. 
Just to give you, you know, I don't want you to be, and I've been in this position myself. I don't want you to be thinking, oh gosh, that's so beautiful. I'm so tempted. Nobody's paying 1,999. Nobody's paying 500. Nobody's paying 349. This is the last chance saloon. There are five left. 20 years to mature to Queen Conch. Hello, Caroline. Ladies from day one um, and two launches, I own a carved ring, earrings, drop earrings or of, of Queen Conch. Wow. Buy if you can. It's, uh, do you know, Caroline, I don't blame you. Oh, it's so beautiful. Yeah. Arguably, I think one of the most beautiful mm. pinks out there. There are 10 seconds. This is it, the last four that we have and probably ever will have. The biggest piece of Queen Conch that we have. 37 carats. Remember the one on the coin? Nine and a half. This is 37 carats. The si less than the size of a coin. $14,000 with beautiful flame. The price today for the final four. Well done, collectors who've got yours. You won't regret it. It is so beautiful. So beautiful. 249 pounds you can get hold of it today for 83 pounds and i can remember um i can remember what it felt like to wear it anyone as soon as yeah. i walked oh, yeah, into the it was studio, with you wasn't i yeah it, i it, you, i spotted it straight away and then to be able to wear oh, it Claire, and you honestly need it's like this, a, I, I do i i absolutely love it i was with you i remember yeah, you saying does, straight I feel away like it, yeah and it's 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 so so beautiful to wear and it does it makes you I don't know, you, you, everything, you know, you stand taller. It's just, it's just wonderful. It's, it feels like it warms, you know. You do, you stand a little taller, yes. don't you? Absolutely. Yeah. And I tell you what, you will get noticed with this as well because it is so different. Mm. Um, I want to tell you, there's three left. I've got Linda in Manchester, Tina in Kent, Maker, Maker in Surrey, uh, Morgan in London, Valentina in, in East Sussex, Christine in Tyne and Ware, Greater London, Roz and Jacqueline, all with it in your basket. That is it. I, we will never be able to, never say never, I shouldn't be concluded, but highly unlikely that we will be able to ever, ever, ever put together a collection like this before. Look, I mean, just look at that. Just, go, just going back to uh, um, Captain Rico. Um, the Sanger. The Sanger is a miracle of Mother Nature, uh, favoured since antiquity and used uh, by every civilization's uh, masters as the ultimate jewel i've worked with the queen uh with the conch pearl but never the queen see seriously never the queen mm. that's what you're getting right now um they never stay on the island they go to the far east sometimes buyers fly in the same day that one is brought uh from the depths forget a needle in a haystack this is like finding a single pink diamond in a vast depth of an ocean um and that is beverly the queen conch jeweler in, Tur uh, in turks and i can't pronounce that was it kacos kacos um, so look at that, look at that for a statistic and that statement. Yeah. Forget a needle in a haystack. This is like finding a single pink diamond in a vast depth of an ocean. I have one left. Eight of you with it still in your baskets. Apps, a miracle of mother nature, the ultimate jewel. Absolutely mm. beautiful. And the finest, finest masters. Uh, uh, however, the chances of surviving um, to such an age in a shell are as slim as one in two billion. Um, there's Dave himself, literally. Oh, my goodness me. How amazing is that? One in two billion. Mm. It is mind-blowing, isn't it? Absolutely mind-blowing. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. And that wasn't even a queen, was it? The one that he's holding there mm, isn't yes, actually a yes, queen. Yes, yes, is that the one he bought? Yeah, 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 yeah. And Not that was so impressive, wasn't it? It was huge. Yeah, it was absolutely huge, but hadn't actually matured. It wasn't old enough to actually mm. reach uh, uh, sort of your uh, um, the queen status. You've got to think about what's actually in those waters. You know where the queen conch, where the conch pearl actually exists. You know, there's reef sharks that literally mm. feast on these as well. So one in two billion is actually a very real, uh, a realistic t statistic. Absolutely beautiful. Claire, I'll pass it Thank over to you. you. I know you're desperate to. I hope to you get one, you. Claire. I really I do, because you do love it. I do, do love, love it. it. Right, where do we go from here?
Should we do the pendant? I bought this one too. It's so pretty. It's so beautiful. And I know there's an example, there was an inspiration, wasn't there, um, behind this piece. Here it is. So bought by Henry Walters in 1905. This Tiffany pendant necklace features a remarkable 23 and a half carat pink conch pearl uh, as the centerpiece and is housed um, at the Walter Art Museum uh, in Baltimore. So Tiffany's and co created this amazing piece. It's a one of a kind, obviously. You have the most beautiful, um, you have the most beautiful queen conch pearl uh, in the center there in that wonderful almost like egg shape framed in all of that wonderful craftsmanship of sterling silver it might even be platinum not sure and then it's actually got the diamond surrounding it so we took inspiration from that beautiful um, be beautiful piece oh and there is ours the intricacy, the detail is, is just beautiful. So if you want to see the original necklace, then you can obviously go to the Walter Art Museum in Baltimore. Um, or we can, we can almost deliver um, a piece to you. But do you remember what was so exciting about this? Oh. Yeah. 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 You don't remember this? It does open. Yeah. Look. Yes, look. There's your flame. It's perfection, isn't it? It's so beautiful. Yeah, literally just closes over. I'll clip it down. Obviously, we've attached. There we are. And you just push it down. Clicks into place. There we go. There's the pendant itself. It's absolutely stunning. Mm. Do you want to know how many we got left? 14, just 14 remaining. Can I borrow that bus yeah. for a second, Claire? Thank you, darling. Oh, 14 carats in one single stone. Um, 14 carats. So you're actually, again, still over um, that uh, queen conch that we discussed, or we should, oh, not we, Dave discussed via WhatsApp uh, with an, uh, about a nine and a half carat stone. Beautiful, lovely flame. You've got that beautiful flame. You've got that intensity of colour within uh, your example. We've been inspired by the likes of Tiffany's and Co to bring you this beautiful cage like design. R uh, just so you know, lovely uh, jewellery makers, I literally have three different queen conch opportunities, and that is it. That is it. Um, these, uh, we had a sales meeting not so long ago and I remember, uh, and our managing director was actually saying, you know, these are probably one of the most, uh, um, it was one of the most successful shows that we have done, mm -hmm. certainly in 2022. It's easy to understand why. Yeah, something very, very special, isn't it? It's like that. It, I remember talking um, on the launch about like the Fabergé exhibition and, you know, how you've got, wearable again wearable pieces of art that are so different and that's what the these it are is. as well isn't it it is it is conch pearls limited they state an average female conch must lay two million eggs to produce one offspring uh, that survives into adult life and remember adult life isn't 20 years adult life is four years the average conch shell is almost the size of someone's, you know, your palm. Mm. Um, so to reach queen conch, state, uh, conch uh, sort of age and maturity, remember, is that one in two billion. Um, highly, highly, highly unlikely. Uh, Catherine Perez, who has written about loads of beautiful gemstones. Um, Catherine Perez. Oh, no, there's an article, sorry. However, how, sorry, sorry. <laughs> it is the yeah. longest PowerPoint in the world. Uh, there you go. Jewelry Insights by Catherine Perez. Um, however, the chance of surviving to such an age in a shell area, uh, in a shell, are as slim as one in two billion. And look at the pieces of jewelry she's wearing. Look at the pieces. Literally, queen conch shells. Mm. I don't think they're dissimilar in terms of the shades and the colours um, uh, and that flames that you're getting in this opportunity. Remind me, sorry, Ross, I know I've asked you. How many do we have of these available? 14 left. This is literally it. They all come beautifully packaged. You've got your little uh, crown detail on 
on the pink box, even down to this. You know, Dave has literally thought yeah, of everything. Yeah, the colour of the box on that, like you say, that motif is beautiful. You've got the queen, uh, the, the actual regal to represent the queen conch shell pearl itself. Um, so beautiful, beautiful quality. Since establishing Shanghai Gems, um, South Africa in uh, 1989, the goal um, of the company has been to work closely with pearl farms. This way, they cut out the middleman in order to acquire expert knowledge of rare pearls and their variations, as well as offering the best prices to their clients. After over 30 years of hard work, Shanghai Pearls, uh, Shanghai Gems, sorry, have achieved great success and are now considered one of the market leaders for rare pearls. They can source the rarest and most uh, specimen, uh, valuable specimens of this particular maritime. Um, for example, a perfect 15 by 17 oval conch, 22 carats. So not too far away from what we're looking at right now. Uh, um, with this precious material, distinctive flame on the surface, teardrop shaped pearls whose color transition uh, resembles the shell it comes from. And of course, flames on its surface. Look at the quality that you are getting. All those words that Katerina Perez has just described uh, about Shanghai gems, absolutely exceptional quality. We're at a triple figure, uh, triple figure price tag, not where we closed with that wonderful engineering craftsmanship mm. protecting it beautifully isn't it yeah so it, it's wonderful you can literally as you're wearing it just think oh, i'm gonna take and it, I'm mo it moving round as well in that in that lovely cage we will take it off the bus in a second yeah so you get that hang on can you hear that very slight <coughs> moving we're at 199 pounds um, and we are not stopping there. Still not stopping there. Look at how beautiful. I'd pay 199 pounds and then some just for the queen, uh, the queen punch stone. I would pay that solely for this. We are still bigger <coughs> than that 19, uh, sorry, nine and a half carat stone that Dave had a whatsapp message about it's such a pretty pretty color isn't it it's so beautiful you've got the flames you've got the patterning this was like a close out deal on a brand new launch it doesn't make any sense look at the design look at the engineering look at the craftsmanship mm. inspired by the likes of tiffany's and co there are literally single figure quantities once these are gone it would be too complacent for us to think that we'll ever get it again. The st how often do we throw around numbers like billions? Mm. One in two mm. billion. Yeah. Not very often. We could, we could have chosen a price. You know, if that was all, if that's what Jem Poria and, old, uh, and Dave stood for, they, you know, they could name their price. But that's not the ethos of the company. And remember when he actually discussed, we've got um, a, 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 a new financial director that's here now. And in a, in a board meeting, they were all sat together and David shared the fact that he discovered or he, he'd, he'd actually acquired a parcel of Queen, po uh, Queen Conch. And she didn't understand how it's like, well, why are they going to be £199 if this is literally irreplaceable? He said, that's the whole ethos of Gemporia. Mm -hmm. That's what we've always stood by. Please never underestimate the rarity of what you hold, though, right now. Richard and Dorset, you've just got three. Well done. Nobody is paying £199. Remember this piece, inspired by a Tiffany's & Co piece that is within a museum in Baltimore. Almost identical, isn't it? Almost identical. In 60 seconds, we're going even lower. Much like the Tiffany's & Co piece, this opens and closes. You can actually see it just about on the Tiffany's and Chloe, that hinge just before it spits to the bale. Take a look here. I've just showed you it open. It will cradle, protect your beautiful queen conch. The craftsmanship, the engineering is absolutely incredible. 
nobody, nobody today is paying £199. Uh, this really is as close to being uh, you know, once-in-a-lifetime opportunity as I've ever, 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 ever seen. We're at single-figure quantities. Karen, Derbyshire, Tina, Sarah, Janet, Richard, Dorothy. There are multi-buyers. Remember that. Remember that. We haven't got many of these available. So if you've got a phone in your hand, press your option one, speak to our call centre as soon as you can. If you've got it in your basket, check out if you've got your heart set on owning this. How did we? How did we go lower? Do you remember? I don't what we know. Went I don't because I also remember him saying about that the material would have been, you know, could be years and years old as well, and that was, you know, sort of like almost like hidden away. So it's lovely, you know, the, the the story behind it. I mean, that's incredible, isn't it? One hundred and forty-nine yeah. pounds. Yeah. Absolutely remarkable. You can get it home today for forty-nine pounds and sixty-six pence for. Uh, yeah, I mean, I bought this piece. You know, when you, I got so caught up in the beauty of it, I almost forgot what I paid. But in the same way, I was just looking then, because you're just looking, aren't you, at, at, at the conch. The, the, the detail on the actual, um, on the, on the, the, the cage part yeah, is stunning as well. I just, just noticed that. You know, it's beautiful, beautiful detail. Do you know, we will always be able to bring you diamonds. We will always be able to bring you rubies. We'll always be able mm. to bring you sapphires in certainly certain locations. Um, there are gemstones that, listen, we, we, we understand as being rare and we understand as being valuable. Queen Conch is significantly rarer than all of the ones I've just mentioned. Significantly yeah. rarer. You know, because as we said, the average female matures at four years, three to four years. That's when they're adults, uh, if you like. A Queen Conch, and it's the crown, when the actual conch gets the crown, that's those little points, if you remember, on the, on the actual shell that he showed you. Had to have, was it seven? I feel like it was seven. I had to have, uh, uh, set, I'm sure it was seven points on the actual Queen um, uh, horns, effectively. 20 years. The probability to mature to 20 years is as little as one in two million. That's how many we have left. I know, I don't say that figure lightly. One in two million? How amazing is that? Four remaining opportunities with 11 of you in it in baskets. Uh, Mary in Cambridgeshire, Robert in Belfast, Leslie in Kent, Morag in East Lothian, Northamptonshire, Tina and Barbara. Um, you can do it, but I've only got four available. Um, the average female conch must lay two million eggs to produce one offspring that can survive into adult age. Mm. All of it, it's, it's all mind blowing, isn't it? And even if what, so what resulted was not, uh, not ugly, but, but do you know what I mean? But the fact that it's so beautiful I as know, well. yeah. And, and they try to. How rare it is. They try to actually uh, um, create farms. In this one location, mm. and that's the uh, the photograph that we saw earlier on that built that building that was literally well mm. ruins, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, so it was a hurricane, absolutely. So they invested millions and millions and millions of pounds. Um, and there's another photograph, if you just pan out somewhat, you, there's that footage that we saw in the break was actually Dave here. Um, but unfortunately, it got completely decimated by, um, by hurricanes. And they were hoping, you know, all that investment, you think about that, the time frame that gets invested mm. into Queen Conch, it's going to be 20 years before they even see anything um, in a hope and a prayer that it will actually uh, be successful. Absolutely. Absolutely awesome, um, amazing. But sadly, like I said, Mother Nature um, prevented that with, uh, with with a hurricane. So really incredible if you're lucky enough to say that you own this. Now, this next opportunity is truly, truly, truly remarkable. Um, can I just show Ross those earrings that you do just you just no the the ones with the WhatsApp message no. The ones with the WhatsApp message. Um, where only because I'm just thinking about these are single cabochons, right? There you go, single cabochons. Dave got in touch. Sixty-eight thousand dollars. Goodness me, are these for sale? Thank you. Yes, price is sixty-eight thousand US dollars. Yes, correct. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, wow, sixty-eight. Thousand. What are they? Look at look underneath. Look at this photograph. Pink conch shell. What about? Are you going about to get the opportunity to own again within the Queen Conch box collection? 
You're about to get the opportunity. We're jewellery makers, so you can create your own amazing Queen Conch jewellery. I'm going to show you Sotheby's themselves. Sotheby's. Do you think Sotheby's? Do you think, okay, you have to have a ton of money to be able to afford anything there. Actually, the quality isn't great. Shades of pink they describe it as. Cream and white, varying shapes, some with crazing, overall in good condition, okay? They still say the estimate is between four and a half and five thousand pounds. Um, here's another example on first dibs. Sold. Could you make that, Claire? Yeah, you could do both, couldn't you? Yeah. That one looked like rosary linking, that one looks like nothing. Conch shell uh, round ball necklace sold for 7,600. You're going to get a queen conch shell bale, not bale, sorry, box clasp. There it is, with a halo oh, of beautiful lovely, colorless it? topaz. That on its own for the price that we're going Absolutely, to is amazing. Yeah. Plus you're getting the strand A strand so pretty of queen conch shell yeah i mean this is so perfect for our lovely mm. jewelry maker audience because you cannot if you can't we can certainly teach you literally attach this amazing class and if you want take it to auction if you want to look at that there's no white it's beautiful okay there's elements of but when we say that's depth of pink those beautiful beautiful flames you've got the peaches um the vibrant almost fuchsia like colors which are reminiscent again of that uh, of that single nine and a half carat stone in one second the graphics are about to appear to get this amount of queen conch shell given all the statistics that we've shared whether you were lucky enough to join dave during the uh, the original launch of his amazing collection please know though it is i don't want to say never um i shouldn't be so absolute but um it is highly 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 unlikely probably more unlikely than any other treasure that i've ever brought or had the privilege to bring to air that we are able to repeat this collection we could we should be starting at thousands upon thousands uh pounds just to almost hopefully set what is the perceived value of something of this grade there are 17 available remember that we're in studios under floodlights so the one draped across my hand does not look as it's the same as what's on your screens right now it's just the floodlights don't do it any favors the first two have gone well done and look at the um look at the uh, the size of the, the the drill hole in there as so you get lovely thick silk I'd, yeah. I'd go with like a like a yeah like a peachy or a pinky silk and that lovely knot beautiful that would in be between i like the idea of a peach like an mm. apricot like color yeah yeah should we get it under a thousand claire look at that look at look at the you can't take weight. your eyes off it can you though the the the, 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 the pinks in there they're so lovely and that clasp is gorgeous it's it is so beautiful yeah you know even that first dibs piece there's definite white, isn't there? And I'm not saying you're get, not getting any white in yours, but it's more pink than white. Yes, yeah. Do you, do you see where I'm coming from? Which is ultimately what you want of your queen conch yeah. shell. You want it to be more pink, mm. like the pearl itself. But actually, queen conch, they call it the sangha, remember, is rarer than the pearl, is rarer. You are about to get the opportunity to get the only strand of Queen Conch shell that we have ever brought to air. You get the box, you get that beautiful Queen Conch box clasp as well. There are 15 remaining. Un unfathomable, really, that we were able to make this opportunity available. Or rather, Dave was. £499 only to own... Uh, to own. We do have this made up into jewellery. I know Anne and Sue actually did it. I think I'm fairly sure it's in the museum now. I'm fairly sure. Um, it's definitely under lock and key because you're not just going to see it knocking around the studio at all. It's absolutely mm. beautiful. Mm. The glow even from here against your natural skin tone is just simply remarkable. Did you think we were about to stop at £499? We definitely should. We absolutely should be for Queen Conch Shell. 
the, the, the statistics that you can, you know, and all this, all this information is, is at your fingertips too. You know, if, you, if you're thinking about gifts, if you're thinking about sort of resale, you know, by all means, share all that information. We're not stopping at 499. To put together a strand of any gemstone, especially when we are talking about the grade that we aspire to, that we have shown you time and time again, in fact, better than that, um, that, 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 that multi-strand conch shell necklace on first dibs. It's better than that, would we agree? For £7,657. To put together a strand and the clasp, and also secure it at a price point that our lovely, uh, you know, our audience are used to is quite an achievement. £499 is not your price. £399. Oh, is it not? Do you remember what? I you? don't know. What did he do? Go on, tell me. What did he go to? Pardon? Why did he do that then? Considering you are getting two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight, thirty, thirty-two, thirty-four, thirty-six, thirty-eight, forty, forty-two, forty-four, forty-six, forty-eight, fifty. 52, 54, 56, 58, 60, 62, 64, 65, I remember that number, 65 individual solitaires. Can we just do some, just, just for kicks, before you drop that price, £399 divided by 65. £6.13 per stone. Did you see any WhatsApp exchange that said £6.13? No. Anywhere near that? I, I remember, I remember <laughs> that, actually, very vividly, because Ross, was, I was about to say that, Ross. I remember Dave actually saying, no, don't say it individually. Don't tell it. Don't, I don't want to hear it out loud. Um, okay, he's not here now, so we can say it now. That's 16, uh, sorry, £6.13 per individual queen conch shell and we've got another price crash coming um wow 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 look at the split payment i think i know what it's going to be under 100 pounds yeah goodness me today 299 pounds to get a full strand again remember the statistics remember that we are talking about uh, the queen conch is rarer than the actual conch pearl itself um, because it has to literally, well, withstand the natural predators, if you like, within the, uh, uh, the, the areas where the conch actually forms. Um, one in two billion is the likelihood of them actually reaching queen conch status. That's why the shell, it, it, you know, without any carving or anything like that, they're ex astonishingly expensive. And I can remember actually one of our lovely viewers messaged in um, and actually said, I own a queen mm. conch. They actually have yes. the shell themselves. Yes, didn't they? I remember. Yeah. Um, yeah. Which would be uh, worth a huge 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 amount of money uh, a, a conch only becomes a queen conch when they, they actually acquire so many horns i can't remember how many horns it was i'm fairly sure it was seven seven rings a bell to me um i don't know have a little look on the web i'm sure mm. you'll find out the quantity remaining on this opportunity 10 i've got 10 available all of those factors the fact that when we opened this hour and we showed you one single nine and a half carat queen conch uh, um, pearl, bearing in mind this is rarer than the Queen Conch Pearl, for what, $14,000? One single mm. nine and a half carat stone. You've got, what, 115 carats across the strand and the box clasp. Jenny, Richard, Margaret, Jackie, Libby, Linda, Tina, Amazing. If you want a multi-buy, I would do so sooner rather than later. I've literally got seven of these left. The reality is this is harder to accumulate than any of the other pieces that I've actually shown you so far because you have to get so much. So much of Absolutely. it. Absolutely. And it almost like that, that class is so ornate, isn't it? Beautiful. That's yeah. like a pendant in its, you know, in itself. You look back to the earrings that, that were on there and the price that they were. 
you know, that, that that's, you know, it's reminiscent of that, isn't it? Wow. It is so beautiful, isn't it? And of course, the story of the Queen Conch and the, uh, 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 and the Conch uh, Pearl, all, uh, that's always fascinating to hear, of mm. course. But if we're just driven by the beauty of a gemstone, which I yes. personally think is what we should yeah. be driven by, how beautiful is that stone? Be it rare or be it quite abundant, whichever it might be. This is so breathtakingly beautiful. Um, I would argue probably one of the most beautiful, as I said earlier on, one of the most beautiful collections that we've ever brought here at Jewelry Maker. Please don't be put off by that quantity. You have still got a chance. I've seen collectors, people on the phone lines and on the website, literally dial in, um, swoop it away from people who've had it in their baskets maybe for the entire auction time. So don't be put off. It has to be confirmed. Um, and to, it's not guaranteed just by being sat in someone's basket. You know, that's it. That's two left in the world. We'll never be able to uh, uh, sort of, well, say, never say never. Unlikely. It is unlikely that will be able to repeat a, a collection like this before. And, and in his absence, and it is a shame that Dave couldn't be with us, there are two of these left. Um, Lynette, you could do it. If you check out, you could get that. You can get one of those two. There's Mary there and there's Tina there, and I've got people on the phone lines. But Lynette, if you ju you've just added it to your basket. If you check out straight away, you've done it. Well done. Um, and again, in his absence, I am sorry that Dave couldn't be with us today, but... I mean, how incredible is that? Collection? Yes, he's very passionate, wasn't he? And, and, and proud of his collection and right. rightly so. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Beautiful. Be yeah, gorgeous. Well done, everybody. Do stay where you are on those phone lines and do not go anywhere. We've still got the most amazing masterclass to bring you um, um, with our lovely Claire. Now, the next hour, as Dave isn't with us, we're going to actually postpone, of course, the, um, um, the showcase to when Dave can be with us. But um, we have been uh, given some manager special deals for you. So um, literally been spontaneously added to the show. So can we have a look on the website at those or not? Not being. No, 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 no. Keep watching. Scott himself has gone over to uh, to our warehouse and literally handpicked some amazing deals that we can take even lower for manager special prices. Okay, so don't go anywhere. Uh, your masterclass is coming up at 12 o'clock, which is going to be awesome with our lovely Claire. We'll be back after this. Hello, my name is Yvonne Froelich and I'm one of the finalists of Britain's Next Gem, which is a competition that Jewellery Maker have been running over the last few months. I'm popping in today to tell you that I'll be on your screens on the 21st of December for a takeover. I'll be bringing some beautiful pieces with me. I'll be bringing sterling silver wire, copper wire, a wooden bangle mandrel, not the easiest to say, and uh, I'll also have some pearls which are encased in sparkly gems. So I hope you can join me then. We'll be doing plenty of hammering and hopefully I can bring you something new that you've not seen before. So please join me then. Message in, I'd love to hear from you. So see you on the 21st of December. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee. 
so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewellery Maker. Hi, I'm Natalie and I am very excited to tell you that I'm going to be taking over the Jewellery Maker Studio on Thursday the 22nd of December. I'm going to be demonstrating how to use some amazing mandrels. They are perfect for beginners or experienced jewellery makers. They are a must-have tool as they are so versatile. They're going to help you create a range of shapes for all sorts of jewellery making projects. So whether you want to make a pair of earrings, a ring, a pendant, a bracelet, a brooch, hair clips or even create your own chain, these mandrels will help form your wire into a range of beautiful, professional looking wearable pieces. So please come and join me on Thursday the 22nd of December only on Jewellery Maker. Jewellery Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single P&P. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three, or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewellery Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewellery Maker. Oh my god, that was mm. had the best things ever then. Yeah, literally. Oh, that's literally like an explosion of loveliness. Oh. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Finn brought it. <laughs> Never had them before. No. <laughs> Finn. Thank you, Finn. Brought in some treats for us today, didn't you, Finn? Bless him. And I have to say, good old m and S. I I mean, you, but the other shops are available, of course, but, oh, those little pots, white chocolate cereal clusters. Oh, my goodness me. And they're so pretty. Oh, I'm going to find tractor. I'm going to drive to our local M&S. Yeah. In fact, there's one not that far away. Yeah. In a garage. There's a little M&S garage nearby us. Isn't oh. there? You all know local... Yeah, I'm popping to see if they've got them on the way home. That's it. Oh, yes. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Um, OK, right then, lovely jewellery makers. Um, sorry once again that our Dave couldn't be with us, but um, hopefully you have secured your amazing Queen Conch. We've still got loads to bring you as well. We've got gorgeous Claire, <laughs> who's on the naughty list. Oh, no, I think I think my demos have maybe taken me off that. Yeah, those, I don't uh, think those so teapot well. demos, I think. Yeah. Do you know? So speaking about the naughty list, we had um, um, Willow had to get told off the other day because she did get caught pushing her sister, and I was like, no, you know, Willow, she learns from you. It's not okay. You've got to have kind hands to have that conversation. Um, but Willow takes that. You know Willow very well, don't you? She takes absolutely everything to heart, and I could hear this little, <laughs> oh, no. little sobs coming from her room the other day. And I was like, what's the matter? She went, I'm on the naughty list. And the torment, you can literally see the torment in her little oh, brain. Oh, no. I'm sure you're not. Don't worry. So I had to have that literally bring her back. I'm sure you're okay because you're a good girl most of the oh, time. She's a lovely girl. Bless her heart. She's Bless lovely. her. Um, I, however, would be on naughty list. Um, okay, right, let's get cracking because we've still got loads to bring you. I've got some amazing Olmec jadeite to squeeze in. What else have we got, Roscoe? Olmec. Jadeite, black jadeite, pearls, pen, a pen, a rose wart, what? Say that again, a rose gold, 
freshwater culture pearl pen. What? Oh. I'm intrigued. I want a, um, a pearl pen. Oh my goodness me. When did, when did you? Oh, it's got a little pouch as well. Oh yes, please. I want one of these. I want to don't get though. I can hear my mum saying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I want to don't get. I very much like one of these. Oh, that's beautiful. And what? Wait. Oh, Claire. That's very classy, isn't it? Look at so, that. I mean, for, for the for, for, for the lady or Jen that has absolutely mm. everything, <gasps> features a beautiful quality pearl. Oh my goodness! Has Scott got these? Look at that. How many have we got of these? Oh, my goodness me. I'm going to guess. Can I make a guess? It is a stab in the dark that this has been stolen from our sister channel. Not literally stolen, but, you know. We're not meant to have them, but Scott signed it off. Yes! <laughs> Absolutely love it. Oh, my goodness. Have we ever done pens here at Jewelry Maker? I don't think we have, have we? Have we? If I don't recall ever having one. Oh, so it's a lovely, uh, a, a beautiful ballpoint pen. You've got a cultured pearl at the top, which is amazing quality. You've got your rose gold colour. It's like literally twist up, up and down. So, you know, oh, if you have this in your handbag, comes bad. with a little little pochette as well. Oh, we're not doing it now. Here's me getting all excited about Try the pearl pen. I look after it. You look after the I'll pearl look after pen. It. We're going to start with the old Mac Jade. Oh, wowzers. You're definitely not wrong, Ross. Just, just restrand that. Seriously. Can I just say you've that got... colour's amazing, isn't you've it? You've actually got a couple of extra rounds in this strand as well, where someone's obviously lost concentration and... Hang on, let me just move this out of the way for a second. Oh, literally just restrand this. Olmec, the lost treasure of Guatemala, of course. Literally for 450 years, we knew it existed, but we didn't know where exactly because it had literally died out uh, with, the, uh, with the ancient Mayan people. That has to be, and I, 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 don't, I, I don't say this lightly, that has to be my favourite strand of Guatemalan jade we've ever done. Yeah, I, I don't think I've ever seen as much of it in one, and it, and it is, it, I love it, but when you're seeing it in that, quant it's the colour, isn't it? It's absolutely... Such an intense yes, colour. Yeah. It's the deepest colour. Yes. I'm right, aren't I? Yeah. Plus oh, the translucency. Incredible. Remember, with jadeite, whether it's Guatemalan, whether it's um, Burmese, whether it's from British Columbia, um, absolute translucency makes a, a, a huge difference to the value of the jadeite gemstone itself. This, you can see the translucency even from distances away. If I lay it across the back of my hand, oh my goodness me, look at that. How many have we got of these? Ten. Wow, wow, look. Oh, you, Oh, okay. Hands up, hands up. If you think this is the best Olmec Jade we've ever done. Up, oh, Finn's got his hand up. Gallery? Yeah, I thought so. Absolutely thought so. It is though, isn't it? Oh, did you have your hand up as well? I've got nine left. Absolutely. <gasps> and can I just say, where they were restranding it, somebody's lost concentration and you've actually got a little extra there. <laughs> yeah. You got a little extra oh, there. Oh, another one there. Yeah, and a little, another little extra yeah. there. So that's Absolutely. great. Listen, all great. Keep it for something else. There is, there's one here. There's, there's a little two there. So I'd take oh, that I one out. Yeah, there's a few. Is there? Yeah. They weren't concentrating, were they? But that's all good for you. That's a positive. Amazing! Look at the quality of that colour. There are only 10, 220 carats. Um, it's, it, it's literally unanimous. Everybody has said this is the best round that they've ever seen. Literally, you, we can, you can thank our managing director for this opportunity. Look at that. It's literally mirror-like in its mm, luster. It is, and I, every single one as well. Oh, I want it, Claire. I want it as well. Can you imagine this with that strand of Queen Conch? Oh, that'd be lovely contrast, wouldn't it? That would go beautifully, yeah. Uh... But do you know, I, I, I love that because I don't think I've, like, I love, I love the ring that I wear, but seeing it, that much of it, it's, it, the impact of that colour is incredible. Yeah, look at that. There is 
Can you see why the riding is, this is a husband and wife mm. team literally had to track this gemstone down. Mm. Yeah. yeah. It is. It's got a pull, a draw, hasn't it? <laughs> totally. It really draws you in. You can absolutely see, <coughs> excuse me, that I've got a little bit of the cereal bar. <laughs> <laughs> Just have a sip of tea. Yes, you can. I mean, I'm looking at that next to, you know, you, like your nails are similar with the, about the, the conch, isn't it? <gasps> And then, ah, oh, here's our lovely Anne. Anne. Anne, when did you did you make this? Anne went. Would well, you agree? Anne. Here's our Anne. Anne hates <laughs> coming on it, but you can just we can just about see that we can see the back of you right now. Um, she's stepping out of the way. <laughs> Anne, do you agree that's got to be the best strand? It's unbelievable, isn't it? She's gone all quiet now. <laughs> this is the quietest I've ever seen Anne. Uh, yeah, she did, you hate being on air, but just nod or hand up if you agree. There you go. <laughs> It is absolutely beautiful. And oh, you've loved it with yeah. the red. <gasps> so you deliberately actually sort of separated those rondelles. Oh my goodness me. Thank you, Anne. It's lovely, Literally Anne. Came down it's lovely from... to see you as well. And yes, darling. Pop up and say hello to him afterwards. Look at that. That's Claire. gorgeous with the red, isn't it? Yeah. In 1974, Jay Ridinger was on a trial for the lost source, sources of the Mayan jade. He ran across the Smithsonian publication, Mineralogical Studies in Guatemalan Jade, written in 1957 by William Foshag, the curator of geology at the Smithsonian, Washington, D.C. Foshag published a map which indicated X marks the spot. I hate that terminology because it's so, so it, it, you know, it's so incorrect <laughs> you know we're talking about a vast area riding and his wife mary lou traveled to guatemala and found the jade source exactly where he'd said situated in the montague valley uh this is uh um on the tectonic plate boundary between north america tectonic plate and the caribbean tectonic plate but if you look at the you know where they are right now that is dense jungle in guatemala it's not as simple as going there go there's, there's, there's that X. You know, they literally would have had to travel miles upon miles upon miles to establish where. There's a reason why this was lost for 450 years. We knew it existed, but they didn't know where. The ancient story tells a, a tale of Montague and Cortez exchanging gifts, um, one day exchanging gold, one day exchanging uh, uh, exchanging your uh, your jades. Here it is, and I'll quickly scour through this. Cortez and Montezuma were accustomed to playing a native game, uh, which in many ways resembled chess. Um, it was their further custom at the close of each day's game to present each other with some gifts. Um, at the close of one day's game, the Aztec monarch presented Cortez with several large discs of gold and silver handsomely worked. Cortez was greatly pleased and so expressed himself. Montezuma smiled and said, the gift tomorrow shall be such that today's gift will seem in value and preciousness when compared with it um, as no more than a single stone tile on the roadway. The royal treasurer of Montezuma brought it in on a, a golden slaver, the royal gift, four small carved jade beads. The bitter disappointment of Cortez was so great that he could scarcely conceal it. Firstly, ungrateful, but, <laughs> <laughs> but we just didn't get it. This is the thing. The, the Spanish conquistador did not understand um, the, the, you know, the, the, the rarity and the excitement that the Mayan people held with this treasure. Uh, Europe had quite different priorities, gold and better known jewels above all emeralds. Thus, Mayans kept their mines secret and Spaniards disregarded this. Guards of the mines died out and the location of the mine was forgotten. This is, uh, you know, and, and to be honest, it's not just the Mayans. This is a gemstone which is highly revered all around the world. But we are only just seeing it. We had 10. It's one of the most remarkable strands, probably the most remarkable strand of Guatemalan jade I've ever seen. Hello, ah, oh, hello, Mark, lovely. Guest designer, Mark. Ellen Claire, could the two of you be any more beautiful? Lovely, oh. see you Friday. Ah, oh, bless him. Oh, that's really nice. Bless him. It's lovely. Mm -hmm. We Merry love Christmas. you too. We love you too. Merry Can't Christmas. wait. See you on Friday. I know, literally. So Friday I've got Mark, and then Saturday I've got you. You have, yeah? Yeah. And then it's Christmas. And then it's Christmas Day. Absolutely. It's going to be amazing. Right, are you ready? Because we have a single figure quantity. Can't wait to see you, Mark. Bless your heart. 
499 pounds literally have a little look uh, at literally the riding is website themselves there's a there's the rainforest necklace you've got the you've got, actually got an ombre of colors um it's far more opaque especially if you look kind of midway up the necklace itself i get it's a different design compare the luster firstly is it as reflective as wet looking as what i have draped across the back of my hand no okay now compare the quality of the color what you're looking for with your uh, um Olmec jade, your Guatemalan jade, is a very distinctive, almost grandidurite, um, like blue. It's so grandidurite-esque. Is yours better quality of colour? Yes. Has it got better translucently? Uh, absolutely. Is it also a better price point? Most definitely. Have we also got approval from our managing director to do manager special deal? Any day of the week, this is a £499 opportunity, and, and that is amazing. We are going lower. We're not going to stop here. We only have a limited quantity. Literally, not it. I'm going to take it off. Is that all right? Yeah. I, I want to feel that, because um, it's so, once, you've not, once it's been knotted, it's so fluid. I look at that with the, the contrast of the, the thread. That Beautiful, is wonderful. Isn't it? What oh, beautiful, that's a classic piece of jewellery, isn't it? That is stunning. And the, and the shapes as well. Beautiful so job. pretty. We had 10 of these available. I don't have that quantity anymore. We have, uh, we have special permission from our managing director here at Jewellery Maker to take these two amazing pre-Christmas. Listen, it's a different show. We had to be quite spontaneous. We were expecting Dave to be on air with us, but unfortunately he couldn't be with us. So, special MD deals for you. It's £499 all day long. And that would be an amazing, amazing deal for the translucency, the colour, the shapes. Today and today only, £299. Stunning. I want to see this with the, uh, with the Queen conch shell. Mm. I think it would be absolutely yes, beautiful. Yes, because that's what I was saying. So it's, as it's next to your um, nails, yeah. which is a similar sort of that... that. Uh, similar colour. It looks lovely. It looks really lovely. Like a nice bracelet. That would be a beautiful bracelet. Yeah. And you'd be able to make a good few of those. It would, yeah. You? I think that's a really good. So once you're seeing it knotted, you know, you can see, so you're making, aren't you? You, you know, it, adding that knot just gives you the extra space. And then you've got the wonderful earrings as well. So Hands beautiful. Made. So, Love so, it. so beautiful. You can get this home today for what? Two, uh, £74 and 75 pence on at your 0% interest split payment. 299 It is purely because we have special permission from um, our MD to secure this opportunity. We are massively over allocated. So you do need to check out Gloucestershire, London, Tynan Ware, Anonymous Maker, Linda in Hampshire, Joanne in Lanarkshire. We only had 10. I'm down to the final four opportunities. Again, hands up those of you who think that this is the uh, probably one of the most beautiful strand of all mm. make jadeite that we've ever seen all day long all day long massively over allocated that is your price we cannot go any lower than that cannot go any lower if you again make the comparison between <laughs> my voice said <laughs> 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 Um, make, <laughs> I thought you were going to do it again, though. <laughs> <laughs> make the comparison, if you like, with um, the, uh, the, the rainforest necklace. It's beautiful. It is. I'm not saying otherwise. But it doesn't have that wonderful wet like luster that you're seeing mm. on this strand. Amazing. Congratulations, everybody. Congratulations. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> lovely to see. <laughs> it's your hands as well. I don't know where it came from. That's why. Beautiful. And thank you to our lovely Anne for yeah, bringing this down. Yeah, gorgeous. Um, let's do the pen. Okay. Yay! Oh, I love it. And me. So it comes in a, in a cute little pochette. How pretty is that? Obviously, we don't have a recording for it because we have to be spontaneous in such events. Um, so it comes in a nice little, you know, if you buy, say, like a Mont Blanc or if you buy a, a Cartier pen or whatever, um, then they come in these, yeah, nice little pouches mm. just to protect them. So drawstring, open it up. So you can literally have this in your handbag. Open it up and you have rose gold colour with... 
And the pearl's amazing. A beautiful pearl. 10 millimeter. Look how smooth that nacre surface is. What are you taking these to? Because obviously this is new to me. I didn't know it was included in the show. He says, well, let me show you the first price crash. It's a twist up pen. There you go. I want a cultured pearl pen. Me too. How amazing is that? Oh, that's very good. Look at how beautiful that is. We're at 19 pounds and 99 pence. Would you expect a perfectly spherical pearl of 10 millimeter size with such a smooth and beautiful, seamless um, nacre surface to be 20 pounds? Well, I think we absolutely should expect it to be 20 pounds mm. for the single pearl. You don't just get that though. You're getting this lovely rose gold colored pen, which is nicely weighted, I have to say as well. There's a reason why certain, like, like the, the expensive pens are, I mean, a lot of it is branding and marketing and things like that, but you notice they've got a natural weight mm. to them. It helps you write easier. So that if you do a lot of writing in any given day, um, the actual weight of the pen, apparently, I remember going on a training session years and years and years ago with my Blanc and they talk about the weight and how it helps mm. you um, right throughout the course of the day. We're not stopping there. Do you know, I know, I can't guarantee you'll get these in time for Christmas. I can't. But I'm thinking about Mother's Day. I'm thinking about Valentine's Day. I'm thinking about Just Because presents. I'm thinking about you know, for the, especially for people that have got everything. Anniversaries. And absolutely. I can think of so many people who would love it. So many different. Pearl wedding anniversary. Yeah. yeah so absolutely. What about when you're going back mm. to school? Going to university, 18th birthday celebrations. Yeah, yeah great call. Uh, it's a genuine cultured pearl. Wow. Oh, seriously. Like, I mean, 12.99. 12 pounds and 99 pence. It's so classy. It really it is. It's lovely. I really know, like that. There's so many people, like you said, Claire, that I can think of that would want to get, yeah. that would like this, that yeah. would appreciate this. You know, um, I don't know, teachers. Oh, I wish we had these, you know, um, earlier on because these have been great teacher gifts. Don't or maybe if you know somebody that's a doctor, they do a lot of writing and things like that, don't they? But to actually use a, a nice quality pen, it does make a difference uh, in terms of like the thickness as well. I'm not an expert, obviously, but I do recall a few things from when Mont Blanc sent me on a training meeting uh, some years ago. The thickness of the pen makes a difference, but also the weight, the weight at the top, which you're naturally getting within that cultured pearl. At 12.99, Olwyn, well done to you, multi-buying, Gail, Helena, Irene, Anne, Maker, Olwyn, Jenny. Listen, I know, and there's bound to be someone that says it, um, uh, you yeah, know, that's not jewelry making. Yeah, but it's a nice treat, isn't it? Listen, we were meant to have a different show. Unfortunately, um, Dave couldn't be with us, so we had to be pro spontaneous. We've got some lovely products, which I think we could, um, we'd could, we all benefit from. No, it's not jewelry and making, I would, but, but it's nice. Yeah, but I would say as well, you know, if you do your rendering or sketching out of things, doing that in a biro is lovely. It's a really nice, you get great shading as well with a biro. True. I often do it, so. You do, actually. Yeah. I'd, I'd argue my point on that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I it's lovely to draw and do you know what? If you don't, I think it's just nice. It's just, Me too. It's just nice. Me too. I want a pearl. Should I look after pet? that one? You can look after that Thanks. one, Claire. Um, okay, what should we do now? Black jadeite. It is brand new, very limited though. We've only got 40 of these available. Again, type A in your six mil round. Um, Whenever I've bought you black jade recently, it has all but sold out. I would say actually it's one of the most, uh, the more popular colors of your jade. Um, it's fascinating black jade because jade, and we've shown you that Mason and K color wheel before, haven't we? Where you've got the yellows, you've got the reds, you've got the purples, you've got the lavenders. Um, but so yeah, black jade has transitioned beyond all of those colors. So this is the oldest jadeite that is in existence once upon a time this amazing strand will will have been imperial jade it takes uh, um three times longer to form we are talking literally millions upon millions of years to actually form and transform throughout those colors into this jet black the finest quality jade uh, black jade sorry should be deep intense in color and should feel like silk I mean, look at how reflective that is. In six mils, it's that desert island size that we always say here at Jewelry Maker. 
Uh, have a little look at this article. So yeah, um, what makes dark jade highly valuable? The reason dark jade is very rare is because it requires a long time and specific conditions to form um, due to its natural chemical structure. We need to know the color here is not black, nor is it charcoal or gray. Dark ink color is not a natural base color in the universe, dark ink color. Um, it takes a long, long time to grow from emerald green to a deep black under the influence of cosmic rays. Uh, but it still carries the nature um, of dark green under strong lights. So technically speaking, a piece of truly authentic dark jade requires billions of years to form um, from green to dark green, finally to dark ink color. It takes three times longer than all other colors of jade in the world and it cannot be replicated by hand. Time is the best evidence. So I guess it doesn't take any surprise then um, that the you know the pieces like jewelry houses like your Cartiers, for example, will work with it, creating fabulous pieces like this, you know, alongside the finest quality rubies and rubelites, along alongside your diamonds and your Tahitian pearls. Absolutely amazing, isn't mm. it? But thousands upon thousands of pounds. We are about to open the auction. It's brand new. There we go. One single black jadeite cabochon at, Par uh, at Cartier, the Paris Nouvelle. 35,000 pounds. I have to say, I, I have to say, that's not as lustrous as yours. And bear in mind, they would be the most amazing photographers. Yes, yes, absolutely. Yeah, it would, wouldn't it? That's not as lustrous as your strand. It's natural, uh, natural, uh, natural. <laughs> I've lost the ability to talk. <laughs> it's natural and certified as such. Brand new, never been on your screens. It always sells out black jade. 125 carats. Can I just give you a suggestion? Yes, yes. Look at that. Alongside oh. these amazing pearls that we have coming up. Oh, my goodness oh me. Oh, gosh, yes. That's perfect, isn't it? Maybe just sort of scatter a few of the pearls through. I'm shopping now. Mm. I want these. Mm. That's the kind of thing that I would wear. That's wonderful, isn't it? And like you say, it's that it's that fabulous size. So you could knot that as, as beautiful bracelets, couldn't you? Necklaces. Amazing. You know, cluster a few of them together, have one, and you still get an impact because you've got that incredible colour. Well, that gorgeous piece that we saw on the Wall of Fame at the beginning of the day. Ross is worried, he says. I'm actually worried. The price is what Scott has said we could go to, but uh, but what 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 what, what, what well, really? But what Ross is saying is he thinks Wayne would disagree. Yeah, but you know what? Wayne's not here, is he? Yeah, he's not. So he's he's in New York right now. Is he? Is that where he is? I think so. Ooh. Home on Friday. He'll never know. Yes. Just don't tell him. It's a brand new premiere. And you know what? Even if he finds out, Scott said we could. Next price crash. Natural type A certified black jadeite takes three times longer to form black jadeite than any other color. Billions of years. The finest quality should be deep and intense in color. When you actually get it up close, it's not jet black. It's like an inky, is that an inky, dark, uh, almost bluey green. But it should feel like silk. That's the first price crash. Oh, we're not stopping there. Oh there were 40 opportunities. Do you know now, I'm, I'm excited, but I'm also a little bit nervous, Ross, because I'd like to get this strand as well. Uh, oh, really? The price that we're going, he says, I'm not sure you're going to. Oh, do you know what I'd like as well? Like Anna's done with the, the contrasting yeah. thread. You know, maybe like maybe like a like one of the red tassels, like something like that. A real contrast. Well, there. yeah. Are you really talking like the silk? Striking. Yes. Yeah. yeah, that would be. Beautiful. I mean, I, I mean, it'd be incredible to mix the the two strands if you got them. Can um, I throw something else out there that's come, might be? Uh, some of you might be like, oh, I don't know. But what about with the queen conch? Can you imagine black jadeite with the queen conch shell? Stunning. That powder yeah. pink. Yeah. How beautiful that yeah. would be. We're going even lower. There are forty opportunities. Can you count my name in here? And can you also make a note of the? Oh, Jackie. There we go. I remember that. Jackie. Jackie sixty nine. Um, there are 40 opportunities. Will you make a note of this code? Uh, 
It's going lower. Brand new premiere. It's going to be a one-show wonder, isn't it? And I don't even know what Ross has taken it to. There was only 40 anyway. Why have, oh, yeah, that is low. I get where you're coming from there, Ross. £69 only, or £34.50 on your split payment. Sandra, hello to you. Somerset, Richard, London, uh, Lincolnshire, Pat, Yorkshire, hello to you. Heather, Janice, new customer, Mary in Cambridgeshire. If you think, again, just look back at that, uh, that Nouvelle, um, Paris Nouvelle piece that Cartier commissioned. Mm. Um, and there's a lot of gold, granted, there's a big gram weight of gold in there. You've got some really beautiful, high, fi uh, you know, fine quality diamonds, as you would expect with Cartier. 35 grand. 35 grand, you're getting a bigger carrot weight within this strand. And I'm going to say actually a deeper and more lustrous like yes. colors. Because the, yeah. same, the same applies, you know, you're looking for that sort of water content and how you um, how you observe that that's what that jadeite has is it should literally look like melting ice in whatever color, whatever color of jadeite. 69 pounds, uh, Lincolnshire, Irene, Susan, Jenny, you've just got yours, congratulations. There are multi-buyers getting involved. They'd look amazing alongside those pearls that we've also been given mm. um, today. And it is a silly price, yeah. I mean, what would you what would you imagine then, um, Ross, that, 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 that Wayne would have suggested? 99, I would have said that. Oh, okay, yeah. We'd have expected £99. Mm. 69 from, uh, from from our MD today. So well done. Karen, Irene, Susan. Them being six mils, Claire, does that make uh, does it make it that much easier? Well, so it's just lots. So like I said, you could beautiful bracelets, a great size for that. But also if you wanted to do like the as Anna's done and, and that knotting technique, you're still gonna it's still gonna look beautiful as a necklace. You could take out one, couldn't you have it in a in a wire work ring, maybe, earrings. It's a really, really good size. Wow, look at, look at all the detail on Has there. Has somebody got a mobile phone? Can I borrow someone's mobile phone? This is brand new. <gasps> oh, oh detail. On it. Never been seen before. Do you know what? I'm going to... Thank you. Thank you, Adam. Can I... Can oh, I almost, my word. I'm going to cover some areas first. Because I want you to see the detail. There's the layers of detail. It's, oh my word! Look. This is just a couple. Oh, this is. Is this working? Oh my gosh! Look. Look at those colours. We're literally. Look at. I, I guess some of you have realised what it is. But can you see the detail? <gasps> this is the nine dragons. Oh my gosh! Look. But not like the nine dragons that we've had previously. It is drilled very cleverly. Can you see? Very, very, very subtly just at the top if I put my thumb behind it. Um, look at that detail. So this is described on the documentation as aqua lavender. So that's referring to its translucency and it is referring to that natural lavender color. You definitely do get areas of your green type a jadeite never been on your screens before how many have we got of these 50 so this is the nine dragons never been on your screens we've done a nine dragons but not like this um so very limited if i show you on the reverse you see the remainder of the dragons uh, the nine uh, son of dragons are chinese dragons who are mythical sons of the dragon king look at that each of these dragon uh, dragons considering they are literally carved by hand, look at this one here. It's just your eye jumps, isn't it, from one to the other. There's so much Gee. detail there. They're all different, yeah, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. There's another just here. You've and it's the movement as well. It almost looks like it, it, it feels like it's contained within, within the shape, doesn't it? But it's almost like it, it's moving within that. Wow. All that power with them. It's double-sided. Oh, what a work of art. Again, the meanings behind um, the nine dragons. I believe there's one representative of sort of the earth, the fire, waters. You know, it, it's it's really is the pinnacle, I suppose, of uh, um, mythological creatures in Chinese culture. 
I wonder, because this is a large piece of jade and it is literally double sided. So I wonder if, um, you know, if I put a, a light source behind it, that we're going to see that translucency. Yes, we are. Oh. My goodness me, this is exciting. Oh, and wow. when I actually draw the, uh, the torch back ever so slightly, you really start to be able to pick out you know, they're characters, I guess. You can actually see, you can count the dragons. It's never been on your uh, on your screens before, lovely jewelry makers. I will flick this over in a second again so you can see. Let me just pivot it round as well because uh, um, there's detail at the top here as well. Look at that, Claire. That is, that's absolutely mind blowing, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. Shall I flip it over? Bear with. Gosh, you can even see my finger behind. <gasps> wow. Absolutely amazing. Nine dragons literally carved in this type A. All intertwined like dive. that. And, and there's no, it, it, it is, it's all that fluid movement, isn't it? There's no. Is this one of our Christmas Day pieces? I feel like it. it um, or, or, or maybe a New Year's Day piece. It feel, I feel like I'm holding something very, very, very special mm. here. It's never been on air. I don't know, if we get right up close, you said about the layers, Claire, just mm. there. I mean, look here, can you see? You've got the layer of a dragon here. Look at that detail. The dragon over the top. Yeah. Layers of a dragon here. If we put Look at that. Can you see it? Look. Again, let's turn it around. There are literally layers, aren't they? Intertwined. Oh, my goodness. Look at... All done literally by hand. It's exquisite, isn't it? You know, you're seeing more right now on your screens because we're under magnification than you will do with the naked eye. Look at that detail. We're at £199. It is brand new. You've got the wonderful story of the nine dragons. I'm not that familiar with it, so I, I, I do apologise. I'm not an expert at all with uh, mythological creatures. I know that we have shown PowerPoints. Does this include anything then, uh, Roscoe? Um, it just shows you that there are... Uh, the I haven't number... even registered the price. No, I know, not me. Well, that speaks volumes, doesn't it? Do you know what it reminds me of? You can, you can learn about the nine dragons and what they represent represent uh, 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 sort of at a later stage but to actually know that this is literally carved by hand by hand uh, just unbelievable I mean look at the size look at the size of that oh my goodness me in a type a Burmese mm. jadeite irreplaceable absolutely a work of yeah. art Make sure you check it out. I can see you all there. Never been on your screens. I feel like I've just maybe brought you something that I, I, I'm not going to say shouldn't have because we've been given it by our managing director, but I feel like that was something very, very, very special. Should we do a closeout deal on some lavender jadeite? It is brand new. Oh, is it that? Oh, sorry. It's been on once before, but we're going to take it to a brand new low. There are over 100. So um, a few moments ago with, oh my goodness, look at that colour. Um, a few, uh, 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 what's it? Well, nine o'clock actually. Gosh, where's the time gone? I don't time? know. I really don't know. You beautiful, have those beautiful, beautiful enamel yeah. rings and yes. there were some loose stones like the kunzites. Can you imagine one of those kunzites secured in the centre of this beautiful oh, type yes. A natural lavender yeah. jadeite haigu? Haigu, steeped in history, basically um, in ancient China, they used to place it on the chest and waist of deceased loved ones. Um, um, of deceased loved ones, um, they believed that it would actually uh, um, aid your. Uh, 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 I can't, I can't, I can't think of the word that I'm trying to say. Transition. Uh, transition, but also communication. That was the word. Communication between uh, um, now and the afterlife. So you'll always be able to sort of speak to your lost loved ones. Um, but steeped in history, absolutely steeped in history. There are lots of rules behind the haigu. It can be, of course, carved, but proportions really are what uh, make it a haigu. Now, we're going to do a closeout deal. Lavender jade eye. Again, it is one of the rarest colours. Um... 
Um, who was it that said, I can't remember, was actually talking about how they believe that the auction, uh, um, auction record, um, Ron Schlussel was saying he believes that Ro uh, the, the auction record will not be held by an imperial jadeite moving forward. He believes it's going to be a lavender jadeite or one of the other fancy colours um, that's going to take, that, uh, take that crown. We're at £49.99. pence. But that's not your closeout deal. I've got a hundred of these available. Um, can you imagine if today you've managed to secure yourself Queen Conch shell, rarer than the Queen Conch pearl, um, Guatemalan jade. What else have we had? What do we have this morning? Yes, uh, I can't. I can't. Oh, those back. beautiful pearls that we had. Oh, yes. uh, Sujan pearls. Yes, they were stunning. How amazing is that? Mm. Lavender Jade at a brand new lowest ever price tag. And should we say it, this shouldn't, this shouldn't be a sentence. Lavender Jade should not go under £20. It shouldn't go under £30. It shouldn't go under £50. It shouldn't be under £100. This is so astonishingly rare, especially to have that expanse of lavender colour. It's not just a little patch here and there. You know, we've shown you examples, or rather Dave has shown you examples of, of boulders and boulder slices. All jadeite is cut into slices, and then they'll navigate it as best they can to achieve the optimum translucency and the, uh, and the optimum colour. But it's rare to get such a solid definite definite lavender shade in any natural jadeite you can impregnate it of course with a dye you can you can fish a fill it of course but this isn't either of those this is completely natural never been lower than what's on your screens right now and it's never been anywhere near the price that you are about to see crazy absolutely mm. crazy for such a pretty pretty color isn't it it is all that, that color. meaning yes yeah, it's, it's very... like a wisteria color yes, isn't it yeah it's a very delicate you know we brought you the turkish uh, uh, uh deposit of purple jadeite which is wonderful if you don't want that intensity of purple then uh, definitely the Burmese location because you get this really beautiful... Uh, it's a, I don't even want to say a whisper. It's more than a whisper. It's a softly spoken lavender hue. Mm. There we go. Mm. Um, more than a whisper, but it's not a shout, if that makes yes. sense. Yes, yeah. Um, hello to you there. Gabrielle, Susan. Hello to you, Jenny. Somerset, London. Susan in Essex. Maker, Karen in Hampshire. Congratulations to you. At this kind of price point, I'd maybe be multi-buying and I'd be thinking about earrings i mean you could so easily yeah earrings would be beautiful wouldn't they you do tube setting claire don't you yeah and in so fact, we, we've done that we've done that before haven't we where um and you know in in the center there but also i'd be looking you know you could do your uh your bezel strip wire around the outside you could work with your gallery wire um you know and uh, just a, again as we always say like cord and, and do a, a lovely lark's head knot would would be really nice just put it on a chain yeah. too you know the, because you're always looking aren't you for anchor points as well with things that looks that would you know chain yeah. through it it's going to sit beautifully and not everybody wants to have the big master carvings do they so for no. petite yes right yeah. I can't not, I can't move on without showing you this just because it's a real rarity to get a Koya Pearls, especially, 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 and a manager's, uh, a manager's price saving. Ah, oh, there's 40 of these. Can I borrow this? Yes. Is that all right? Yes, lovely? of course. Yeah. Um, straight away, someone getting involved. A Koya Pearls. So regarded by, uh, by many as, well, the most lustrous pearls, without doubt. Um, they come from the cold waters of Japan. Um, Akoya pearls naturally form at a, 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 a smaller size. So um, that you're not going to see, if you're looking for sort of the 12 millimeter upwards, then definitely maybe your South Sea, your Tahitian or your, um, or your salt uh, or your freshwater um, Akoya pearls, because they only actually harvest for three months of the year, Three months of the year, because the waters are so cold, they, for, they, they, they grow that much, uh, that much slower. But I remember, it cast my mind back, only recently we showed you one single Akoya pearl um, on a single pendant that was £400. One single round Akoya pearl. Perfectly uh, uh, flawless. I'm always really cautious to say that, actually, because these are organic gemstones, so you should expect a few uh, sort of anomaly and characteristic. We're going to do a brand new low price. I don't personally th see these mm. as near rounds. I see them as rounds. 
six to seven millimeters, which is really like that. That it's like a one carat to a diamond. It's the aspirational size in an Akoya pearl. You've got a full strand today. Oh, I'm really intrigued with this one, Ross. So I've got something to tell you after this. That's crazy. That is. I've just had my mum's Akoya pearl necklace valued. That's almost identical. It's, it, it, it's, it's a cream colour. It's in, identical in size. Granted, it's got a, um, an 18 karat gold little box clasp. But it's not massively heavy, though. And, um, yeah, you need to add zeros to that. It's, that's what it is. Knotted with an 18 karat gold yeah. clasp. And it's just been valued um, thousands of pounds. It's, well, I'll tell you, it's two and a half thousand pounds. It was valued at recently and it's honestly almost identical to what's on your screens right now i do think the gold class makes a difference obviously but akoya pearls absolutely deserve that mm. certified genuine akoya pearls at 199 pounds um amazing i mean look at them uh, it cast my mind back to, again to when I first launched Akoya Pills on what was our USA channel. Um, we sold them as individual pennants. I don't believe at that time we actually had full strands like this. And just one was hundreds. One single pearl. You're getting the full strand for £199 today. We've got collectors, retailers, jewellers um, shopping with us right now. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, okay, now... I'm moving quickly because we've still got a masterclass to bring. We've still got a, 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 um, an advent calendar. Oh, yes, open yeah. As well. Shall we do? Yes. South Sea Pearl slider bracelet. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Where's all this lot coming oh, no, from? That's lovely. Oh. oh, that's pretty clear, isn't it? That was wonderful. So, again, you can see the difference straight away, can't you, in terms of the size? Very gold. Mm. Eight millimeters in their size, and again, um, that beautiful near round shape. So, when we first, what were you taking this to, Russ? Are you? For South Sea Pearls. For two South Sea Pearls, which is uh, amazing, absolutely amazing. Um, just for the South Sea on their own, that would be amazing, but you do get the uh, beautiful. 925 sterling silver uh, slider bracelet as well um I, I, you know, i'm not going to say all the obvious things you know that it was launched in 2017 you know the price tag that we launched at without any addition of, of beautiful gemstones south sea pearls are, are, are harvested um if you like or farmed um off the coast of australia where well, yes you can imagine it is yeah, pre precarious to say the least. Um, but they are considered, if you like, the Mariah Careys of the pearl world, somewhat divas, and they only will culture and form in a very small area. They've tried to expand that, that culturing area, um, but unfortunately they didn't like it. So that's why South Sea pearls, or one of the many reasons South Sea pearls can command such high prices. We're £29.99 pence so only. Just because, listen, we're not messing around. We're going straight down to it. We want to showcase as much of these manager special deals as we physically can. Squeeze in as much as we can. I um, definitely, that'd be done, you said, wouldn't it? You'd It'd wear that as a yeah, would, yeah. Would yeah, I would. Pearls like that, I definitely would. Yeah, mm. I get that. And, um, and what, would you take the, the rest, say, pearls around the back of the neck? Take pearls, or? can you, or maybe just even chain or any, anything, and that, that, that would be the focus. But, yeah, stunning. Beautiful. So many of you getting involved, amazing. I mean, again, for the for, for one single South Sea pearl, twenty nine pounds, yeah. ninety nine pence is amazing. You know, cast your mind back to some of the uh, um, epic shows that we've done with Charlie. You know, mm. we we've sold South Sea pearls singly at twenty nine ninety nine, yeah. but you are you're getting the two and the slider bracelet, an absolute deal. Well done. Stay where you are. Um, okay, two more auctions before we dive into the masterclass. 12. And this. Oh my yeah, word. I've got that. And this. That one. Is it? Oh no. And this. 
Do you know what? Are they silver? Yes, they're silver. Wait, you don't just get that, Ross. You get the extender chain. Oh, my word. They're silver. <gasps> How many have we got of these? <gasps> oh, my goodness me. That, that's a lot of silver just there. I was... It... Wait. Hang on. And you get all of these? 19 South Sea Baroque pearls, which are absolutely ginormous. I'm thinking back, and I know it's a different conversation, but you know that when we discussed Keshi pearls yesterday from Asao, and we showed those lovely photographs um, of, uh, of, of ladies on the catwalk wearing Baroque Keshis. Mm. They're so re reminiscent. Um, I'm going to show you the launch price. This is, this is oh all gosh. sterling silver. Ooh. Oh, you get two extenders. Is that right? No, one two-inch extender with a, um, a fish lock. There we go. There's 33 grams. This is, this is, I've never seen as much silver. That's amazing. They're 12 by 13 for the final nine. Launch price. You have 35.2 grams of 925 sterling silver plus, hmm. wow, some of the biggest South Sea pearls. How many South Seas have you got there? Uh, I've got five. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 19 South Sea Pearls. Today you're getting hold of this Today Jewelry Makers for £349. Um, that is your price point. We can't go any lower. You've got way over 35 uh, Gosh, grams of precious metal. You're getting 19 massive South Sea Pearls. I mean, you do the maths. In fact, 349 divided by 19. That's £20 per South Sea Pearl. That on its own is amazing. I think you're paying... Individual pendants would be lovely. I mean, I've put them all oh, in a... If you had a that. long, long, you know... I don't know if you can see how beautifully that works. I mean, look at the pearls. But earrings as well. You could just make lots of pairs of earrings. These links are amazing. <gasps> 19 pendants. That's amazing. So 349 divided by... What, what did we say it was? How much did we say it was, Ross? £20 per South Sea Pearl Sterling Silver Pendant. Even if you just did that, Claire. These really are simple. amazing. Now, one more auction until we dive into the masterclass, OK? A sterling silver chain with a white topaz charm. Is there... Oh, I love this one. Yeah, would you Me like too. to do that one? Look. Can I? Again, yeah. Here we go. Ah, oh, it comes with the extender chain as well. Oh, there's the white topaz. I was a bit confused then. Do you know where that is, Claire? You've got a really beautiful, because it's lariat style. You've got, at the bottom, a round, brilliant cut white topaz. Just at the bottom here. Can you see that? Am I holding it the right way? Beautiful. Other way. Oh, other way. Typical, isn't it? Round, brilliant cut. That's so nice. It's so pretty. On the one side, 5.75 grams of 90 uh, uh, sterling silver. On the one side, you've got that really beautiful flat curb chain on the other side if you just follow it up i love this really uh, really edgy mm -hmm. i think quite cool we're at 19.99 you've got your um paper clip chain which is just uber 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 on trend look at the quality of these i know we won't have many of these left because these were one of our i'm sure star buy um star buys from a previous that. auction opportunity it's so high end isn't it 
so so high end but take a look at the overall piece and you've got again that detail that difference between very cutting edge very edgy um between the paper clip and then your classic and you get two curve. different effects don't you from yeah. the, the chain it's great would you do anything to this no chair? i wouldn't i mean you could you could add in say if you've got i don't know smaller gemstones and maybe you want to add bubble clusters in onto the one side but i, do, I love the simplicity of it me too i didn't think we were going lower but we are 18 inches, but you do get the additional two inch extender chain. 14 pounds and 99 pence. Um, wow. I mean, even if you were looking at just a traditional trace chain, I don't think many suppliers could bring you that. Um, no, I'm going to show you at the end of this so you can see the extender chain, 95 sterling silver. Um, so it can be worn at 18 inches. It can also be on, uh, worn at 20. Can we look at the overall piece, actually? On the, I mean, look at that. Whether it's, uh, whether it's but so you could also do that, couldn't you? Whether you have it down at the front or whether it's going to go to the side. It's beautiful, Claire, isn't mm, it? It's yeah. absolutely beautiful. £14.99 for well over, well, five and three quarter grams. Uh, straight away, multi buyers getting involved. Make sure you do check out and don't go anywhere. Squeezing in all of those manager special deals. Um, apologies once again that Dave couldn't be with us, but I think, uh, again, lots and lots of extra savings mm. and treats for you yeah um instead now coming up claire yes we've got the new setting haven't we in the um brand in the next new, set yes it? yeah brand new so we've never yeah. done this before nope no i've so, i've certainly not seen it and i'd not seen it before either so yeah wonderful like um it's got a, a, a thread on it so it's interchangeable gemstones so not interchangeable uh, as in just take the, the whole pendant off. No, you just unscrew it and then uh, the gemstone you can change. So it's really cleverly. Brand done. new. I'm excited about yeah, this. It's good. And I'm intrigued as well because I can't quite figure it out yet. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be very simple. It'd be very simple. Love that. Don't go anywhere. Well done, everybody. Join Claire and I after this. Hello, my name is Yvonne Froelich and I'm one of the finalists of Britain's Next Gem, which is a competition that Jewellery Maker have been running over the last few months. I'm popping in today to tell you that I'll be on your screens on the 21st of December for a takeover. I'll be bringing some beautiful pieces with me. I'll be bringing sterling silver wire, copper wire, a wooden bangle mandrel, not the easiest to say, and uh, I'll also have some pearls which are encased in sparkly gems. So I hope you can join me then. We'll be doing plenty of hammering and hopefully I can bring you something new that you've not seen before. So please join me then. Message in. I'd love to hear from you. So see you on the 21st of December. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewellery Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewellery Maker. 
Hi, I'm Natalie and I am very excited to tell you that I'm going to be taking over the Jewellery Maker Studio on Thursday the 22nd of December. I'm going to be demonstrating how to use some amazing mandrels. They are perfect for beginners or experienced jewellery makers. They are a must have tool as they are so versatile. They're going to help you create a range of shapes for all sorts of jewellery making projects. So whether you want to make a pair of earrings, a ring, a pendant, a bracelet, a brooch, hair clips or even create your own chain, these mandrels will help form your wire into a range of beautiful, professional looking wearable pieces. So please come and join me on Thursday the 22nd of December only on Jewellery Maker. Jewellery Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single P&P. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Hello, Claire. We're on air, Claire. Claire. Sorry. <laughs> so excited about these Claire and I know I, I they are lovely intrigued yes it's very clever very very clever mm, but first should we open the um, advent calendar yes now for anybody that doesn't want to know here's your little disclaimer uh, put us on mute I don't know turn away from the telly whatever it might be because we're about to do it we're about to open it number two as if five days away how has this happened hang on is that four sleeps I always get confused Four sleeves? Is it four sleeves? Another sleep tonight, so 20th, 21st, uh, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, five sleeps. Five sleeps. Oh, <laughs> no. What's the matter? I've just got quite a lot to do before. Five sleeps. You need to get cracking. Do you need a hand? Yes. Okay. Please, several. Okay, before we do anything though, can you open the yes. advent calendar? Amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, I know, it is, it is the craziest, busiest time of year ever. Um, so, turn away now if you don't want to know what's in your advent calendar, maybe if it's actually sort of uh, wrapped up to go underneath the tree. So, number 20. Very, Ooh, very and this useful. Ours has, ours has been made up into, of course, uh, pieces of jewellery, so by our Anne and Sue. What is so it, you get all of your earring findings. Beautiful shepherd hooks, rose gold. Loads rose gold. and loads and loads of them. Lovely. So you're getting your rose gold coloured shepherd hooks. Very, very, very good. Well done, everybody. Congratulations. They're There's nice the ones, aren't they? Really pretty. Beautiful. Congratulations. There we go. Same time tomorrow for uh, uh, for the 21st. Amazing. Oh, 21st. I know. How can you say why I know? I know, I know. Next year, I will listen. Yes. I mean, it's only been however yes. many eight years, but yes, I will know. next year. Yeah, because then you don't have any of this stress. No. None of that stress. No. That would um, be lovely. Okay, right then, Claire. These kits, okay. brand new launch, so really excited about these. Yes. Yeah. Um, in terms of components, you only really get your you you get, well you get three different gemstones. Um, you get 925 sterling silver and a really beautiful chain. Um, I would describe this. It says on our screens, Rolo chain. I would personally describe it as a belcher, whichever. Um, it's those sort of inter, uh, interlocking links, spherical links. Um, that's 20 inches, by the way. Um, you're also getting, not, I'm going to read the description, 925 sterling silver pendant screw setting, four pieces with four gemstones, approximately six millimetres. So the key, there's a clue there, isn't there, Claire? Yes, that, that screw, that little screw fitting means that you can then have, you interchange them. So whatever your mood is, whatever you're feeling, so whatever you're, your outfit is. So if I'm feeling a little bit amethysty, You can pop your amethyst in, yeah. If I'm feeling a little bit spinelli. You can take your amethyst out and pop your spinel in. Yeah, if I'm feeling a little bit rose quartzy. Then you could take your... Uh, 
amethyst out and put your rose quartz in. Absolutely. Um, it, or maybe you're thinking about one of your other uh, six millimeter round brilliant cut stones that you might have already. Yes, per, yeah. Like a diamond. Yes. Like a diamondy or a ruby. Absolutely. Oh, that doesn't work, does it? That's a good. ruby. -y. Yeah, ruby, ruby. -y. <laughs> or a bit sapphire. -y. You just literally interchange it all. Yes. How beautiful is that? It's really clever and it's love. It's re It's lovely and, and secure. Now straight away we're at uh, thirty nine pounds and ninety nine pence. You know, for something that is interchangeable, you're basically getting multiple looks in one piece of jewellery and beyond because you can always buy more gemstones, can't you, from us? Look yeah. at us. You can always buy more gemstones. Um, but you can. Six mil rounds. And it gives you that look. Like, so when you looked at it from the... You would never know that you've got all that sort of that... Um you know, the engineering at the back. It's, you know, sometimes you would imagine that to, get, to be able to do that, it might look a, a little bit um, bulky. clumsy. Yes, yeah. and it doesn't, it's nothing like that. No, you don't want bulky, do you? 39.99. We're not stopping there though. We're not stopping there. How many have we got of these then, Roscoe? Because I think these are going to be really popular. 200. And listen, I know that, you know, you, you've probably done your Christmas shopping. You're literally sort of checked out thinking, no, happy days, I am all done. But have you thought about yourself? And secondly, you know, it doesn't just stop at Christmas, does it? You're going to think it, it, it's never ending. No, How that's right. How beautiful is that? It's just, it's, it's perfection, isn't it? I think it's just, I love that sort of setting. Uh, but then the fact that you can uh, very, very discreetly, you can change that. So, you know, again, uh, you think about maybe a wedding jewellery, you know, you might decide that that's, that's sort of the colour you want to go to. Maybe you have your bridesmaids in there mm. with the, the rose quartz or something like that or the amethyst. Just lots of different looks. Pounds yeah, ninety-nine pence, which is amazing. I think for the you know other places, you know, for the gemstones, that's the yeah. co a collection of gemstones. You'd pay that, wouldn't you? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a really good. In fact, for them individually, yeah, in some places yeah. you pay that yes. for, yeah. for the round brilliant the quality cuts. that you're getting. Yeah. Now this is a brand new launch. We're going to do something extra special. Brand new launch. Never done anything like this before. It is genius. Absolutely genius. Um, the fact that you are, it, it, do you know, especially as a giftable opportunity, if you are thinking about, you know, uh, I, I don't know, a friend, a family member, whatever it may, uh, might be, and you don't know their favourite gemstones, I mean, you're giving them the extra options here, aren't you? Mm. Yeah. And people always like choice like that, don't they? And the fact that you can, like I say, so you can, it could be to your mood, uh, your outfit, um, you know, anything like that, couldn't it, that, that you decide that you change. We're going even lower. It's all 925 sterling silver. Claire will, of course, demonstrate how you interchange these beautiful gemstones. So I don't need to be a silversmith. No, not at all. Not at all. No. Do I need to be a jewellery maker? No. So actually anybody could. Yeah. Anybody could use Yeah, these. which I think is that's a lovely thing for a, with a, um, about a, giving a gift, isn't it? That you're, um, you know, you don't have to make any any jewellery. Do I need any particular tools? No, I can show you, I'll show you with my fingers and I'll show you with, um, if you've got some. Um... £19.99. <laughs> £19.99. £19. Well. That's so good, isn't it? It's so, so good. good. Again, the chain on its own shouldn't be £19.99. Yes, yeah. But it's Christmas. We've got a big quantity of these. Do you know what? This can be a little treat for yourself in the new year. We're going to go even lower, purely because of the festivities, purely because of the quantity, purely because we've had to be a little bit sort of uh, reactive, I guess, in today's show. I mean, yeah, if you, even if you don't use it for what what it is and you just stick with one stone, for anything other than 19 99 that's, that's a wonderful, you know, that's a gorgeous, gorgeous sterling silver pendant and chain, isn't it? Yeah, I'd pay £20 for this chain. Definitely. All day long. The chain elsewhere, you'd probably pay double that price just for the Rolo chain on its own. There's a big investment in sterling silver. We are going to go lower. When you said quantity, Ross, 200. Oh, I might have to get some of these, Claire. Mm. I think they're a great gift. Oh, I see Bernadette there. Bernadette, you're going to love these. They're lovely. Multi-buying as well, Bernadette. Yeah. I can't believe we're going even lower. 
Plus it's 20 inch, which I think is my favourite because it sits that mm. little bit lower on the neckline. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. 16 pounds and 99 pence. Goodness me. If that was base metal, I'd be like, okay, yeah, that's cool. But it, you're getting four, na four beautiful genuine gemstones. Mm. You're getting a 20 inch sterling silver chain and you're getting the amazing engineering and craftsmanship of that interchangeable... I don't know, pendant, bail, whatever yes, you want to do, yeah, however yeah. you want to describe yeah, it. Yeah, that's what I mean. I think even if you couldn't interchange, it was the one option, it was, it was static, you couldn't do anything with it, that's a fantastic price. $16.99? Yeah. I said earlier on in the show, do you remember when uh, Swatch watches used to, mm. used to have interchangeable dials? Yes, yeah. Um, goodness me, they're expensive now. There's somewhat of a, like a retro Well, I think it's on. nice, isn't it, that people like now choice with things, don't they? It's yeah. A, um, and, and certainly, you know, because you have got, and they are very different um, different colours, so um, it's nice to have that. In, in one, one piece of jewellery, you've got those four different looks. $16.99, I can't get over that. Make sure you do check out their lovely jewellery makers. Again, you know, pop along for the, for the weight and the investment in 925 that's in that 20-inch chain. I think that's absolutely awesome um, at $16.99, but you do get everything else. Um, now, there is more. We have got another kit to bring you. Um, we'll bring it just after, though, um, which has that same mechanism, has uh, same collection of gemstones, or very similar anyway, um, and also you're getting a cord. We'll bring you that in a few moments' time. We had 200 of these, but they are absolutely flying. Right, Claire. Okay, so if we look if we look all the way around it, so you see, for, so from the front, it just looks like it's a really lovely um, and, and very solid as well um, setting like that, and you've got a really nice bail with, with great movement. But then if we look at it and we turn it over... You've got the back here, and so you've also got um, so you've got your 925 mark, and then you've got these little notches um, in here. So I've loosened this one a little bit. So this is where, if you wanted to, um, depending on you know if you uh, maybe nails or the size of your fingers, you can use your fingers, or you can very carefully sort of get um, into those notches with your round nose pliers. So you're going to unscrew or screw up. Let's have a look. So if I just unscrew this, take that out, take your time with it. So work your way down and the settings are a little bit at the back. Let's get that off, it's going to come out. So you can see there, so you've got that, that screw thread along the side. So we'll pop in, sorry, there we go. We'll pop that in. Okay. I'm gonna pop that back on. I'm gonna make this, bear in mind, you're, it's not gonna take as long as this with you because you're gonna be nearer. Yeah, you're at arm's distance. I am, you. yes, yeah. So you're going to, once you get the thread started, mm -hmm. let's bring this in. Let's sit that down. Can I just lift it towards me? Yes. Minute? Is that okay? Sorry, I'm going to take it out no, of you. Off. Sorry. Yeah, no problem. Sorry. When you're doing something at this distance, <laughs> it's got to be pretty tricky. I know, and when it's as, it is as simple as this, but because it's um, far away. Hang on. All right. So are you short-sighted? I don't know what I am, but I do know. Can you see my... Um, I'm just going to swap the stone. You know my... Um, can you see the side of my glasses? I don't know if it's the side with you. <laughs> can you see the Gorilla Glue that I've had to put on them? You've got Gorilla Glue on I've your glasses. I've had glass. to. I've had to because they're... Um, They've broken that many times, so that, that is going to be my New Year's treat. I'm going to get new my glasses. eyes tested. Yeah. Oh, you, oh, oh, right. I'm going to okay. get my eyes tested and some new glasses because um, they are very um, wonky. Right, okay, so I've started the thread, and I'm just going to work my way down now. Okay. And I'm just going to tighten that in there. So I'm just holding there in those little notches. And let's tighten that. And that is it. And I promise you, when you, when you do it, if you remember um, 
uh, which way the thread is going and you can actually see it it's a lot it's a lot easier so you can look see at that. that i mean seriously does that look like it's 16 pounds and not in a million years if i hold it like oh that. clear it's lovely isn't it absolutely lovely so beautiful and it's really really nice nice and secure love that absolutely love it well they've flown out the door lots of you multi-buying and so if you want to undo it again, so if we have a look there, so I've got, it's, it's tightened up. Mm. So now I'm just going to turn this. So I've got the little notches. And you can see how that then unscrews there. So nice. I mean, you know, depending on what you've got in your stash as well, you know, maybe as different birthstones you've got. So it's clever. Literally anything you can, you can add into into there well do you want the connector to go along with it can i show them? oh clear it's gorgeous isn't it absolutely gorgeous i love this so you're going to actually demonstrate because yeah i can show that yeah with, um if i show you the bracelet first you've got the connector and i think that's what a spinel black spinel in there um instead of it being the pendant you can see there's it can i have to say very bulgari this it's it yes yeah very it's, very i think it's very high-end designer um, then you've also got, you've just literally put it on some cord, which comes with the kit. And we'll go, we'll dive back to Claire in a few moments time. Let's, let's, let's bring the components to your screens. Cause I imagine there's going to be, uh, again, a big uh, quantity of you that want to get involved with these as well. 925 sterling silver with again, that interchangeable, amazing screw setting. Genius. Mm. Absolutely genius. Yes, isn't it? Yeah. And I just think will appeal to everybody's, um, tastes as well yeah because it's 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 about you know it's it's just it doesn't interrupt just frames the gemstone in a really lovely way and, and literally just on the classic sort of very um monica veneda-esque mm. i guess slider bracelet yeah yeah you got you have a black spinel rose quartz white topaz and a zambian amethyst all of which are four millimeter you don't need to be a gemstone setter you don't need to be a jewelry maker as no. claire's just showed you no, you definitely don't um i've got 200 quantity again First price crash with a meter of your black nylon cord. If you want to literally repeat what uh, Claire has made in this gorgeous slider bracelet, first price crash, 16 pounds and 99 pence. Oh, look, you can see the bewilderment on Claire's face. <laughs> I just think it's, I think it's so, it's, it's so good. It, so it goes, I imagine, I'm thinking, you know, the, righty tighty lefty loose yeah i don't think it's that way so you think it's... all my years of engineering i could never remember that what righty tighty lefty yeah, loosey I can't, yeah it always feels different and in, in the same now <laughs> let me tell you what you think it, uh? sorry everybody whose boilers i've ever worked on yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's a bit of a worry isn't it um hang on a minute let me just double check I'm trying to do it with tweezers, which is, isn't ideal, is it? Uh, okay, so you think it goes the opposite direction? <laughs> um, that clock is ticking away. I though, think it, it might. I think it might. Again, I'm not very good with left and right. Um, <laughs> Hang on. I'll do it mass, a second. But my engineering was what, great. Well, whilst you're demonstrating, I'll figure it out. And I'll so it goes, you know. as you're doing it, it's going uh, clockwise. Yeah, that's right. To, which is... To... to Lefty, so that's so so righty tighty is the other way. <laughs> it's okay. going, it's going left. I should be going lefty loosey to loose it. Okay. Oh, is it the other thing that's moving? Yeah, I think it's just what the other thing you're holding, Claire. You've got two <laughs> components just there. So the most simplest setting I've <laughs> made, managed to make that more complicated than anything. Um, yeah. Sorry, everybody. I think so. Um, I think so. Yeah, yeah, that's a really good point because you get two parts of it, Claire. So it yes. is right. Yes. It is right. Oh dear. Anyway, it's very easy. Just literally undo it. It's the screw. Once you find that, um, <laughs> decide which. You know, you know, your left and your right. Oh dearie me. Okay. And what I also <gasps> find helps is is doing that. L. What? This. So you go. You can try and do it discreetly. So if somebody says, "Oh." Uh, is it on the right or the left? Then you sort of go, yes, it's the left. Okay. What well, well, if you're trying to figure out your left and right? Yeah. I just do this because I write with my right. I do. Yeah, I just imagine which, pen, one. which one yeah. I pick the pen up with. Um, 9 99 I'm sorry about <laughs> Top tip. 
Stop to which hand you write with. There we go. I, that's how I've taught Willow See, as well. That would be that you, you would never have that for the one gemstone, would you? For ten? No. And you don't need anything else. I mean, you could if you've got if you've got um, maybe um, precious metal spacers. Um, at home, you could add add those in or crimp so them. But no, you know, you, you've got everything you need there. Yeah, and it's interchangeable. I mean, how genius yeah. is that? How genius! And I guess you can still undo and tighten up once it's complete into a bracelet, can't you? Yes, yeah, because you can access the back. So. Yeah. Awesome. We had 200 of these available. Um, nice little gifts, though, isn't it? That's they? a lovely gift. And the fact that you can say to somebody um, of all ages as well, isn't it? You know, you Just can, don't you confuse them about the right to Yeah, maybe say loses. don't. It's not, yeah. That's not a, yeah. it, We don't need to have that conversation. No. <laughs> <laughs> Just not needed. Um, so, Claire, you're going to okay. show us how to do a spa, yes. spa which yeah. we haven't seen so, in a long so time. So, I can show you how, how I've made my little. I mean, because you, you've got the thread there, so you could do an all, all around um, macrame piece if you wanted to um, but I'm just going to do a very very straightforward just a knotted because there's lots of these lovely um, bracelets around aren't there if I yeah. just get my yeah they're all the rage at the moment so I'm just going to use some of these so I'm going to take two um, two pieces either side so let's pop this through so obviously that goes through the, the connector there We'll cut that off there. And you can use proper thread cutters. So let's keep that back. So just to hold it in here, I'm going to just do a straightforward knot either side so it doesn't move. The cords don't move around. So again, make our knot. Control the knot until it goes all the way up to the, to the loop so that it tightens really close to the knot. And we'll turn over and do the same on this one. So again, just that overhand knot. And hold this, make sure that you know that that, that double thread tightens at the same rate. And again, we'll tighten it so it's close to the connector. Okay, so if you've got a macrame board, so I'm gonna come to the corner and let's bring that over. So I'm using that from one side here so and I'll, I'll turn that over there so you can see. So the other one has gone. And I'm going to come the other side with the other one. So get that tucked over. And that's going to come there and there. OK, so if I just move that to the side. So I'm going to take what's rest of the, 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 the thread. And I'm just going to do a few square knots. So I'm starting with a knot. Okay, so on this side, I'm going to do it so I've got my, the P here. So you can see, so if we think about this strand in the middle, is going to be the P. So I'm going to take on the other side and come up into that P and slide that up there. So turn the, the P on the one side. And so now we've got the D on the other. Take the other side up underneath that main, the main cords and tighten. So we did the D then. So we've got the P here coming up. So you're going to keep doing those. And I mean, you can do, I think I've probably done um, that, that square knot. Um, you could just have uh, probably maybe got about five of those. You just want uh, maybe about a centimetre or so. And I'm just going to keep doing a few more. So what that's doing is just you're 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 doing that that's that Solomon's bar around the actual bracelet itself, so that you don't need any other findings. So if I stop there, I'll take this off. So I'm now going to just hold on to that because nice shiny cord, and you can see how this will then. So we can now use that knot. To slide it out and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut here and then so just a little bit so that you so 
it doesn't fray and come undone. So cut a couple of millimeters. And if you've got your, um, you know, your thread zapper one or just a lighter there. And then in the same way, so we can now pull this. I wonder if, have we got a th thread zapper? We haven't had that in a while, I haven't have we? seen them for a long, long time, no. They're always good though, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, they are. But a good old, uh, a lighter will do the trick as well. Uh, so again, just gonna cut that off. Oh, we have a thread zapper, Claire. Brilliant. We're just looking for something that to stop because this cord is lovely and silky, but you can see how it's starting to, to fray there. So you just need something that's going to stop that. Let's bring this through. There we go, put the thread zapper on screen. So that just stops it fraying, doesn't it? Yes, it's like a hit little element that heats up. Um, so it's pro you know, it's safer way of, of doing it. And it works with things like ribbon, any man-made threading material, is that right? Yeah, so I would think so, yes, yeah. Wildfire and things like that. Okay, so on that side, do the same here. Snip it off. A little bit. So now you can see that bar, then you pull on the... And that bar allows you to Look. open and close. On an so Everything else, you don't need any other findings in there. Love that. And there you've got your beautiful... Amethyst in there. Interchangeable bracelet. Yeah, it's wonderful, isn't it? It's so good, Claire. Shall I put it on with that one? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, why, why not? There we go. And, uh, uh, and you've got extra cord there that you could probably use. Ah, oh, look. It's nice, I mean, isn't 9 it? It's Yeah, so good. So, so good. And, and, you know, it's appealing to all tastes, isn't it? And, and ages as well. Definitely. Um, here we go. Well, we put the thread zapper on your screen as well for, th for £9.99. That's battery operated, so it literally just seals um, any of your nylon cords, any of your wax cords, any of your fire lines and wildfires they work with as well. Um, the only thing you can't really use it on is a natural fibre like right, cotton. Okay, yes, right, okay, yes. It actually right. burns yes, then. Yeah. Um, whereas this will actually physically yeah. seal. Well done, everybody. Congratulations, Claire. Those are beautiful. They were lovely, weren't they? Yeah, so Genius, good. Genius inventions, yeah. Very clever. Yeah. Very, very. Just pop your little gemstone in there. And of course, you could always, or it, that, you know, that's a... That's a great way of using, say, your four or your six millimetre round gemstones. Yeah, and have a play around, couldn't you? We'd see what you've got in your stash and then mm. and add in. Yeah. What gemstone are you feeling a bit today? Um, I'm feeling like, I, I like the rose quartz I'm drawn to. Which You're I feeling did. a bit rose quartzy? Yeah. Yeah, lovely. Yeah. Like that. Like yeah. that. Well done, everybody. Make sure you do check out. Now, we um, there are tons of you there getting the thread zapper as well. It has been a while since we've had it on yes. air, isn't it? Um, but it was perfectly alongside mm. um, Claire's amazing kits. Right, um, between now and top of the hour, I can squeeze in a few more goodies, manager special deals. Um, again, it's, it, 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 it's, we're going to do what? A connector, okay. A sterling silver bow connector. There are 45 available. This is gorgeous, Dan. Ooh. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, this would look lovely with that conch. Yes, yeah, selection. yeah. Very, very pretty. And the black jade and the okoya that you had, anything oh. like that, wouldn't it? So knotted either side. Beautifully encrusted, 925, sterling silver. Um, Ah, oh, a little bow. Isn't that gorgeous? And you've got natural zerk on there, not, not cubic zirconia. This is uh, uh, Mother Nature's genuine gemstone, exquisitely set. Again, I th I'm thinking back to sort of all the demonstrations that you've done, Claire, where you've turned things like this, components like this into maybe rings or... Mm. Or just do, using the, um, the, the demonstration we've just done, you could add that. Um, yeah. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah. Because you've got your two connectors Well, you had the side. extra cord, didn't you? Yeah. So yeah. you could always use the uh, you could always use the cord, uh, you know, and add to that lovely little collection. Nine two five sterling silver again with beautiful pristine uh, um, white topaz, twelve pounds and ninety nine pence only. Um, I mean, yeah, just get, like, like you just said, how much would this be? Maybe with just a simple charm or so a jump ring. How much would this be in something like Pandora? Exactly. Yeah. Because yeah. bows are so traditional, aren't they? They're quite yeah. frequently used in 
um, in sort of jewelry collections, etc. cetera. 12 99 for solid 925 sterling silver. Yeah, lovely few you could, from. You could almost as well, if you very, very carefully bent a slight angle, the, the little connectors, you could make a um, little brooch pin as well, couldn't you? Oh, with that's that. Nice, nice, nice little, you know. And solder it, maybe yeah. turn it into a ring? Yes, you could, yeah. Certainly earrings. Multi-row uh, connectors, I think, are great for actually creating sort of multi mm. uh, multi-row necklaces. Twelve ninety-nine. Um, we had how many of these? We had forty available. Over a gram and a half of sterling silver. Margaret's got two. Carol Maker and Cheshire. Well done, Irene. Kate's got three. Hello to you, uh, Nicolette. Another Margaret. Well done. Make sure you're checking out those baskets. Congratulations, every single one of you. It's been busy, busy, busy today. Rita, Susan, amazing. Well done, uh, Angus. Well done to you, Carol. Congratulations. We uh, had forty, and there's a big quantity of these flying out oh, the door. Lovely. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Um, yeah, perfect. Moving along, lots of different techniques mm. of mediums, aren't they? Yes, yeah. Fabulous. Shall we do, to close the show, some more type A jadeite? Wow. Oh, my goodness me, these strands are beautiful. Mm. Oh. That's wonderful shapes. Do you know, if, they, uh, if you ask me, choose a favourite, I'd really struggle. Mm. Shall we do... Oh. Hold up to the neckline straight away. That. Again, that you, I would keep all of that together. Me too. Type A natural Burmese jadeite. How beautiful. Mm. You've got your red jadeite, the rarity of red jadeite. You've got your beautiful pure whites just here. You've got different shades, haven't you, running through. Lavender's absolutely right by my finger. Can you see here? It's actually very ordered, isn't it? In, and in between, yep. in between the um, sort of like the brighter colours, it's actually it's 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 perfectly uniform. Amazing opportunities to get hold of eight millimeter strands with the red colours. I mean, we've sold the red jade eye individually on their own, haven't we? Um, with probably about this uh, this quantity. What was there? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I think I'm sure we did parcels of six, didn't we, in your type A um, red jade eye that we launched uh, um, not that long ago. 110 carats, natural type A, Apologies, sorry, my mic cut out then. We've got £149 only for the rarity that is multicolored jadeite with the wonderful reds, which I think, mm. I believe, is all but sold out now within our vault. Um, so you're looking at 110 carats, what, eight millimeters in their plain rounds, like you, Claire. I don't think I would disturb this. I think I would literally uh, 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 sort of keep it complete. I think, uh, yeah, complete I, I feel like is. lots of work has gone into. Um, into that, you know, like the um, uh, to get to get that color colors the same. It's wonderful. Amazing, mm. amazing, amazing. Wow. Stay where you are. Make sure you do check out those baskets, everybody. Amazing. Okay. Um, gosh, time is ticking by. Should we do these beautiful? Oh, it's a long strand. Again, I would I would be doing something like Anne did there. Again, yeah, because you've the got shape, that. Isn't it, it? It, yeah, so that sh it looks. They look lovely when they're all next to each other, but then when you separate them out, you get a completely different look. So doing the same as as Anne did with that one, and uh, you know the the drums with the um, the rice beads. I just love the there. elegance of the mm. rice bead. I think it create it, it really does create sort of a a, a, a beautifully almost linear like design. Mm. Um, it's as how do I describe it? It's it, you know it's. A, very similar to a Marquise, mm. um, so very, elegance very elegant, it, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Even if you were to take one and put it on some of your nylon cord that we brought you a few moments ago, I think that looks absolutely amazing. They also look great at the bottom of tassels and maybe in multi-layered pieces of jewellery. Um, that being said, we rarely ever see it because
because um, much like the actual marquee shape, it is um, quite a wasteful cut. Um, I know that, that without even, yeah, here we go. Let me show you. If I buckle over the strand um, just for a second, you can see they've got quite generous drill holes in there. So even some of your leathers will actually mm. breeze through. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know, we don't get it very often. It's always incredibly popular. It's so beautiful. Works really well, as Claire was saying, you know, like the Guatemalan jade, when you actually mix up the shapes and maybe and, have that pop And with uh, almost like station necklaces as well. So, you know, like long, if you've got real, you know, some of the reels of chain that we do and you're having um, oh, maybe nice. a rosary really linked into the chain um you could just maybe have like five five or six on a you know long line necklace 499 pounds only for 220 carats of natural burmese jade out we've only got 30 opportunities though look at that you know, you know it, it's that wonderful intensity of color as well the fact that you've got the really beautiful intensity is the wrong word um consistency mm. there you go consistency yeah. of yes. color from yeah. end to end in the strand um, under £100 for you all today. Again, this alongside maybe your Queen Conch uh, showcase, I think would be absolutely amazing. It would be lovely uh, um, with a lot of the black jade out that and we the had. Yeah, on. and the pearls as well that we've had. Or the Akoyas. Yeah. And, and I mean, you know, if you've got that, that kit, you know, with the hammered links as well um, and the, the larger pearls, I mean, you could add in those links would work beautifully with that, um, that shape. Of jadeite. The links. Do you remember the big links that we had? Oh yeah, the sterling silver yeah. ones. So I mean, if you could. Oh, it, with the yeah. rock pearls. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, they'd be yeah. beautiful. Yeah. I think that would mirror because you're the you know the links would mirror the uh, the rice beach. And I, I, there's something about pearls and um, pearls and jadeite together. Mm. I just think it really works, doesn't mm. it? They're just harmonious with one mm. another. Stay where you are, and I've got another jade to bring you. Um, how often do you see your triangles? I don't, have we done triangles? I don't know. I'm just thinking of going back to the, you know, with the teapots of all the different ways we've worked. Once you've got those angles, you know, so they're all in a line there. But if you, depending on how it is, you, you, um, you work with them in your design, you're going to yeah. get so many different, different looks. So creating, I mean, you created almost like tile shapes, didn't mm. you? Almost mosaic shapes. And yeah. And if you, if you took those as well round, um, yeah, so you wire them onto a, something central like a jump ring, mm. a larger jump ring. You know, you're going to get the effects of um, petals, aren't you? The way they're they're drilled, and because they sort of taper into that that fine the, the fine point, they're going to sit beautifully. But let's not forget these are you could treat these like cabochons as well, couldn't yes. you? Yes. So you know, yeah. you, you showed yeah. all the um, at nine o'clock with your enamel rings. You know, them all gathered together. Imagine these as solitaire rings. Yeah, lovely with the prong setting. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Beautiful, yeah. absolutely beautiful. Ten millimeters in their size. You've got an amazing texture to these as well because I love the fact that you've got a love uh, almost a pattern. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that these have got the finest of uh, uh, of texture. They haven't, but I actually like the fact that they've got a coarser texture. Because if you look up close here, if I just literally fold it over the back of my hand, um, with that slightly coarser texture, can you see just here? There's lovely patterning that goes alongside jadeite. And when we first launched jadeite here at Jewelry Maker, it was all this sort of grade, you know, where you had the um, almost like a... Um, I don't know, like a snake skinny pattern across the surface. Gives you beautiful intensities of colors for sure. I love this strand, absolutely love it. Love the cut, love the, the you know, type A color. That is completely natural color. That's your first price crash. First price crash. Little bow ties. And you're right, you could, you, could, you could almost as well bezel set, couldn't yeah. you? Like, I know you've got a curve, so it's not necessarily like cabochon flat bottom, but you can still, you could pack something underneath, mm -hmm. say, if you're working with the sheet and then bezel. That'd be an incredible um, solitaire cocktail ring, wouldn't well, it? Well, on that basis, so imagine we, we are creating purely individual solitaire Burmese jadeite rings. Look, we're at 49.99. Um, what, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 39 solitaires. I tell you what then, can we do a pound? Yeah. Pound per solitaire. Do you think you could make a type A Burmese jadeite ring? All right, you've got to do the, set, uh, the special, uh, precious metal rather, for a pound. Still not your price though. 
How many have we got, Ross? 50. That's right, you did say. Shall we do, shall we do like a, a, a mega, mega closeout deal on a cup we rarely ever see? I love this. I love the, I love the patterning of these in particular. Um, each and every single gemstone will have their own sort of drawer, I think. Mm. But I really like the gorgeous, intense patterns. I like the fact that it is showing. If they were completely perfect and they had minimal um, textures or patterning within, um, then I'd question whether they were natural. These are totally and utterly natural. We're at a pound per stone. Oh, look at that. You've got some really mm. beautiful pools of imperial green just there. And how different would it look? You imagine that on a um, maybe a head pin and chain as earrings. You're going to get a very, very different look depending on which direction. It's just almost like that, that arrow yeah. head's going to go in, aren't you? Arrow head, yeah. Yeah. Here you go. Close out deal, jewellery makers. Kerry in Devon, wow. London, Penny, Victoria, June, Maker, uh, Emma. Hello to you, Lavinia. Congratulations as well. A lot of you joining in. There's a flurry on the phone lines. Has to be one of the lowest prices that mm. we've done of Type A Jade. Um, outside of a nugget, maybe. You know, we've done Jade out nuggets at, uh, at yeah. certainly this price tag, and maybe even a little bit less. Um, but $24.99. Purely because we've got little manager special deals literally being spontaneously added to um, this morning's stroke this afternoon show. Um, we were expecting to have a guest, unfortunately, couldn't make it, not a problem. Um, I think we've spoiled you in terms of the savings as well this morning. Um, I've got one finale auction to bring you. Claire is going to love it. Mm. You are going to love it. In fact, close your eyes. Can I open them yet? Oh, I knew you would. Wait. Oh, this is so lovely. Oh, I've not seen this. This one. 60, 60 white oh. topaz. Oh, it's beautiful. It is. I knew you'd love it. Oh. You have a beautiful button pearl. The final auction of the day. Oh, that's beautiful, isn't it? With the bale itself Gorgeous. as well. Now, you do need to glue the pearl into place, but... That's going to be really, really easy because it's got... A, I mean, you can see, so if I take that, it's got a lovely little post and... and yeah. Half-drilled, of course. It's so nice. Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely stunning. It's our last auction of the day. Um, is this new? Been on air once I've not previously. Seen it, yeah. Should I pass it back to you? I haven't, okay. I've just put it... First price crash, and we're not stopping there. Um, solid 925 sterling silver, 60 white topaz. Now, obviously, this one isn't glued into place, obviously, as a studio sample. Where's he gone? Um, yeah, but if I... if Gosh, I, It is beautiful, isn't it? So all you need is a little bit of what? Your E6000 glue or a yeah. bit of your hypo cement. If I hold this up to the neckline, you can get an idea of perspective then. Lots of you getting involved. So nice. Solid 925 sterling silver, £19.99. Absolutely amazing. I don't know. There's a little queue immediately on the phone lines. It's lovely. I, I think you could wear this on like an 18, 20 or even a 30. Absolutely, yeah. 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 £12.99 pence only. For the cultured button pearl, I think mm. that's awesome. But you also have all that lovely 925 sterling silver. You know, you're talking about best part, well, well here we go, 30 millimetres in its length. Mm. So it's a big piece, isn't it? Helen, hello to you, Dorset. Margaret, Gabrielle, Maker, Yvette, Alan, Olwyn, hello to you, Cheshire, Geraldine, Maureen, hello to you, uh, Tracy, uh, Lavinia, Alan, London, congratulations. Yeah, there still might be people thinking, oh, I haven't sorted out all my Christmas presents. Whilst I can't guarantee it will get you in time for Christmas now, you could always express it. Um, or you could uh, give it to them after Christmas, <laughs> if, you are, if that's what you are thinking about. Um, but what a meaningful gift as oh, well. Oh, absolutely. I'd be happy to wait for this. It's gorgeous. Me too. Me too. Twelve ninety nine. Yeah. So pretty, isn't it? So beautiful. I'll show you the back of it as well if I can. So if I bring it back to the back of the desk, you've got a lot of sterling silver. Um, again, you will need to glue this into place using your specialist uh, jewellery maker glue, which we often supply to you as well. There is a slight curve to it, so it's going to sit so beautifully on the decolletage. Can you see that? 
and the button pearl's going to be really beautifully proud. You've got 60 round brilliant cut topaz, so giving you all of that beautiful brilliance and sparkle. Keep on dialing through, Gorgeous. everybody. Absolutely amazing at £12.99, isn't it? Um, we had, what, 50, did you say? Was it 50? 100, beg your pardon. Um, Claire, oh, thank you so much for oh, today. I've loved you. it. I've, I've loved, loved it. it. And... You're back with us on Christmas Eve. Yes. So I'm very excited about that. You've got some really something really lovely on oh, Christmas Eve. Oh, we've got Eve. great things on Christmas Eve. Yeah, we've got bear copper at nine o'clock and then we've got uh, little fidget rings as well. And a new launch. Things. We've got a tool yes, launch, haven't we? Yes, we've got Eve tools. As well. Yes, we have, yeah. So that's yeah. going to be Ring exciting. Flares. Yeah. Um, enjoy the rest of the day, lovely jewellery makers. I, um, I hope you enjoy. And I'll be back with you now on, what, Friday morning with wonderful Mark. So um, I've got another amazing jewellery maker couple of days coming up. Um, good luck to everybody. Check out your baskets and we'll see you soon.